how much you getting paid over at No Jumper, brother? <laughs> hey, man, listen, Six man. Six figures? Nah. What? You're capping. It's confidential, man. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. No, no, put the camera on motherfucking this nigga's face. Wait, you're getting paid six figures at No Jumper. Nah, I'm a confidential. Okay, okay, I get a confidential. You yeah. have to say the number, but like, you know, we're, we're just dealing with loose, like, assumptions. Six figures at least. No. What? <laughs> what? That's crazy. How? It's crazy because maybe I know more about how much content is worth. Sure. Then, you know, sometimes, you know, not saying you don't. Yeah. But I do know the impacts you're bringing. Like, for example, right? Like, I'm starting up the academy, right? I need somebody who's a fire starter. Somebody who don't care about jumping in the fire, mm -hmm. saying what they feel, being able to stand on everything they're going to say. Yeah. might be controversial. Yeah. What do you think that's worth to me? Oh. Uh, because I, I do that myself, but I sure. want somebody else. Well, like, are they here, like, five days a week doing, like, a two-hour, like, news stream every morning? Or, or, or are they here for, like, once a matter. week? Hey, right? Now, hey, right? So, look. If they're, like, a person who's, like, Let's established already. Down. Go ahead. Right? Hmm? If they already, like, established, right? Mm hmm Then I can see where, like, they can maybe say, yo, right? Like, yo, like, pay me six figures, right? But... If you're literally like pulling them off the street, they have like five thousand subs, right? And like you expect to pay a nigga who got like five thousand subs. He's fresh off the streets, like nobody know who this nigga is. Okay, I get that. A hundred thousand? No, I get that. You feel, you feel me? You, you thought you were right off the street when you uh, joined No Jumper? Yeah, bro, bro. Listen, man. Look, Russell. Look. So I had like ten thousand subscribers. Um, Only ten? Yeah. You feel me? Really? Yeah. Right. Oh, Adam got you early. You feel me? Right. Right. It's, it's like it's like getting a bitch out of the strip club on our first day. Hell no, nah, man. What's going on? <laughs> My man right there, he notorious for that. He in the strip oh, club. Yeah. The first, like her first day, he he trying to get her out of there listen, before she she meet the actual sharks. Yeah. Right. N listen, Russell. Look, I listen. I always say right that no white man feed more starving niggas than Adam. Really? I'm being real. Except Vlad. Ha or niggas Vlad? Niggas? Vlad Listen I haven't Vlad seen any I Listen I haven't seen any of Vlad employees Right cause like I've never been to Vlad City But Adam feed a lot of starving niggas Right so like if you feed in A lot of starving niggas act, like, You about to give A hundred starving niggas A hundred K a year To do what? No no okay okay So I guess this is where yeah. Our conversation is going to delve into some other things Yeah There are certain people Who I could see talent in Sure you get what I mean? Yeah. I have people who do podcasts for me who I literally say, hey, we're going to do this type of business model. It's your podcast. It's yeah. my platform. We're going to edit it. We're going to shoot it. But I'm ne not necessarily going to pay you. The reason why I'm not paying you is because you don't have even the amount. You don't have the name or you, you don't even know what the content yet. Can you bring a return? Yeah. So we'll let you keep your podcast. We'll try it out for a couple of months or mm -hmm. however long. At the end of the day, you're going to have a win, right? Yeah. You're going to have your podcast that you own. You could take it anywhere. And if somebody else offers you a check, go. Sure. That's what I want, right? Yeah. Now, here's the thing. There's a few people in this game that if I if if they were to join my platform, mm -hmm. they don't have to have a biggest name as me. Yeah. But I'm like, yo, this is the person that if I put the platform behind, yeah. they could be a workhorse. They could, they could bring it to another level. Yeah, of course. You're one of those people. Hey, man, listen. Hey, man, listen. Yeah, hey, hey, listen. And that's why I, I feel like this interview is very important, right? Are you trying to get a raise with it? Okay, I guess. No, 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 no. No, look. <laughs> My no, man, no, Flacco, man. No, look. No, no, look. You want me to negotiate with you? No, look. No, no hell I'm no, right? I've negotiated with many companies. Listen, but no, but I feel like this interview is, is like important because you're, listen, I've always called Did myself. Did Jason Love get paid more than you and Jason Love only fucked one time? And that's crazy, right? That's crazy. That's crazy. No, but listen, no. But I feel like this interview is act pretty much like passing the torch and stamping me as the voice of the streets, right? And and I feel like that's important, right? Because there's been a lot of bitch ass niggas who done claim the title as voice of the streets, right? Can I speak on that a little bit too? Sure. So you know, as this media thing happens, is that we're creating this thing called new media. Yeah. And you know, there was a time where. I prided myself on mm -hmm. being not only the voice, but I, I was the person who were covering the situations and personas and instances that no one would cover. Sure. These days, 
there's things that not that it doesn't hit my radar, but I wouldn't cover. Mm -hmm. But I know Flacco's gonna have a lot to say about it. Facts. That's your realm at this point. Yeah, you're, you're good at it. Of course, people watch you for it. Yes, there's a couple other people that are also in that realm. Cool. Um, I think you're cool with all of them. Like you know, Who? like Seti Nash, right? Yes. Yeah. Listen, and he's one of the only new niggas that I fuck with. You, cool. you feel me? Oh, you beef with these niggas? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> listen, right? So I feel like Seti Nash is somebody who he don't have a. What about King AK Forty Seven? Fuck with him? No. You don't? No. What happened? What? Why you don't fuck with him? Um. So he claims he's the voice of the streets, right? Yes, he does. But how can you be the voice of the streets when we don't know what street you're from? Oh man. No, we act, we, we act no. listen. Act listen. No, 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 no. no wait, act, wait. I mean, I'll be real. Act listen. And he was in Chicago, right? You know, is he from Chicago? No, hey, no. Listen, hey, listen. And he was in Chicago. I'm gonna do a Google search. You're not about to play with right? him like that. Let me. You don't know what street he's from. Listen, I've been 100. percent And he was in Chicago. And dumb boys were sending him to the store for Jolly Ranchers and Loose Leafs. You're lying. He got his ass kicked out of Chicago, went to Ohio, graduated a little bit, right? And now he's a dude boy who gets sent to the store for fucking cigarettes, turn on YouTube and start a cosplaying as a real nigga. Wait, are you talking about King AK-47? You're not, you're not talking about him. That bitch ass nigga is a dude boy who gets sent to the store for Jolly Ranchers, turn on YouTube and start cosplaying as the meanest, baddest nigga ever. How did y'all's situation go left? What's, what's going on with this? We have no beef. Listen, right? So look, I'm somebody where I show oh, love Flacco to everybody. Oh, crazy. <laughs> nah, listen. I show love to everybody, right? I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I show love to everybody, right? Because I recognize, yo, we're into this space. Yes, yes. With a common mission. Yes. And that common mission is this, right? Um, there was a point where the avenue into this industry was through a gatekeeper. And... When you go through a gatekeeper, you not only have to conform to the program manager, you now have to conform to the station manager, their boss, the executives that's also in bed with the record labels, right? Now, at some point, everybody had to conform, and, and if they don't conform, they get fired, right? Academics got fired and then accidentally stumbled into this YouTube shit and said, oh, no, we don't need these niggas no more. Y'all all come here, right? And that's my fight, right? And that's why I have a big issue with Speed of Mormon because he's presented as the voice of this shit, but I ain't never mm. heard a fucking opinion from Speedy, Speedy Mormon. From, from Complex. I've never heard a fucking opinion from him, but somehow he's he's being, being like exhausted he's, up. As, is he positioned that? So, yes. Like, I don't think, so, so when I think about new media. Sure. I think he's set up to be, and with all due respect, and shout out to my man Speedy, like, you know, me and him were cool. I fuck but, with Speedy. But, 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 but I think his lane is, the guy who is a you know accepted by the industry, he doesn't say haven't had anything that would be objectionable to them. Like hey, that's a you, and he's gonna get those opportunities that are rolling loud. Hey, that's a problem, Mac. And here's why that's a problem, right? Okay, tell me. So you can't serve two masters. Meaning this, mm -hmm. right? Me and New Media, my mission and my goal is to present the facts to the people, right? Unbiased, like unfiltered, like right? Good. Sure. So the Speedy Mormon job is to cater to the executives. And if we are both here sitting here, right, and saying that we can't recall a fucking opinion that Speedy Mormon ever gave, that's an issue because, because, cause, bro, he's being exalted up. Complex. Amazon. Uh, Viacom. This nigga got, bro, Speed of Mormon got more jobs than I can count. Speed of Mormon got more sponsorship than, than, than um, um, I can count. But somehow, right, he's been able to float under, like, like bro, like, there's nobody who, who's calling on Speedy right for saying, okay, Speedy, you are being pushed to the forefront. Mm -hmm. You are being put in position as the next guy up. So who are you serving? Are you serving the people? Or are you serving these fucking executives in the infrastructure? Because if you're serving the fucking infrastructure, well, then we have beef now. So I would say this, and this is why I feel like Speedy isn't in the same lane with all due respect to him. But I think Speedy is playing the role of a journalist and his job is to ask questions. Sure. Like it, it, he would be more going at a role of Elliot Wilson mm -hmm. or where you see like um, Angie Martinez happen to be. It's, it is new media where 
we're not just like, and we're forced to have opinions because yeah. we don't have access. Sure. Right? You see, when you have access, people do the 106 and Park shit. Yeah. People do the TRL shit. Well, okay. let me just ask you the question because you're here. I won't say, ah, I think you're bullshit. You're lying. Sure. Hey, let me, this is what I think. What do you think? They don't need to have an opinion. When you don't have access, like, like I'll, I'll give you a quick story. I was running around here in 2011. I had a regular job and I was trying to like just get interviews from people. Mm -hmm. And um, before, like I think Charlamagne was one of the biggest people that gave me an interview. But before then, I was trying to follow a bunch of these people in love and hip hop. And okay. One girl like, you know, like she was hot at the time. Like she's just like a broke baby mom at this point. Mm -hmm. But like, oh, she, uh, I don't even want to name her. <laughs> no, it's not the, the, the reason why is that like act, act, listen, act. <laughs> we're not pulling no punches here, my nigga, right? Listen, okay. we as Bob, everybody getting caught out today. Yeah, yeah. So who's the broke baby mama who was swallowing semen for a living? <laughs> hey, you see? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, this is why I like this why I like Flacco. Flacco's giving it. Flacco is still in the bag with the motherfucking yo, yo, he got a 38 <laughs> snub out of uh, the pocket. Crash dummy, man. Okay. No, so it was a girl named, um, her name was Amina. She was uh, one of the baby mamas of Peter Guns. Oh, she's the greatest. Listen, and, listen. And, and, and I remember trying to get an interview with her a bunch yeah. of times, and then we, we got canceled a bunch. I've and, seen a dumb bitch act, but yeah. she's the queen of dumb bitches. Okay. And ain't that the whole though? Wait, listen. <laughs> and, wait, Flaco. though. Right? Flacco's shooting today. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, wait, though. <laughs> and ain't that the whole though? Um, and who, and like, who, like, and had a nigga. Then he got another bitch pregnant. Yeah. Give her a ring. That bitch left the nigga. Yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Amina took him back. Yeah, yeah. Then he left her again for another. Oh, uh, no, nah, you know the whole story. Yeah. So, so I, I don't even try to call her out, but, but the reason why I said yeah. that was the story is much bigger than her. Okay. So it's not necessarily just her because I remember I was in that lane of saying, hey, there was a, there was a new time. Okay. I was realizing this very important thing. And you, you could tell me now if it's still relevant. So in 2011, I was starting to realize that. Fame was more important than talent. Absolutely. And, and and I was like, hey, we have these reality stars. We don't know if they're talented, but they're popular mm -hmm. because of people liking to watch their stories. They're becoming mm -hmm. famous. This is pre-really full Kardashian, even the Kardashians were around. But that was a moment I was like, hmm. So let me try to interview them because I only wanted to interview rappers at first. Absolutely. I, I had a little run around where, where it was just like, you know, I, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. She yeah. was like, she just wasn't available. I called out of work mad times. I had a regular job. Yeah. And I was so frustrated. And I said this. Maybe this shit ain't for me. Mm -hmm. If I need to chase someone to sit next to me to get some relevance. Sure. And I said, if people can't like me for me, yeah. in my opinions, I don't, this ain't my, this can't be what God has in store for me. Uh -huh. So I started getting on camera and I said, I'm going to just tell people what I think. Absolutely. And and I'm not going to say that just only sparked it off, but what that told me was that for all those journalists that they were just question askers mm -hmm. and they didn't have a position, they didn't have a hot take, they didn't care about anything, those people are going to fade because I had to, I started making ground by giving an opinion, yeah. whether how extreme it was. Yeah. Hey, that Kanye album Yeezys, this shit is trash. Absolutely. I, I gave my opinion. Yeah. And you know what I mean? People that was like, yo, yo, you don't know music, blah, blah. Absolutely. But, we had to have an opinion. You have to have an opinion. Yeah. Right? You can't just show up and be like, hey, I'm just here to ask the questions. And Absolutely. I got, a, I got a bunch of cue cards in. Hey, it says on the cue card for me to ask this. So when you talk about even Speedy Mormon, you see, Speedy is lucky enough that he still falls under that old system. Sure. You ask any YouTuber, whether it's you, yeah. Seti Nash, mm -hmm. um, who else do you fuck with? Because I don't even a couple more people. Listen, man, I love Seti Nash. I love the game spitter. Okay. Um, I love hip hop Buddha. You okay. Listen, I fuck with everybody. Okay. But that bitch ass nigga can get cat. Oh my god. Okay. So 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 for all those people included, mm -hmm. you get to realize and I remember even, you know, I know you don't like it, but I remember King AK, I said to him about the 1090J, I yeah. said, "You have to have an opinion." Cuz he was asking, he was doing a journalist thing. Yeah. When when people were looking at 1090J's paperwork, it was like, "Well, because there was a moment people were looking at King AK like, "Hey, well, you're the street guy, right?" Yeah. And he was like, well, you know, you know, 1090, you're not supposed to say this and whatever. And I remember saying, you got to have an opinion. Mm -hmm. When I listen to Flacco, yeah. I don't care if you're dead wrong. Yeah. I need Flacco to say, man, this fuck, 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 fuck these niggas. Exactly. <laughs> I, I want to hear your opinion. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and one thing I'll tell you and everybody else who's mm -hmm. coming, you know, after you and me. Yeah. We care about you and your interpretation of shit. Sure. 
your interpretation don't got to be mine. Sure, it don't got to be nobody else's. Yeah. But if you've got an audience, people want to know, man, what do you think about this shit? Right. Because this industry is full of people who never said what they felt. Of course. It's full but of act. question asked. Look, askers. right, but act, right? And here's the issue, right? Is, look, there's a civil war, right? Mm. Is the masses favorites and masses not favorites, right? Meaning this, right? Academics, poetic, faculty, setting ash. We are masses, not favorites, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? We pop our shit, we serve the people, right? But even if I know you are masses favorite, favorite right? Like, like hey, right? Look, look, um, like Van Lathan, right? And he's a journalist, right? But I know that when I spark that match and say, yo, we gotta burn the fucking infrastructure down, right? It's time to ride. I know Van Lathan is going to take his fucking shit and, and spark up to him and say, yo, fuck these niggas. Let's burn this shit down, right? I don't know if Speedy is going to do that. And that's an issue, right? Because, yes, we're all in this space as black creators. And we should all have the same mission, which is to serve our people, mm -hmm. right? And to break down all exploitative practices of black skilled workers in this industry, right? Good. And... The goal should always be to get a, to get rid of the gatekeepers. Why? Because if you go through a gatekeeper, you now have to serve a masses that's that's I'm not the people. So if I know, yo, if I like this shit up and say, yo, act, these niggas is violating, right? They're fucking exploiting us. Let's burn this shit down. Act grab and like and say, bro, where, where, where? But Speedy Mormon ain't doing that, and okay. that's an issue. Now I, I will say this: one thing I like about your mentality, sure, is something I've had to realize mm -hmm. that even though we're in media, yeah. we're now all fighting the same fight. Facts. You know, um, I, I think it was about four years ago was the last time I was really upset. I felt like I had a really good year and BT to nominate me for like some award that I had to do with media. Yes, let's talk like, about damn, it. Damn, what the fuck? Let's talk about it. And I got to realize, I was like, yo, I started, I sat back and as, you know, I was growing as a businessman, I started thinking logically. Mm -hmm. Why the hell would they? Okay. What we stand for is 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 defeating their is actually lowering the margins of what they got going on. Facts. The more people who say, "Hey, you know they used to have something called BT News, right?" Yeah. You know they used to have these things where people could go there and hear about what's going on in the yeah. culture. But you know where those people are going now? They're on your page, yeah. your mastery. Facts. They're not going there. Absolutely. So, so there was a while where. You know, I realized I had to catch myself. Yo, are you looking to the people you're trying to defeat to reward you? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. We're, we're going to war with you guys. And yeah. After we kick your ass, give us the medal. No, it doesn't work like that. When you kick somebody's ass, you yeah. take names and you take heads. That's it. Right. But actor, right? So look, my issue, right, is it, yo, um, act is, hey, right, so look, right, hey, right, so look. And here's my biggest issue, right, mm -hmm. is that there cannot be a, a good agent of an evil system, right? Meaning this, um, if you are a police officer, and you are serving an oppressive system, the minute you put on that uniform and your goal is to enforce the oppressive policies, you are a bad agent. So when Nadeska, when Jinx, when Speedy Mormon, when when uh um when when all of them, right, mm -hmm. sat back and watch BT um and these other award shows. Get it wrong every year. Like, wait, pause now, bro. Like, in academics, is not nominated for best hip hop platform. And Deska is your sister. Speedy Mormon is of the culture, right? He's one of us. Jinx. That's not their fight to fight. Wait though. Wait though. No. It's not their fight to fight. No. It's definitely their fight to fight, right? But let's just say, hey, listen, yo, they got it wrong, right? Come out and say, yo, they got it wrong. But when they don't say that, though, now we know. They are an agent of that particular system that's oppressing us. So they why don't we say fuck them that system um, by proxy? But th th yeah. it's not their it's not their 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 fight to fight. And I, and I usually don't even get at those yeah. people. But we should um, though every time. The the reason why I don't get at them is because, you know, fortunately for them, mm -hmm. they fit the mold. Okay. And the reason why we're fighting is because we know we could never fit the mold. And mm -hmm. we deserve a chance to be somebody on the radio. You used, used to have to suck all type of dick and carry all type of fucking crates for people and be in the subservient position. Sure. We made it known, no, you don't have to. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. There's people who happen to fall in that. 
I'm not going to blame you because I'm here to fight the system, not necessarily you. You're just a product of it. So, again, for example, the Breakfast Club is looking for a third host. Yeah. You think they'll be like, yeah, who are the most, you know, engaging commentators Act. who knows what's going on? Fuck even talking about me. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't bring you up there for a week. Definitely not. They wouldn't bring nobody else. It, it, it it's it's almost preordained. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, we got to bring these people up. Sure. And once you realize that, that's the system you're fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Jess Laris is trash. Yeah. But she's just she's just one of the agents of the Matrix. But yeah. if you kill her, there's a fifty million people that come pop up. Sure. So, so when you say Speedy Mormon, yeah. with respect to him. There is always going to be somebody that's clean cut this and third that will be able to fill that role. You got to fight the system. And you know Absolutely. what that system is? That system is those executives that says, okay, we need to get some people on here, but we got to make sure they're saying what we're saying. They're not going to be disturbing the status quo. They're going to be under our control. Well, if you get Flacco, you know he might go left. Sure. You get Ack. Hey, when I was at Complex, one of the biggest things they always cared about, they're like, they were always on edge, mm -hmm. even through signing every contract with me. Yeah. It's like, is he going to get drunk on Hennessy one day and go on, on Instagram and say something? And violate. And, and, yeah. and, you know, mm -hmm. and, and when you say violate, we got to break that down. It's not, yeah. not necessarily violate by saying, fuck my bosses. No. Nah. It's, it, it, it's, it's go and say something that doesn't go with what the company is promoting. Yeah. Because everybody wants great employees. Hey, sit down and shut up when you need to. And speak up when we need you to. Yeah. But never say anything out of turn and individuality is actually, like, shunned. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What you mean you're trying to be yourself? <laughs> Get out of here. Of course. <laughs> you can be yourself with a pay without a paycheck. Mm -hmm. So when they see people like me, you, and they see other people, like, this this war is so huge. It's happening all across the board. I'm yeah. telling you. You see all these companies, they're losing market share. Mm -hmm. Name the last popular, successful nightly show. With all due respect, and salute to my man Charlemagne. Oh, he got you know, canceled twice, right? Well, you know, he, he's he's appeared on on on, on, a, on a daily show, mm -hmm. nightly show, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Everyone's trying to figure out why this brought back uh, um, John Stewart, who's really good. Yeah, of course. You know, you know what's the problem is? So the audience ain't checking there anymore. Facts. Like people, this game is gonna get like forever fucked up when they realize the new way of people consuming content. It's, it's primarily and strictly on YouTube. And you know when that changes? The money you make there is going to be so different and the money I make there is going to be so of different course. that it's such a threat to Viacom, mm -hmm. all these other places, all these radio stations, okay. that they're still trying to continue this illusion. But the reason why these other things won't pop off, mm -hmm. why y'all can't get no... Why, why nobody could get... Y'all tell me SNL fails. SNL is whack these days. Mm -hmm. Everybody on a Saturday night used to watch SNL. Why is the ratings like, it's like one fifth of what it used to be. Why? Because you turn your phone people down and see, are yeah. watching, yo. Yeah, DCF hey. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, instead of watching a, a nightly show about politics, they might be just watching some random streamer. Sure. And that's fucking up the game. Sure. So, you know, we're, we're in this fight and I love to see exactly what, what you even have going on because I think we all deal with it differently. Yeah. Right? You're in that stage of letting people know, like, man, fuck y'all. Y'all going to hear my voice. Facts, because of course. the people are hearing your voice. Of course. And, 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 and one last thing I'll say before I throw to you is, like, yeah. just it, one thing I do like with you, you never, you see, those people is our bosses. Yeah, of course. Those people who sit in the galley, they sit in the comment section, they sit, they sit listening. Absolutely. They're the people. I remember, like, for example, this Diddy shit going on. Everybody's like, yo. I call people in the industry that were so shook. Terrified. Because like Joe Budden. Like, there's people, like, they're like, you know, like Joe Budden. Yeah, Joe didn't want to touch it. You know? Why, though? That's, like, an interesting question. I, I can't tell if it was fear of retribution or it was like, yo, hey, listen, this is some this is a situation where, as a man, What's up? it could come back at you as well, right? Where, where it's, no. like, allegation where, like, who knows? Flocker, sure. and, and yeah, yeah. put like this. There was a time that I looked at shit and I was just like, I'm just not pop. Like I'm like nothing. No one would ever target me. Sure. And the more popular you get, yeah, it's gonna be one dusty bitch who you DM twice. But Joe Budden no, didn't listen, right? No, but Joe Budden didn't speak on Diddy because he's terrified that one bum bitch may come back twenty years later. No, but he used to work for him too. Sure, but there was a time where Joe Budden was like us, right? 
where where Joe Budden was pounding the pavement for the fight for creators. Now, at some point, Joe Budden got sat down in a small little chair, and Ian Schwartzman says, <laughs> yeah, you, you I know Ian. <laughs> and he says, Negro, you are too defiant. <laughs> Nigga, calm that shit down. Yeah. And, and since then, <laughs> Joe Budden has been restrained and confined. Listen, bro. I heard Joe I think, talk about you recently. Yeah, listen. Well, what's your thing? Joe, listen, no, look. No, look, right? So look. So I, I love Joe, right? But when I do my YouTube videos and I hear, I say, yo, Joe, um, you included in our contracts the very same thing that you complained that the record labels was included in your contract. The very same thing that you complained about Kanye included in the Easy contract. And I'm like, hold up now, bro. How did Joe, Joe go from being the voice for the creators, the yo, the creatives don't don't deserve to be exploited to now giving out scummy contracts is in. And the biggest spat in our faces as fans of Joe Budden was when Joe Budden said the only reason why the Dr. Umar Johnson interview was behind a paywall, again, the Umar Johnson interview, which was supposed to be for us, by us, right? Was supposed to give us information, right? was supposed to educate and address us mm -hmm. that Ian fucking Schwartzman is the reason why that interview is beyond a fucking paywall. And Ian, right? And as soon as the Cat Williams shit started to go viral and Ian took his happy ass in on Twitter and he said, yo, that should have been behind a paywall. Ian runs Joe Budden's entire business infrastructure. Well, he's the manager. So that nigga is the reason why a Dr. Umar Johnson interview for black people was, was behind a fucking paywall, and that's an issue, right? Because, again, we all love Joe, but there has been a switch in Joe's demeanor. Joe started off as a defiant nigga. Now Joe can be, you know, it can describe as very compliant. Mm. And who's responsible for that? It's Ian. So what I would say about that, you know, and I love Joe, but I, I do believe, let me say this, I think a lot of people... You know, they always say you don't understand your parents until you become a parent yourself. And, or the older you get, you'll be like, oh, I see why they were tough on me. I think Joe was in defiance to a lot of things. Like, for example, I'll, I'll give you give one, one particular example. Um, when we were at Complex, sure. I knew this shit was over. Mm -hmm. The moment, I don't know where he found it, mm -hmm. Joe walked into somebody's office mm -hmm. And he looked on a computer. And by the way, Complex had information really open to many editors and center. Mm -hmm. He looked on, he looked on, um, was either the YouTube or some shit with that, that he could see information. Mm -hmm. And he saw just how much money they were making sure. off the content that we were doing. Yes. Um, that subsequently followed up with Spotify came in to get an additional show. We were doing four shows a week. Mm -hmm. He came in for a Friday show. Yeah. They were for me and Joe, like about like, uh, it has to be like, I feel like it was like 30 to 50,000 for the um, entire thing. Not a month. month. For, it was like, about like maybe seven Fridays. Okay. Get to find out, the company got paid about like $800,000 for it. Okay. So, so the thing that me and Joe have to do, and yeah. we're like the show, mm -hmm. we get paid a hundred thousand for. They got paid seven hundred thousand for it. So Complex was just licking their chops, like yeah. you know, right. And Joe realized at that moment and said, "Oh, the company that we—they're nothing without us. Mm -hmm. We're basically allowing them to take so much advantage of us." Here's the problem. Sure. The problem becomes when you not become the company. Sure. Everybody thinks or wants or believes like you know, yeah. even if you think about a record label system, mm -hmm. you would be like, damn, why, why do record labels pay that pay that little? Well, you know, if you ask the really educated of the bunch, they're, they're going to say, well, the record labels pay that little just because. I always heard this. I heard this from from the son of Lucian Grange. Lucian Grange is the most powerful nigga in music. He, yeah. He's CEO of uh, Universal Music Group. Mm -hmm. His son um, Elliot Grange signed Six Nine, tripping all those people. He said, listen. You sign one. You say you, you say one one success pays mm -hmm. for the rest of the ten failures. Sure. So they're dealing with a ten percent success ratio. Mm -hmm. So they're giving out all these contracts to eleven people. They're hoping one succeeds. Sure. So what, what does that say? And just to kind of bring it back to the yeah. Joe thing, what a company usually deals with is they're predicting failure, analyzing mm -hmm. failure, and pay accordingly. Sure. 
Now, when you're a Joe Budden, you've never failed. Mm -hmm. You're the 1% or the 10%. Sure. So, Complex is looking at it like, well, we're giving y'all what we give y'all because we try to give other people that and they, they show the mark materialize. Again, sure. Let's go to what Joe's now thinking. So, no, Joe's the company. Uh huh. Like, Joe's the company. And, yeah. and, and by the way, I'm at this exact point right now. Yeah. I might learn. Yeah. But, but, but I, I've, taken a, I've taken a pledge of a million dollars. I might lose it. Okay. My pledge is to treat the, the creators that I'm going to work with fairly. Yeah. Uh, this, fairly, yes, right? Fa hold on. Fairly? Yeah. Without nickel and diamond on what's going to come back. Absolutely. Here's the thing. A lot of business professionals will say, you're going to learn the same lesson that many other companies learned before. Sure. So I've paid people on what I believe their worth is mm -hmm. without knowing exactly what the return is and also what I've invested in other shit. Sure. What Joe realizes is that as much as he despised the complex, yeah. he adopts to their business practices. Listen, right, so no. So, and here's what and happened with Joe, right? It's the same thing that happened, you know, to every oppressed group in the history of the world, right? right Is we realize that nobody hates oppression. <laughs> Niggas just hate being oppressed, meaning this, right? We got to- Oh, wait, hold on, say that again, I like that. <laughs> nobody <laughs> hates oppression. <laughs> okay. Niggas just hate being oppressed, and we found this out when the free slaves went back to Africa, right? They, again, like, they was over here being oppressed, and they went back and said, oh, no, like, these like these policies and actually work great if you are, are, are like, the privileged, right? So what they say, hey, bro, like, you indigenous folks can't own land, can't vote, can't, right? So now Joe Budden, right? So now Joe started off as being procreators, right? But Joe's entire business model was shaped, crafted, and formed by Ian Schwartzman. Now, here's the one thing that we know about our history of our people is we was able to get colonized and destroyed. Why? Because we have a shared cropper mentality, which is, yo, you hungry? Here. Mm -hmm. But there's a certain group of people who don't have that mentality. And their mentality is, and you hungry? That ain't my fucking problem, nigga. So if Joe Budden started off as procreator, he, as yo, this system is flawed, I need to change it. And somehow the shift happens when he allows Ian Schwartzman to form his entire business model. And I'm saying, where do we hold Joe accountable? Yes, we understand why he did it, right? Greed, capitalism. But you don't get to get our support we don't get to galvanize around you based on your mentality of, yo, fuck the infrastructure. I'm a trailblazer. I'm here to expose this shit and break down the exploitative practices. And then we galvanize around you. And then you switch to this other business model that's exploitative, right? So where does Joe get held accountable at? I, I, I think Joe got held accountable. Well, by who? I'll tell you what. I remember the day he left the Everyday Struggle. Okay. Man, that nigga, I felt like, like, I remember talking to him. Mm -hmm. Me and him were cool. I feel like that nigga was burning the building now. Sure. What he said about, you know, just everything with Complex, people stopped su supporting the show. And I remember feeling like, I want you to speak your piece, but, like, you, the, the, the fans are now attacking the show, and I'm still a part of yeah. it. Here's the thing. When he went to Spotify, mm -hmm. and I think when he left Spotify, mm -hmm. and, I, and I do think Joe is one of the people, and... Let me tell you this, like, I, I love giving people credit for what they're great at. Mm -hmm. Joe Budden is number one, not even close. You know, I always say him and Charlamagne are, like, close in certain things in terms of broadcasting. Mm -hmm. But in terms of setting the narrative, Charlamagne doesn't come close. Joe is great at letting people know we're going to ride on this cause. Yes. Let's get grab the pitchforks. Yeah. This is for the creator. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what he did before with Complex. With Spotify, it didn't work like that. Mm. I think he wanted there was a mass. He wanted a mass exodus. He wanted mm -hmm. rampant support, and I sure. think people were like, "Uh, we love you, but like y y y you're just getting out of your contract. It's okay." Yeah, being burned by coons does not accuse you turning into a coon, right? So look, uh, right? For example, like when when uh, Nat Turner said, "Hey, yo, we burning this shit down, nigga," right? Then when he got the real riders and he ain't know, oh, there was one nigga in that group who was a fucking coon and would, you feel me, turn on him, right? Now, 
<laughs> right? Now listen. Yeah. Yo, flowers. If he would have turned on Nat Turner, right? And if the cool would have turned on turn on Nat Turner, <laughs> and then Nat Turner would have said, hey yo, fuck these niggas, bruh. I know where these niggas is playing this. No! If Nat Turner would have said, yo, a coon betrayed me, so hence I'm gonna turn into a coon and betray more revolutionaries, we wouldn't respect Nat Turner, right? Joe Budden don't get to say, hey, bruh, I, I try to save you niggas, man. Y'all wasn't listening, right? So hence I'm gonna fuck you niggas over too. Hell so, nah. So 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 respectfully speaking, yeah. and, and I would say this to Joe too. What Joe did when he left Complex mm -hmm. was something we haven't seen. We've never seen it in, in the podcast space. We've seen in other spaces from the even bigger people. Like mm -hmm. we've seen with Dave Chappelle when he said, if y'all love me, fuck Netflix, Netflix and fuck Comedy Central. Sure. They're stealing my shit. We've seen from Kanye. Kanye is just such a revolutionary. We're like, yo, when he says we're not fucking with something, we're not fucking with something. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. After the complex move, I think... You know, Joe's Joe has been the for the creator movement. Just mm -hmm. like if we're talking about Nat Turner, be like, yo, hey, I'm for my people. Yeah, I, I I I think it didn't hit the same after. Sure. And and I think that's why we didn't see the same result. Act right. So look, act right. So here's why I can't really uh, uh, excuse Joe. We gotta Joe, get right? you and Joe cool, man. I love Joe. I heard him talk about you recently. Yes, but listen, right? But look at this, right? What so do you look, think about that? Well, 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 here, right? So look. So here's why I can't really excuse Joe, right? Mm -hmm. It's because, bro, I have the opportunity to lay down at some point, right? Like, like, like here, right? For example, Vlad TV and me are cool right now, but he I'm glad, I'm glad. right, but he would never fuck with me, right? In the capacity that he will like fuck with you and, and like other content creators, right? Why? Because I have the opportunity to lay down and build a relationship, right? And, and say, hey, listen. Like laying down in this circumstance is better for me. But I didn't, right? But I, I said, yo, I can't lay down right now. Cause why? Cause there was something going on that I felt like would affect other content creators, right? Who really don't have the platform as me. I felt like, yo, if, if I lay down here, them other niggas is toast. So I fought back, I fought back, I fought back. And I fucked up my relationships, right? Yeah. With Vlad and other people. Why? Because I thought the fight for other creators was worth it. So if I'm sacrificing myself and I don't got no fucking millions of dollars, nigga, right? Nigga. You touched a million, yeah? No. No, man. No, listen. No, I'm listen. Just... No, listen. I don't even got, Flagle, bro. Flagle. Yeah, Flago touched a million. He's just no, been paying for protection. No, listen. No, listen. If I don't even got, bro, like a million subs yet, right? And I say, yo, million subs don't mean a million right, right, no, right, no, right, right. Look, but I say, yo, fuck my relationship with Vlad TV, right? Listen, act. So if I can say that again, me and Vlad are cool right now, but I know that our relationship is, is pretty much burned, right? Due to the conflict that we had, due to me saying, yo, it's best for me to say, yo, fuck these other niggas, Vlad. I'm sorry, blah blah, blah right? But I said, fuck that. So if I'm looking at Joe and say, wait, hold up now, bro. If I can make that sacrifice, if I can burn mad bridges, because I thought that I was doing the righteous things for other content creators, why can't you? And I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm sounding a little bit like Joe's defense attorney. I'll say this. Yeah. Joe, in his, how he would, I believe, would answer, and I can't answer necessarily sure. for him, but I think I could, I, I kind of understand his plight. Joe was that before. Sure. Joe's the guy who lost tens of opportunities. Yeah. Based on his actions, based on him trying to stand on principle, mm -hmm. when he has zero leverage. Yeah. So when it comes to music and them saying, hey, we want you to do this music, and he said no. And when it came to contracts and they wanted him to sign that contract, and he said no, mm -hmm. he didn't have leverage that he could continue. He was mm -hmm. in a he was operating in a dichotomy that literally, if he didn't go with what they said, there was no possible way. Nowadays, he feels he has a leverage. It's the first time he's ever felt sure. he has a leverage. So yeah, he is acting up a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you know, um, do I believe everything, you know, as much as I love Joe, do I think every action he's doing is for the people? Fuck no. Mm. Joe, Joe at this point, you know, when he says, you know, well, he doesn't necessarily say, it, but people call him and I call him a two, the pod father. Yeah. I definitely And he's feel, pod father for sure. Yeah, I definitely feel and believe that he's like, yo, listen, I've taken arrows for this business or this culture of podcasting to get to here. Sure. I'm, I, I'm not going to die the, the guy who 
was on the plight to free the slaves, I, I'm also going to take my fucking flowers too. Sure. And and that's why I think he doesn't represent the entire plight at this point. Sure. Some of it, it's left up to me and you, mm -hmm. right? Put it like this: he he left he left Spotify, he left he left Complex. And, you know, when he went and did his own thing, he said he ain't doing ads. You yeah. see him right now? He's doing a few ads. Of course. But he's on his plight. Of course. It's, it's, you know, you can't expect one person to be the revolution. I think Joe did his job already. All right, cool, Joe. Yeah. Now it's what I'm, I'm, I'm going to stand for. Of course. Right? Are, they're going to offer me bullshit because yeah. here's the thing. I always told Joe, anytime after he got a deal, mm -hmm. if he told him no, they offered me the same deal. Of course. And... You know, I remember Complex when he was telling them, like, Yo, I'm not showing up to work. And they talked to me and they were begging me. And they said, listen, we'll give you a little bit more, but Joe's not showing up. We just need you. But you know why they needed me? They need me for those contracts to stay in place. They needed me. I, now, listen, though, right? Now, listen, if I call out Joe, I have to call you out, though. Go ahead. You should have said, wait, hold up, Joe. Like, like, what's the issue here? Oh, oh, they playing with us? Oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to, right? Now. Here's the problem. What's up? What I give Joe credit for is that yeah. he knew ahead of time sure. what the worth of this was. I didn't. Mm. But we were getting paid at Everyday Struggle, literally. Um, what was it like 15000 a month? Yeah. We are doing four episodes a week. Mm -hmm. Do that. So four times four. So it's four weeks yeah. a month and four a, a week. That's 16 episodes. Yeah. And we're basically getting paid less than $1,000 per episode. Okay. Right? Again, w w I remember when Joe... Asked for, I think it asked them for a million dollars. Granted, we were probably going to be filming like, who knows, maybe like two hundred episodes for the for the year. Of course, a yeah. million dollars sounded wild. Granted, we're breaking all type of records. They're comparing us to the Breakfast Club. Y'all had even, the greatest morning show in yeah, hip hop history. I, I I didn't even know what it meant. Sure, and, and that's the thing about now understanding your worth, and that's mm. why I do give him credit because yeah. I remember like. Like, bro, I was such a wide eye, just wanted to make it work. You know, I was doing these videos and I was getting popular. I was getting money, but I was just like, yo, this is bringing a new face to me. People are looking at me like now people know academics and I wanted to be bigger than life. And, and, and I was just like, Joe, no, let's keep it going. And he was just like, no, nah, I'm going to stand on principle. Like, yo, I'm gone. Yeah, and I remember yeah. talking to the complex people. I said, no, take take some of my money. Pay yeah. him. And it wasn't about the money for me, but yeah. I couldn't understand his bigger picture. His well, bigger picture course. was that, yo, academics, check this out, man. Yeah. We're worth more than getting paid. 15K a month. 15K a fucking month, yeah. my nigga. We're worth more than that. Yeah. And I remember them telling us like, oh no, well this guy gets paid, the hot ones guy gets paid, I won't say his number, this, so mm -hmm. you should be happy. And I was yeah. like, oh, I guess I'm happy. Yeah. And then, you know, once you got, got a chance to like later on and even now, I'm like, yeah. man, I was stupid. Hey, hey, Russell, hey, listen, Russell, look. <laughs> uh, what the hell? <laughs> now listen, so. All type shit. Now nah, listen, so according to like Tariq Nasheed, right? <laughs> And that's the non-FBA mentality, oh right? You feel me? Please. Like, what? Hey. Right? Now, listen. According to, like, Tariq Nasheed, that's that non-FBA, like, um, what mindset, you right? Right? Oh, you wait. come into, like, an right? So, look. Yeah. So, like, the FBA brings you into, like, a great situation, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you chose the white man over Joe. You feel me, right? Listen, according to Tariq Nasheed, though, like, the, the, again, the non-FBA does that, right? But listen, right? But I was about to leave with him, too. Let's, bro, you, you know I was you about to leave with him? Oh, no, no, you no, should. I was going to leave with him to go to Diddy. It was ironically how, how oh, crazy hell it was. Oh, no, man. No, <laughs> yeah, no, it was. So, Revolt came calling. Um, I just didn't like it because. Charlie um, May tried to run the play on you. Well, I, can't, I, I still can't man, tell Man, come what it on, man. He's trying to play on you, bro. You feel me? I'm okay. trying to EP. You feel me? Listen, listen, Russell. Here's my thing, right? And then you guys explain it first. Right? Yeah, look. So, Charlemagne comes in yeah. and he says, Hey, Ack, mm -hmm. first of all, and I got to be honest, and I'm going to be honest about everything. Charlemagne was telling me to quit months before. He was like, yo, go mm -hmm. on air and quit. And yeah. the whole time I'm thinking, they're comparing our show to The Breakfast Club and they're making The on Breakfast Club man, come on me down, to quit. <laughs> but, but anyway, but yeah. cool. I was like, I mean, he's making some points because I'm feeling a certain type yeah, of, of way course. about certain things. And then he comes in and he's like, oh, yeah, yo, I talked to Joe yeah. and I'm talking to you. I'm going to bring y'all to Revolt mm -hmm. could, because now we're, all, we're both complaining about Complex. Yeah. And I could be the EP <laughs> and whatever, whatever. And like, I was kind of like one of those like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, on. The only problem was this. Yeah. I felt like I was second fiddle to Joe. Because well, definitely to Joe. Mm. Nobody ever talked no numbers with me. It was just like, Facts. hey, if we get Joe, we get you. Oh, yeah. And I was like, wait, wait, I'm a man too. It was like, uh. Facts. And, and because of that, 
I remember Complex coming back when they knew they, they couldn't have Joe. Mm -hmm. And I always say this. Let, let me tell you this. You know, for all the young creators out there, you know, um, you rather be a king of a molehill than a peasant on a mountain. Facts. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the peasant on a mountain, you'll never influence anything and you'll never get to the top. Mm -hmm. So Complex came to me. I was like, well, I can tell it's not going to be the same without Joe. But they said, you're the king. Here's yeah. everything you need. Tell us what else you need. We want to keep you. And I go back and I'm like trying to figure out the revolt situation. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, we're talking to Joe. And I was like, what would that mean? Like, what about me? They're like, no, no, we're talking to Joe. Yeah, they're like, okay, they want Joe. Mm -hmm. And I'm just the lackey afterwards. Sucks, of course. And that's, that's why I stay. Man, but, 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 but I, 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 listen, I get right? what you say, though. Man, look, right. Man, listen, bro. Like, um, my only plea right with the Joe Button, right, is mm -hmm. yo. You is, have a conversation with him. Bro, I love Joe Button, right? Now, like, do why did he say what he said about you? He, recently, he yeah. said, I think he that, said that that um I have the worst takes, um and and uh I'm the worst personality, and, <laughs> really? and on, on YouTube. And here's why. But he right? does watch you though, because he, he yeah. kind of verbatim like was quoting some of the stuff. He it was love, about. right? Right. So look, and when he said yo, and he does the best research, he does great work. But then once he adds his opinion to it. I tune out, and here's why. Because I do video on the Joe Budden drama saga, and I speak on the very same thing that I'm speaking on now. I put it in those videos. And, and, and like, he believes that I'm unfair. But listen, my only plea to Joe is this, right, bro? Is, yo, like, my fight is a fight that you laid down about three years ago, right? Mm. So, bro, like, instead of tearing me, because, bro, I already go through enough, right? Act, look. My first month, right, of me, I guess, like going viral and, you know, and, and like speaking up against gang culture, I get a call be. Yo, I liked when you did that. You right? So look you should right. double the fuck down. Yeah, right. Look the right. So only look thing though. is, I would have double the fuck down. Yeah. And let me see, South Dakota. Yeah, or right. like, <laughs> like I don't know, like West Virginia or some shit. No, right. But act, right. But look though. And here's why I, I tell Joe, bro. I'm not your enemy. I'm just picking up the fight that you laid down. I fuck with you, mm. right? So don't attack me. I'm already going through enough. Act, listen, my first month going viral, I, I get a call behind the scenes and say, yo, like 1090 Jake was instructed to do a, a um, um, hit piece on you. And I, I said, word? Why? Really? So guess what though, right? Again, I, I was never told who who told him to do it? I was just told that he was told to do a hit piece on you, right? Now peep this. 16 shot him, did it, man. No, <laughs> no, look, right? Look. So uh a, a few months ago, right? Yeah. Again, I forgot about it. And he just like I, I guess confessed it, like just like through passing. Tonight, Jake. Yeah, right. Like, like uh, oh, if right, like. I investigated Flacco and I ain't find nothing. So, so, so look, so my first month going viral and speaking out against shit that's destroying our community. Somebody told that white boy to do a hit piece on me and investigate me. Are you cool with him? Yeah, of course, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, yo, man, bruh, I couldn't find nothing. Now listen, how I would, would have done it if he had any type of respect for me at all, nigga, if I'm told to do a hit piece on you, hey, nigga, business is business, I don't know you, nigga, but hey, if I ain't find nothing, pick up your phone and say, hey, nigga, you are real, nigga. I apologize, nigga. I again, they either tried to pay me or told me to do it, nigga. I looked, I looked, I looked. I ain't find a goddamn thing, nigga. You are real, nigga, but he ain't never told me nothing. I, I find out through him just... Speaking, so I, I'm like, wait, one. Isn't that from that lush situation that no. happened at No Jumper? It was something else. Listen, my first month going viral. Wow. This is like probably like June or or May of 2022. Jesus, right? And I, I'm like, wait, hold up now, bro. Like, I must be the voice of the streets. You know why, right? Because we seen with Malcolm and Martin, right? Is once their message. Elevated to a point where it's oh, they really not compare yourself to Malcolm Martin. Though. No, hold on, man. No, but listen though, right? So look, when Martin was speaking that like yo, that like peaceful shit. Oh, they loved him, 
But once his message elevated to, oh, no, this is a class issue, they sent the white boys at him, right? And there's a trend of whenever there's a visionary who has a, who has a powerful message that they view as a threat, they send white boys at him. Lush was sent at me. Tonight was sent at me. And countless others, right? Let me ask you a question. So, Joe, wait. Sorry. So, Joe, if I'm already dealing, right, with the white boys being sent at me, I don't want to deal with Joe Budden being, being like sent at me, too. Feel me? I, I think he would respond to you by saying he actually believes that, if anything, you're probably part of the Matrix, being that you work for Adam 22, and he doesn't, for whatever reason, they don't get along. So, I think he would say, for everything that you could possibly accuse him of, Adam 22, which happens to be somebody who employs you in some capacity, is is the person who will be the definitive, like, because Joe has been really critical of him recently, you know? I mean, Adam, we don't have no issue like that, but it's like, mm -hmm. yo, he's really critical of Adam, and I think he believes whatever you could say about him, he would look back at you and say, well, how do you think you're standing on anything if you do business or work with Adam. Which part though, right? So look, like, like for example, right? Um, my direct issue with Joe is, um, Ish coming on the, the uh, like platform and saying, yo, the same contract that you gave us is the same contract that you told us months ago that Kanye West was a fucking scum bucket for even including these things in his contract, right? So if, that happened? Yeah, right? Okay. So if I have a direct issue with that, with Joe Budden being direct and saying, yo, these clauses are exploitative, and then you including these clauses in the contract of your employees. Now, if anybody can find a contract that Adam 22 gave that's exploitative, nigga, bro, I'm gonna call that nigga out too. Well, 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 so you wouldn't say contract-wise. Sure. And I guess this is where, like, people would say about, you know, if there's a morality aspect, aspect sure. to anybody who does work in No Jumper, it'd be sure. like, hey, listen. For example, I'm going to be honest with you. I even gave Adam credit recently. I said, yo, yeah. Adam, you're doing a fucking amazing... Like, listen, <laughs> when I did the war in Chirac, mm -hmm. man, niggas thought I lived in Chirac. Man, nigga, I, nigga, I lived the furthest place from Chicago, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, but like this, when, when you know you're cognizant, whether you're like... Not, not saying people are trying to destroy, because sometimes we don't have mal intentions, but we do know sometimes the effect of the content. I knew the war in Chirac, like... People were like looking at this and may have felt a way, right? Mm -hmm. It was important for me not to be there, right? Mm -hmm. I've said that Adam is amazing because he's the only person who could put out a, like all this type of divisive content about LA, but still be in LA. Sure. Like if I was doing that about LA, nigga, I'll be in Europe. I'll be like Trap Lord Ross. <laughs> like, yo, hey, yo, listen, big you. Like, nigga, of course I'll do that from London. I would never do that from LA. Because you black though, act. Well, okay, all right, but, but but here's the thing though. Well, you know, usually how it goes when the white man it, it gets the pass because he's white, they then look at the people who are of color that work for him, sure, right? Because they look at those people as, oh, okay, that's some sort of cooning. Like, hey, listen, well, if you let him cause destruction or be divisive in the black community and he doesn't have to go back to said communities, mm -hmm. but you do, mm -hmm. or you have to answer to it, or he don't got to get maybe jumped by a bunch of crips in the center, but you have to protect your ass or whatever the case is. If, if, if you sit there and allow it or even are a part of it, well, at that point, you become the problem, right? And, and, and they'll, mis, they'll misguide their, their, their vitriol to you. Mm -hmm. So I've looked at that situation, I'm like, I think even that's what, where Joe feels he's at with like the Adam stuff, right? He looks at that platform as divisive. And, you know, I think if I was doing the Warren Shot right now, he would say the same things about me. I think even harsher. Sure. But at question though, right? Now, listen, right? So look, <laughs> even me giving an opinion and Ono Jumper, mm -hmm. like it's mute, right? Since it's right, like we're working there, right? But look, mm -hmm. but even like with the loose cannon and big you thing, right? If Adam said, bruh, I don't want this nigga in, on the platform, right? But, again, but Adam and, and like, Wack are partners on the Adam and Wack show, right? Mm. So, like, it's not the traditional, hey, nigga, you are an employee. No. Wack is, yo, we are 50-50 partners on this show. If I want a guest, a guest on this show, he's going to be on this show, right? So. But that platform sure. does reflect on you. Like, for exactly, example, if I brought on. OnlyFans girls consistently. Yeah. 
and someone who maybe they were heavily into the church or spirituality claimed they weren't into women selling sex or selling their bodies sure. on OnlyFans, um, they would catch flack to be like, well, you're working with academics and only sure. brings on his OnlyFans girls. Right. I guess they would say the same about you. But like, your job is still right, act right. So look, mm -hmm. so when I first got to that platform, the first thing I said that even like when some with Ira was, nah, like don't free Young Thug if he did it. Two is this, right? I, I said, yo. I agree with that. Right, right. Facts, right? Wait, wait, you know, wait, wait. That's why I, I fell in love with some of the commentary you have. I don't know if you've stuck to it. Of because, course. No, no, no. Wait, wait, let me explain. Whoa, 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 because whoa, whoa. Okay. I, I think you've, you've, you've had to pivot a bit, not saying you don't still believe it, mm -hmm. but that's not what you vocalize anymore. And I, I don't think it's possible for you to vocalize it because you're you innately, don't watch me act. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. You're innately in a environment surrounded by people who are continuing and propagating crime culture. Yeah. So if like again, it's cool for me to be like, yo, I don't care how much of how much your music sounds mm -hmm. or whatever. If you kill them niggas, mm -hmm. you should go to jail. Sure. And we're gonna enjoy you going to jail. I'm sorry. Sure. But it's cool when I'm doing it when I'm not around a bunch of rappers and I'm not around that those circumstances. Sure. sure. If I was around them, they're gonna be like, bro, you really want to go to like it would be awkward. I think you're in the environment now. Like, for example, like mm -hmm. you're interviewing and you're sitting down with people who are either notorious gang members or whatever, and, and part of what they're they're preaching is just crime. So sure, it's like sure. but look at it, this though. It, 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 it breaks yeah. what you're saying. Because th that mm -hmm. is like something that I agree with. Yeah. Even though I, I'm hypocritical at times because, uh, yeah, you know course. what I mean, of course, I like wind up and Melly, so in my head, he ain't do it. Man, right? man, you know? man come on. Man, listen up. <laughs> in my bro. head, he ain't do it. Fuck but, that nigga, he guilty. I'll be real. But here's the thing, though. Yeah. Are, are you keeping that energy oh, absolutely. among everybody, especially if they're from that West Coast? I, listen, I, listen, Russell, look. Like, I, I just did like a few, like, uh, right? Like, probably like Should a Blueface be in jail? If he guilty, yeah, of course. Lock him up, right? Oh, sorry. He pled guilty, right? Yeah, of course. You feel me? Lock him up, right? But, but look, though, right? But act, listen, Russell, look. Like, I'm the same person and who sat on in that platform and said, and said, bro, I wish nothing but death in jail and on future. Right, and that you was still recently. stand on that though. Well, well, how recent was that? And I feel like I've heard that like last before. month, right? But look at this though, right? Right here, right here, right here, right. But look at this though. So when it comes to like, like, right, like folks saying, "Yo, you are on that platform, and this is being done." What, what are you doing? I, I said, "Hold up, now." Like my track record is, yo, my when I came on that platform, I, I brought Rizza again. I brought brought in Rizza Islam. Tariq Nasheed, Young Pharaoh, Gorilla Hebrew. I implemented consciousness into that platform, right? So, yes, this is going on. I have no control over what's, but I have control over what I, 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 I like, you feel me? Like, um, what I bring on. You have a sense of individuality, but you, you definitely can't go against the status quo. Like, for example, like in the last two weeks, they can't stop covering a person who was a former friend of mine, Little Boom. But w w no one has ever given any type of scrutiny to Adam 22's situations like but that. Let's speak Boom real quick, though. No, no we're going to speak But But what I'm saying is, and by the way, not necessarily that something's wrong with Adam 22, but, but th there was a whole situation where someone came on there and made certain allegations, and I felt like you almost got fired. You could tell me about that? Sure. But I, I, I felt like Adam was so perturbed that, like, yo, hey, listen, on my platform, listen, you know, and by the way, I, I respect it. Sure. Your platform, like motherfucker, like yeah, it's freedom of speech over here. Mm -hmm. But nigga, you ain't gonna come in and just try to bombard me, like you know of what course, I mean? Like, yeah. It don't work like that. You don't go to CNN and be like, yo, let's talk about who the boss at CNN is fucking. No, nigga, let's talk about the boss that Amazon is fucking. Of course, not CNN. Um, so that's the only place where I'm like, you, you do have to. I, I think you do like control how hard you go on certain things yeah. and we could roll into the little boom situation no right now. right so look no look right no no so those dudes right mm -hmm. who came on like people say like yo like it, it's your fault lock right no right so um so your fault for what though because yeah I, I, bring I, them on right but no right because what does that mean though that yeah. means that that conversation yeah you know just isn't welcome there and i'm not okay, saying yeah, yeah, of course it, not. it's just not welcome there which as much as you're saying oh i bring my i bring this to the platform you sure. know certain conversations and it doesn't necessarily have to be about adam isn't welcome there which uh, makes sense because it is part of your employment if yeah. you if you choose to work at no jumper and you should have did your research and you still chose to sign that dotted line on a contract or any yeah. type of independent whatever you 
can be up there like, yo, let me get into certain shit with Adam, right? Yeah, 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 yeah right? Now, like, those dudes came, though, right? Um, but people say, like, what yo. What was their thing? Right, huh? What was their sure, thing? Sure, right? So, look. So, people say, like, yo, this is, like, your guest. Not really. So, and here's why, right? So. Now, don't squiggle out of it now. No, no, look. So, about, about, like, a month prior, right? Mm -hmm. They had a very viral video, right, where. What were the names? Uh, bro, I don't, uh, the the predator poachers, I think, or whatever, right, brother? Yeah. You invited the predator poachers. Hear me out, though, right? <laughs> like, come no, on, no, 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 yo, no, no, no. Hear me out. that's what? like me inviting to my platform the Walmart watchers and expect them not to ask me about. Like, come on, no. <laughs> like, yo, you hear me out, though, right? Wait, 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 right. So look, no, look. So they had a very viral video, right? probably like a month prior, right? Mm -hmm. Of so they was doing like like a catch, right? And they convinced some LA rapper to to like join in, right? And he joined in to like catch a predator, and the predator like whooped his ass, right? Wait, what? Yes, yeah, right. Listen, the predator has squabbles, super squabbles, right? Oh shit, right? Now listen, right? So look, so that video happened, right? Yeah, yeah. And they came on, and they played nice, they played cool, right? And it was no issues, right? Now. They at that time now were guests that been on before. They didn't do nothing crazy, right? Like they played it cool, right? Like played grateful, right? So now when like we invited them back, they switched up, right? So people say like, yo, like you are responsible for this when I'm like, how, right? Like we already like had them on like in the past and they played, they were like, you know, they were like mad, grateful, cool, respectful. What do you think changed? Uh, Cloud, right? You feel me? Mm -hmm. Right? Cloud, right? Now, boom. Now, listen, man. Uh, no pun intended. Yeah, right. Yeah, look. So, so when a boom thing like first like came out, right? Um, like even before I, I knew. Did you know boom? You met him before. You interviewed him, right? Yeah, 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 yeah right. So, so, hey, right. So when it came out, right? Like, it, like even before like the you know like the videos came out and information came out, right? I was like kind of like put off by it, right? And here's why. I'm like, hold up now, bro. So somehow this happened on like on some type of like obscure Discord or like a like this Reddit page with like eight hundred thousand. No, sorry, with like eight hundred followers, right? And then somehow that ended up on the No Jumper page. Boom commented within three minutes, and 1090 Jake responded back to Boom within five minutes. Of you sure? So that would mean that 1090 Jake had knowledge of who posted that. Uh oh, uh, like Flocko, you did it. Come on, no, hell no, nah. no. Nah. Who, who posts the majority of stuff? Because at first, oh, no, was, no. At it's first, first it was team. posted like really weird. Academics best friend from birth. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, not fast. Yo, big folks, what's going on? You wrote that? <laughs> no, 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 right? No, 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 no right? I'm look, like, right? yo, yeah, no. Let that man sit on his, his own. It was system. bad, right? No, look, no, no, right? No, look. So like, and here's why. Like, I was initially put off, right? So when he commented, Boo commented and on that post within like three minutes. Yeah. And 1090 and commented within like five and hinting towards having all the information and already. Okay. So I, I'm like, listen, right? So look, so that would mean that 1090 Jake already knew everything about the Boo situation mm -hmm. prior to No Jumper posting it. So that would mean that there was some type of like communication between- Why are you between, acting like you're not in, in the No Jumper? Like, no, no hell no. Nah. You know, there's a time where For like- sure. Most of the B, I think there was a nigga who came to snatch the life out of you at, at No Jumper. Lush? I saw Mexican niggas who came there and apparently you posted something on the gram. No, so, that was capped as well, right? Bro, I was nigga, lied on. Nigga, okay, well, whether you yeah, lied yeah, yeah, or not, yeah. you are someone who knows how the flow of information, mm -hmm. put it like this, when people see information, if Say Cheese Instagram posted, mm -hmm. if Academics Instagram posted, mm -hmm. if No Jumper posted, sure. They're not thinking, like, first of all, like, you know, with me, I don't do, I review every post. Mm -hmm. So I, I put my name on it. Sure. With, with, with with Say Cheese and No Jumper, it'd be like interns or whoever else. Mm -hmm. You've been that person that put up a couple of posts before. So you sure. know how this post probably originates. So you tell me how that probably originates. No, listen, wait though, right? By the way. Sure. And here's the thing that's, that's why it was weird to me though, right? Here's the thing that for me sure. up. Who the fuck? Like, I didn't even know niggas. Yo, play this. Mm -hmm. I've been around Boom for, for so long. Yeah. And again, definitely not defending him. But it's like, I never even It was some weird shit. I never even looked at that nigga. Like, I never looked him up. Yeah, nah. Like, who looks up little Boom? <laughs> Wait, though. And that's why I was like, 
put off, right? Because it seemed like a real like coronated hit, right? Cause, you think Adam was behind that? Um, be honest, just me talking. The hit and on boom? No, 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 not necessarily sure. the hit, but like maybe an agenda. Like, hey, listen, if we should look into these things, because put it like this. Do like, I think that Adam at ten ninety Jake and had a conversation prior to that that like post going up? Of course, right, right. Because listen, because. He already had all the information five minutes after No Jumper posted it. <laughs> that, that so was obviously a, there was some type of communication being had there. That was an interesting thing and time and too because I felt it made you it look you look ridiculous. Sure, it was a, one of the only times and people know that you work with No Jumper. Sure, um, but you got your own thing. Yeah. but it made it look like you were. On, no, on the boom side and shit. Well, not in the boom side, but mm. you were just on the Fence. fake news shit. Sure. And, and, and that they were providing the truth. Sure. Which, for independent media, I go to war about that. Of course. Like, you know what I mean? Anytime people be like, oh, no, that wasn't true. Like, Megan Stallion was like, hey, oh, uh, 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 it, it didn't say that it was uh, whatever. And I'm like, y'all correct? I said, listen, the DNA evidence is inconclusive. I will stand on that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I made sure I seen it with my two eyes. Sure. You know what I mean? Then they were like, oh, how did you see it? No. no. You, somebody must have shared, hey, I don't care how y'all claim I saw it, but I had to see it with my two eyes because my reputation means everything. You see, when it comes to TMZ, TMZ could say Lil Wayne died, and they printed Lil Wayne died. Lil Wayne's mm -hmm. still over here breathing. Yeah. He's skateboarding. He's on the yeah, with Skip. Nobody's going to impugn their integrity. Yeah. You get wrong, some, some important shit wrong one time, yeah. they're going to act like you're a lying sack of piece of shit. Of course. They're gonna act like I'm a lying sack of piece of yeah. shit. So I'm really big on that shit. Even right now, even though like people know, like again, you know, I, I can't definitely tell with an artist, but mm -hmm. um, Cardi, 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 and his people said we're dropping in January. Didn't drop in January. Clearly, mm -hmm. the last Friday in January uh, yeah, passed. Fast. It's gonna be pushed back. Um, they know this. Yeah. They know that hey, people are attacking me right now, and they know that they're gonna have to probably give me an update to give to the people. Of course, because you know. I gave that accurate information as y'all told me. I didn't make this up. Of course. You know, and I always tell people before y'all think that I'm lying out here because my reputation means everything. I will throw my source under the bus, but I usually don't of because course. my source usually has some integrity. Uh, my, my source is going to be like, yo, we're going to give enough information to back up what you're saying that you'll never have to throw us on the bus because sure. you'll never look like a liar. Sure, of course. Right? And, and, and like, for example, like with the card, you said, like, they're going to give me a new date. And I'll, I'll, of course. I'll, I'll tweet it out. But anyway. That's the, when what, I seen that I was like bullshit. Yeah. yeah, when I said I said, well, well, Flacco works at No Jumper Saint A, and then the No Jumper official page are Saint B. Listen, Russell, look, that was crazy, right? So look, who's who, who, who put it out on those pages? What on oh, like No Jumper, yeah. right? Uh, listen, listen, Russell, look, you know, come no, on, no, 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 right, no, look, right, no, look, and hey, here's why it, it was like strange, right? So, so, and here's how, how I like the workflow works, right? Uh, like, you make a post, you post it in a Slack channel, it gets approved, and then it gets posted, right? So, the person who posted it in, in the Slack was a different person that was tagged. So, I was like, so... So, my name Malcolm was tagged. No, uh, I think the person that, that uh, was tagged was like Sam... Baka, yeah, right. But right, nigga. no, right. But Sam was not the person who posted it in, in the Slack. So I was like, who posted the Slack? Oh, I don't know, right? You know who posted no, the Slack, right? You got snitch on him. No, you. listen, no. So it's Remo, no. So I was just like confused as to I like where did the post come Adam from? Adam posted it. No, Adam don't. No, I was Lena. We all know that. Come on, <laughs> right? No, no, right. So right. So right. So one, I'm already like kind of like. Confused as to okay, so where did this come from? And then once I seen that 1090 already knew about this, about this, about this like information, it had everything already like ready to go five minutes after we posted it. I said, okay, it's probably a coordinated attack because boom, you feel me? Has some you feel me? You know, like has some questionable commentary during y'all like playback on the Jason Love shit. You feel me? Boom was uh, I feel like Boom and Adam has had their words. So so you're in agreement with with, with me. I'm like first of all, we can't you know I, I can't call it a hit because this happened to be like some true shit. Yeah. But but but, but, but it's a weird shit. I, I, Adam probably had like a little extra incentive to get the digging. Of course, right. So Adam yeah. called the hit. Perfect. Listen, I don't know who called the hit, right? But I'm just saying it just came. Adam off. Grand Mason. That's his name. 
it came off as just really weird that 1090 Jake already knew every information about this five minutes after we broke the story. Did Adam pull you to the side and be like, yo, listen, I'm about to bury this motherfucker, sit out of it? Because why would they allow you to get it so wrong? No, what the wrestler looked, the wrestler looked. No, look. So, like, the words that came out of my mouth was, yeah. listen, Boom is telling me, yo, bro, you see here? Like, they said that, like, like, they can't charge me for this is this right now. Get, get right, look. So this was like like an hour after like the news drop, right? Yeah, yeah. There's no paperwork yet. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Boom telling me, yo, look where it says here, right? That I was not charged. That I, I, I was like um, adjudicated not guilty. So I I said, okay, cool, right? I posted, yo, Boom was you know like. Uh, Judicated like um, not guilty, right? Wait, did he mislead you on that? Because like, yes, he he, 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 he lied to me. There was two charges. One was adjudicated not guilty. Yes. The other one was right. Listen, right? No, right. But after again, right? Like this is like prior to everything coming out. Yeah, you were early. Yes. So he misled me into like uh, making a post like an hour afterwards, right? But as soon as like the full like the full document came out, I said, "Hold up, yo, boom! Like, what's this?" And he told me, "Yo, listen." Just wait when more information come out when, bro, I'm going to be like exonerated, right? I said, cool. So I came on air and said, hey, I'm not going to speak on this until all the facts come out and all the videos, right? So, so, right? So like folks like, so folks like took like me saying, yo, I'm not going to speak on this until all the information come out as me saying, yo, these niggas is lying for, no, right? I just waited, and as soon as the AK video came out of that motherfucker doing some egregious shit, I, I said, yo, he guilty, right? He guilty, but folks, right, said, yo, Flacco, like, you have a strong stance on a lot of shit. Why did you have to wait? Because in this situation, right, again, and he is pleading, yo, I'm telling you, when this shit drop, I'm going to be exonerated. I said, okay. I'm going to wait until it come out. Mm -hmm. you, you feel me? So that's what people say. You feel me? Man, but, you know. I, I, I do give you credit. You see, these days, media is, is, is so quick and down to jump to someone's guilty. Yeah. Accusations happen to almost be like, you know, I, I talked to OTF Dewey Lowe right as where we're sitting now. Yeah. And he was just like, yo, the day that they accused me of doing certain shit, mm -hmm. it was like the worst day of my life. And mm -hmm. he was like, I remember... He was in my DMs heavy when like the vindication came out. It was just mm. like, yo, bro, like you're gonna post this, right? Like, yeah, of course, post bro, it. like I remember when you posted the allegations. Mm -hmm. It was like a million comments, and everybody's like, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. And now, I, like, I have the proof. It's official. I, I'm innocent. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm gonna give you the solid. Of course, I'm gonna post it. Absolutely. Because what happens in, and I don't know, you know, maybe it's because we're both men, black yeah. men at that. Mm -hmm. We all understand that sometimes allegation and accusations could be so loud where no one wants to give someone a even a chance to respond sure. and for me even like you know i've covered the diddy stuff yeah shit you know i, I try to keep it allegedly even though this mountains of proofs and, and listen it's one thing when it was like one girl mm -hmm. it's another thing when it's like a trailer girls yeah. and it's another thing when it's like 30 years of history it's, it's, it's a lot of things going on yeah. but still it's like all right you know you still try to be fair to someone cool. because what i've realized and it's like and, and as my career is going on and mm -hmm. the bigger you get it's like bro i always say this i remember um i was talking to charlamagne one time mm -hmm. and charlamagne said to me um he said ack so you know how lucky you are mm. i said what you mean he said, the worst thing they have to say about you is that you did the war in Chirac. Mm. And I was like, I remember I was on Clubhouse like the day before or something. Mm -hmm. like everybody was going crazy. And I was like, yo, but man, I should do it. Like, I feel like everybody's against me. And he said, listen, man. He said, if you could go through a career and that's the worst thing they got to say about you, mm -hmm. man, you privilege. And the reason why he was saying that was that eventually- Charlamagne was accused of taking that pussy. Well, I mean, he he's talking about accusations- that seemingly always follow. Oh, yeah, of course. Right now, yeah. the veracity of, of those accu accusations we could all talk about. Oh yeah, but 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 it's like he was found like not guilty, right? Like like and he like 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 plead down to like some yeah. other, right? So, yeah. Okay, so for example, yeah, let's go to Kevin Hart. Yeah, 
with Kevin Hart, like even Kevin Hart, bro, there's all type of allegations. I guess what he was trying to say, mm-hmm. and again, we could talk about this situation sure. if you want to, but I guess he was trying to say is that like, yo, listen, as a black male entertainer, yeah. you're going to get into some shit or get mm-hmm. accused of some shit, whether it be true or not. Yeah, of and if the worst thing they could say about you in your career is that you covered some people in Chicago doing violence, mm-hmm. you're lucky. Of course. And at that time, I was like, what? And you're going to realize that now. Mm-hmm. The more famous you get and the more popular you get, yeah. what you think is a personal life, yeah. what you think is something that was innocuous, that, you know, shit like, you know, like, for example, like back in college, they put out a flyer that I was, I, I was, I was, I was, um, being looked for by the cops yeah. for burglary. Yeah, that's why. It was really bullshit because nobody, like burglary means you intended to steal something or stole something. We, yeah. Nobody did nothing, so they gave us trespassing. Of course. Right? And, and it was all because a girl that we was fucking with that summer, I remember d it was in the playoffs, yeah. she was like an RA and she was unwilling to tell the truth to everybody else mm-hmm. saying that she invited us in because Mm-mm. she wasn't our chaperone, she could have lost her job. Oh, fact. So we basically got this trespassing bullshit, we later got dismissed, whatever. Yeah, of course. But that was the, like, w- we got, that was, like, the headline. And I see people try to use it now. They're like, oh, yo, you used to rob people back in college. And that's that, not and the case. Yeah, that's crazy. So, but it sticks with you. Of course. Again, what I'm saying is that the more popular you get and your career is going to keep going up, yeah, you're going to have somebody who's going to bring up something about you to be like, yo. They already tried. The fuck niggas already tried, man. Oh, really? No, well, well, listen. Right, Whatever, listen. Uh, go ahead. I right, listen. And that's why I was so skeptical with the boom thing, right? Because when when I know the same person who's giving us the information in, on, on, on boom, that same person was told to do a hit piece on me. And oh, he, okay. You feel me? So I, I'm like, listen up, bro. Again, I have no issue with 290 Jake, right? The game is the game, right? And, and he was told, right? And he, again, and he confessed already. He was told to investigate me. I got to figure out who told him that. Bro, I would have known too, right? And he was told to investigate me, and and he investigated and found nothing, right? So if I'm now aware of information that you're being sick on niggas, being sent to do hit pieces, then how do I know that this hit piece is genuine? Or right, like so, I sat back and said, "I right, cool, right?" Like look, like Lush, right? For example, Lush, bro. Listen, yo, like Adam sent Lush though. Well, so look though, those are two, right? So look, um, there's one Did thing, he? right? Now, Lush says... They say yes or no, Flacco. Yo, Flacco, you know what you're, you're great at? You're, you're a filibuster. Like, if you were a politician... No, if you're a politician, listen, you're great at not answering the question. It's either yes or no. You're no. like, well, well, wait, here's wait, 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 here's wait, 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 look. Like, wait, no, no. Here's Waddle at, right? It's yes or no. <laughs> wait, here's Waddle at. Go ahead. Lush said, and Adam did, and Adam said he's a fucking liar. Right? What do you believe? Lush has been caught in... Who do you... No, no, I didn't ask who, what he's been caught in. Sure. Who do you believe? I believe Adam because I saw like the text log, right? And and it, it sounded like your your face already tells me the answer. You're still trying to make up your mind. It's okay. No, look, it's no, okay. Wait to look though. So when I see the text log, and, and listen, mm-hmm. your face tells me everything I need to know. We're in this industry. Sure. That let me tell you what it does. Mm-hmm. It's made like even with the boom situation, it's mm-hmm. made you rethink a motherfucker who you you thought you knew for all your life. Right, so even though as you're answering that question, mm-hmm. not saying that you're like, oh, don't no, like, like, like Adam did, but this industry will make you realize the treacherousness and the levels that people will go that you could never swear for a motherfucker, Man, and I- you don't know where the next attack is coming from, and you don't even know who views you as a threat because sometimes you look at them. I've seen people send the hits at me because they viewed me a competition and I looked mm. up to them same people. I was Charlemagne. saying, I, well, listen, I'm not Ka- calling no names and by the way, it's Luke Charlemagne. Be real, I, listen. <laughs> but I, I, listen, I, I've, I, seen, I've seen people send the missiles at me and I said, whoa, bro. Like, like nigga, like I, 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 I sat in the yeah. tank and we took the fucking missile and I said, yo, where did that missile come from? And they said, that was friendly fire from the person you said was the best tank act, in the world. Act, l- I get it. No, 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 no. I know act, this. No, act, listen, act, listen, act, rest, look. Everything I'm telling you, this is going to be an iconic interview for uh, you. Uh, sure, sure. Because everything I'm telling you, like we're having conversation in the yeah. moment, but there's certain things that you're going to watch back later and you're going to be like, fuck, 
This nigga just told history, but I'm not no prophet. Of course. I'm not no oracle. No, listen. I'm just someone who I came in and shit just like you, green as ever. I wanted everybody mm. to be good. I wanted people to see me for a great human being. Sure. I wanted, despite what fans say about me, I wanted people to know I'm genuine, I'm loyal, and I work hard. Sure. And I'm here not to be a bad person. I'm here to try to cause change. Sure. And that's just not how people work. People are going to see you yeah. and they're going to say, the stuttering motherfucker is a threat to me, and how do I get him out of here? Yo, I, well, I, what the, what, what the, right? And that's why I'm saying like By I way, that, that's the reason why I didn't go at you when people wanted me to go at you. Yes, right. Because look, and that's why I'm saying I can't really like blame Adam because when I seen like the text log of these coworkers that I, again, right, again at every workplace, right, I've always been a defiant nigga, right. Meaning this, I always had the mindset of. The workforce <laughs> versus the infrastructure, right? You always piss in the toilet but never flushed. Right, so, right, so when Lush showed me like the <laughs> entire text log uh, of coworkers yeah. who, who I, I thought, yo, we were cool and who? we love talking about me like a fucking name dog. Some names, name some names, we should. Nah, and, and listen, they already scared? gone. Listen, they gone, right? Oh, so I'm gonna talk about it, right? No Fuck way. Fuck no. Fuck, listen, listen, bro. AD is the realest nigga I ever met. So no, not AD. It wasn't suspect. Suspect's cool. Listen, right, right. So oh, look, was suspect. Listen, you smart, right, right, right. You trying? Gina was not texting about you. What are you talking about? See, he's smart, right? Gina was texting about you. <laughs> right. No wait. Look, so he's smart, Gina, right? Right. Listen. Fuck with Gina views. You trying to like wow. take me through the process of elimination? I'm not confirming no nobody, way. right? Gina. But listen, right? But look though. Like, you like, trying to get her off that show by any means necessary. Wait, though, right? So, look, I like it. I don't like how you went about it, though. No, 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 no. You, you, you was trying to get her the fuck out of here. You were like, oh, wait, Adam though, right? said I want to kick you off. She wait. looking at it like, fuck, nigga, you want me off. No, 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 no. no. Go ahead. Wait, right? So, look, listen, Harris. So, like, we can definitely talk about that, too, right? But when people say, yo, and Adam sent Lush at you, I said, I can see how that looks. But when I see the messages of the co workers who I thought, yo, we were in the same court as us versus the infrastructure. Dumb niggas is talking about me like the filthiest dog there is to talk about, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, oh, okay. Well, 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 well I'm gonna be honest with mm -hmm. you. There was a point that maybe you held more value to the establishment than them. And that, and they probably thought the anti-establishment matter or, or view mm -hmm. we don't share anymore because they would do a lot to keep Flacco. If I come late today, they'll fire me. So sure. it, it's, you know, it's easy. You, you see, with anything when it comes to like, protested or whatever or you know boycotting or stand against the picket line it's cool when everybody's on the same footing true if that one motherfucker who's getting treated really good and they said listen everybody asked for a raise and maybe a stipend for transportation and yeah. they say fuck all y'all no raises no stipend for comp for transportation but they see that one person they said man this nigga is good no we're gonna give you the shit you know what happens? Even if you stand outside with them picket fences, yeah. they're always going to side eye you and be like, why the fuck did they only offer to him? That's what happened to you. There was a time that you, your value to the company of No Jumper mm -hmm. became envious to the people who didn't share the same sentiment and they didn't feel they were on the same side, which is not their bad people. They didn't feel like they were on the same side. No more. A question though, right? So the people who were there doing well did not share those sentiments, right? Like, for example, um, we got to call a name Flacco. No, listen, Russell, look. Now, Josh, forgive him. I'm going to give him the part. Nah, right? Listen. Who do you do HR meetings with, Josh? No, we don't do HR meetings, man. If, well, well, hey, listen, like, listen, like, Josh is like the. I heard like about the, the vice president, CEO, age. Josh wears like 20 hats. No, no, I heard about the HR means I hear y'all all go in the plug talk room and then all y'all got to pick a different color butt plug and get it in. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey. Close? He good, bro. Hey, hey. Yeah. He good, you feel me? Him doing it. <laughs> nah, man, nah, nah, listen. No, no, bro, but like, bro, but like, yeah, bro, like, I just never understood that, right? But though, it's always the people, right? Like, for example, right? I just preach the same thing as yo. We have a platform, right? Yeah, yeah. It's our job to turn that platform into something for us, right? Why? Because our value is based on what we have built for ourselves that, that like we can feed our family on, right? So look, so when I so I felt like the people who who really was there and not really building nothing for themselves, they felt the envy. 
You gotta say their names. Folks who was there and doing well, and you feel me? To my lush Gina, who else? Listen, I'm not saying no names, bro. Court. Listen, I'm not saying no names. Listen, listen, I'm not confirming nor not What's nobody. Court, the new AD. Huh? Court. Uh, I, 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 hey, listen, I don't think there can ever be a, feel me like uh, a, a new AD, right? Bro, listen, bro, AD represented, bro, like something that's like, listen, listen, bro, so let's think about this, right? There's a force there, right, that just represented like the culture of LA on a platform that's based in LA, right? So like, I, I don't feel like taking like a New York nigga and putting him in on the platform can like replace AD, you feel me? Right, like AD is LA. Okay, okay, I get that, I get that, I get that. But, but I, I do think that the mere fact that you're not from LA mm -hmm. is what helped the platform a lot. I'm gonna be sure. honest with you, you know, like with all due respect to everybody in California, LA has just not been the center of hip hop in <laughs> so long. Sure. So like when y'all are covering LA centric too. things, when y'all covering LA centric things and you know, Obviously, there's going to be people always in, interested in gangs and stuff like that. Okay, the gangs and stuff like that, cool. Mm. But L.A. hip hop, nobody cares about. Like with all due respect, so it's like it's always it's it's, it's, it's the South and the East still. I uh, and, listen, and and that's I why agree I agree a hundred percent. Listen, so so you go in there. I think change up the status quo because I used to be watching that. I used to be watching No Jumper, and they're talking about these niggas from L.A. And I'm like, yo, who are these niggas? Okay. Like, like I would literally be like, yo. I'm like, yo, is Adam inventing rappers? I in reality, some of them they were popping just regionally. Sure, you know, it, it just says fragmented place. So you but did that a good job. Hey, right, but that bred envy, right? Because again, if you have like this kid, right, who comes on and this platform again is mad political, right? And everybody is at first you had to almost catch some fades. Sure, right, right here, yeah, right. But look, it's mad political, and everybody is trying to protect their like relationship, right? I, were you gonna catch a fade with Lush? Wait, right? You walked outside. Of course, right? I like that. I like that you did that. <laughs> yeah, listen, sir. hey, listen. Hey, if you learn anything from me about rappers, most of these things, oh, they, they, they only try to bully the people because they have a bunch of people with them. They're not like that. You know what I mean? Put it like this: somebody like me and you, we don't we don't purport ourselves to be mm -hmm. tough players. I always say this. Okay, you, you know how I challenge rappers to fights? What? Okay, we get in a fight. You beat me up. You know what they're gonna say? Damn! At least I showed up. In fact. You get your ass whipped, it's over. You of know what course. I mean? Like, like you get your ass whipped before you leave the building. You gotta try to shoot me because, like, they everybody, all like it's done. But th that's the thing where I think you know, yeah. like that moment. That was the defining moment for you. Of course, that's a very defining. Listen, moment. right? No, look, no, look. So I felt like with that moment, right? I was at a point where, like, listen, bro, like you. Invite on right, like the old. You think Adam was sending sending people to like not necessarily just to kind of like antagonize or get a reaction out of you? Because That's not why though, like I snapped though, right? So look, so Lush got trolled by the fans, right? So like right, so like I, I told Lush, bro, listen, man, like the old, like the old, like high school friends shit, cool, but you allowed the fans to send you some fake paperwork and say that is me, right? When again, this was a dude with my last name. But he's like 40 years old. His mugshot is on the paperwork, but the fans like cut that part out and say, yo, Lush, see, <laughs> so you. see, look, it, it says Jala here is touching this girl, right? Lush being what? so thirsty hey, at that point to get me out of here. Just give me some water. Right? So Lush being so thirsty at that point to get me out the paint now. Yeah, yeah. He said, oh, oh, nigga, I got the ammo now. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, what? A rape case? Then? What? And he started to spread it. So at that point, I'm like, oh, I, listen, like the workforce drama petty shit, nigga. I don't I like, give a I fuck. I like how you got up. You was like, man, fuck all this talking, yo. We got to catch a fade. Like, you start walking off before the mic could catch you. You were like, yo. Yeah. I was like, yo, my boy bought it. I was pissed he, off, though, You never showed up? You no. Showed up, no, but listen. You were ready to give him the beast, though. Here, all right, listen. There's very few niggas, right, mm -hmm. who I think will truly fight me. Yeah, yeah. Bro, listen, bro, like, again, I'm 5'7", 5'8", 5'9". I see you beat Gina in that race. I know you're athletic. You feel me? Right? Bro, I will put hands and paws on these niggas, right? But guess what, though? I'm peaceful. But, though, I, I, I not recognize, though, right? That the niggas... from L.A.? No. I hear L.A. niggas is extra tough. Who, Lush? Yeah. A Lush is... I think, I think he's from L.A. You know, or the Bay. I, I'm not even sure. Where in Africa are you from? Liberia. 
Yeah, you Liberian. Like, you don't want to fuck with no Liberian. Yeah, but come on now, bro. Listen. Everybody know like, Liberia, Nigeria. Like, nigga, that's basically where Wakanda was really at. You know what I mean? You got some vibranium up in your fucking skull, nigga. Real like, question, though, right? Well, you act, fucked them up. Wait, the real question, though, right? Yeah. So, so when you see me going viral for saying I got a real yard man. Yeah. Was well, you well, like, nigga, man? Like, come on, dog. Like, what? Because, listen. Because, look. Yeah, talk about it. Because I thought. Yeah. I already seen the slander was coming down the window of, yeah. yo, I got a small pipe. Yeah. And I'm saying, one, impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. It's not, hold on, it's still impossible. But impossible with the right, because why? Because I guess from a country where Come on, man. good white women from all across the world go to that particular country. Still got her groove back. For the penis in that Come country. Come on. So you're telling me that academics who's built girthy. Come on, man. Right? A little baby leg. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You feel me? And you say that, saying that he got a small dick, impossible. Yeah, yeah. So when you heard me expressing that, your thoughts was what? I can't listen. Wack always say, "Listen, the truth could never be disrespect." <laughs> hey man, come on, the man. Hey, disrespect. come on, man. That's a fact. The truth can never be disrespect. That's a fact. Hey, man. hey. By the way, they try to sabotage me. They try to catch by the wrong angle. No, no, they try to catch a little joint yeah. of my joint, like, you know what I mean? You know, 60 degrees. Yeah. It's a little cold. Yeah. Not hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just chilling. I'm playing a video game. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? But anyway, you now, know. Wait, wait, though. Now, Tasha K hinted towards a sex tape being, being out there of you. Is that true? Tasha K. During her interview with. Selena Powell. Yeah. And Tasha K said that she watched a sex tape of you and your dick was small. Um, I don't believe there's no <laughs> sex tape well, hey, man. Uh, of me out there. <laughs> yeah. Um th there has been and you know, I don't wanna <laughs> confirm or deny it, but but uh, alleged there, there might be some stuff, but I never heard small be associated with but it was was you know what I mean. I, I, listen, I, 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 I'm, I'm not gonna put no face on. Listen, no face I've on seen, listen, because I've seen an alleged video, and I'm like, this can't be act. What right? is the video? Who was about? So there was a video that was going around Reddit and Discord. Yeah, how'd it look? Um, it had the OnlyFans tag of your ex. Oh, I'm on OnlyFans. Of Angelica's like her OnlyFans, right? And there was her getting piped down. And people say, yo, this this must be act, but but listen though. Yeah. The video dropped though, like years after like y'all broke up. So so like kind of like I'm sure, sure, she's like she's getting stuff by penis almost every night. <laughs> right? Yeah. So how do we know that this is act punching dick in her and not just some nice uh, fat nigga? <laughs> yo, respectfully, man, you know, uh, you know, uh, I want to shout to, you know, Angelica, like, you know, she's doing her thing. She's mm -hmm. in the Dominican Republic. Um, you know, oh, she's sticking dick up there, huh? Shit, it's been a while. <laughs> man, since come on now, it's bro. It's been a while since we've been together. I don't know her sexual history. She got caught either. from you, though, man. I, I mean, she got the clock from you. I, right? I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like every yeah. girl just try to, like, you know, at some point in the relationship, yeah. they try to, like, yo, all right, let, let, let's hit the eject button. But mm -hmm. before we get out of here, let's get max clout. You know what I mean? You know? It, it, so, no, but, but, um, I, 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 I'm proud of her. The reason why, you know, I never really but I try not to say nothing about her. Is that video true, though? Uh, what was video? I haven't seen that video. I gotta expect it. Damn. You got it on your phone? Listen, I had it. <laughs> I, I had it at some point. No, no, I'm on my Discord. It. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Ah, we can watch it. See, okay. Listen. We can watch it. <laughs> I, I may not be able. Oh, oh no. Bruh, listen. No, we got a charger. No, no, listen. No, look. What's that? It's a. Brand new phone, right? That like, like, hey, right, here, right. So this morning, somebody could find a link. We could watch yeah, it, and uh, we'll yeah. we'll, listen, we'll, listen, we'll, we'll confirm. Listen, listen, we'll listen, 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 folks, listen, right? L listen. So go to like the chat nigga Discord and just ask them real quick, like, yo, like, who has the link to the Ak and Angelica's tape? Now, again, I don't think it's Ak because again, like, like they can seem a little bit. Too fat, right? <laughs> now, Ak is big. But this nigga had hey, like, buddy, a... Buddy, buddy, not like this, bro. Like, you feel me? Hey, buddy, did, did, so you've met me in person now. Yeah, you're not that fat, bro. Everybody keep... Well, everybody according, according to the internet, like, I'm the fattest nigga since Khaled. Nah, bro. I'm not that fat, man. Yo, they say I'm fat and Drewski, I promise you. Nah, hell nah, man. Nah, hell nah, bro. You what you me? think? No? Nah, hell nah, But you bro. know what, though? I, I, I take them jokes because you realize... I, 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 you know, I used to, like, get offended when people used to, like, joke on me. Not just only in the fat regard, just about anything. Yeah. And I realized, I'm like, yo, bro, who am I, bro? Like, you're somebody who sits up online and you got jokes about everybody. Yeah. You got to take these jokes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, 
shit. If, if, if they want to be like, yo, they'll joke and be like, yo, act you a snitch or act you fat or act whatever. And I'm like, these days, I, heard, I like seeing it. If, if people, yeah. if I got on and people were giving me compliments, yeah. which, you know, I spoke to Drake one time and Drake said this. Drake was like, yo, I, you're too used to being the bad guy. True. And I think that's true. Like, yeah. I think if I woke, if I went online one day mm. and everybody said positive thing about me, it would fuck me up. No facts. Like course. I need a couple niggas to be like, "You bitch ass, yo." If if I don't see at least like eighteen death threats, mm. I think I'm not I'm not really doing my job. You know, nigga. Like this, you're this, working on with the right, but I feel like though, like even like for example, right? Like you didn't violate it like so many niggas, right? That now yeah. I feel like you are now like in your yo. Let me be liked, right? Because look. Cause Lil Durk came on this platform, right? Mm -hmm. And he said, "Yo, death to all rats." Yeah. And I said, "The old act like would have said, hold up, Durk, pause, Durk." So you and Von caught an attempted murder case. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, hey, by the way, wait, 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 no, wait. no, 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 no. Sure. I like where you're going. Okay, yeah. Because everything you're about to say yeah. is right, yeah. and everything you're about to say yeah. is why. You need to carry on the flag. Of course, you feel me? Yeah, you're, you're gonna like. You need to carry on the flag, and then there's gonna be another wilder motherfucker that comes after you yeah, of that carries on the other flag. So I like what you say. Go ahead. No, no, look, no, <laughs> no. Dirk came on his platform. Yeah, yeah. With his big little raccoon eyes and look at the camera, and he says, "Oh come on, man, with the raccoon eyes, death to our rats, right? Death to our he rats." Be surprised a lot. Yeah, listen, and I wonder why, right? <laughs> but he said, "Death to our rats," right? But him and Von called an attempted again an attempted murder case, right? Now there's footage from that particular case, right? It doesn't show who was shooting, yeah, right? Yeah. At all. Listen, we have the full footage, right? Um, I think it was Seti Nash who filed the FOI request and got the full evidence, right? Again, and every evidence they have on Dirk and Von and and like Bezu, they presented it to us, right? So we have everything they had. To charge them with attempted murder. Again, mind you, they charged Dirk and Vaughn with attempted murder. Vaughn what was passed, the verdict? Vaughn passed away. Yeah. And the DA looked at the same footage they used to say that Vaughn and Dirk both are being charged with attempted murder. And they said, oh, all of a sudden Vaughn passed away. Oh, no, Vaughn was a shooter. Dirk, you free. Exonerated. Now, listen. We all know, wait though, we all know how the law works, right? <laughs> yeah. If you're in that vehicle, and it can even advance the shooter. If you're in that vehicle, nigga, yeah. you'll be in charge with something. But somehow the DA said, oh no, Dirk, you are exonerated, walk free, after having a case on you for three years. Oh no, walk free. Obviously, somebody gave information that the DA was not privy to when they charged both Vaughn and Dirk. And I'm saying this, right? If Dirk was exonerated, and and it's a facts of the case, again, it's a facts of the case, right? That both Dirk and the DA, right? Um, say, yo, yo, these are these are the facts, right? That Dirk and Vaughn was in that car. So Dirk started saying, yes, I was in that car. So they both confessed, yo, I was in that car. So if the DA is saying, oh no, Vaughn shot them folks. Then why isn't Dirk charged something? And then two, what new information did they have now to say that Vaughn is the shooter? Because we seen the evidence they had, and that video doesn't show who shot who. So I'm saying is this: if Dirk charges got dropped completely, you are you 100 percent confident that Dirk ain't tell? So your mind is operating in the best place that somebody who has a hip hop platform should operate. You should be skeptical. You should ask. Hold on. Are you skeptical? Act. Um, not, dirt hold on. I would say not really, just because I feel like I've been watching how the law moves a lot more times. Sure. Like for example, I honestly feel that case is this because Vaughn died. Mm -hmm. it, it's one of those. Like, let's go back into another Chicago case. Mm -hmm. Let me close this here. Right. But a lot of people know the case of Rondo Number Nine and C Day. Yeah. Now. It was a cab driver that got killed. Yes, and don't grind me, the, niggas. The, 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 like neither basically have said they're not. They weren't at the scene. It's all about who pulled the gun and who okay. pulled the trigger. Yeah. Now in appeal, what we see happening. This is why people were bringing up snitching at all. Mm -hmm. It was like their lawyers are almost saying, "Hey, maybe the other person did it. It ain't my guy. Maybe it was the other person, yeah. right?" And what what that really is is to basically tell the. Um, 
whoever they're appealing to, like the board, be like, hey, listen, we should probably look at maybe not our client being guilty, maybe the other person. Mm -hmm. It's just creating a reasonable doubt. Now, so now let's get to Devon and Dirk thing. Sure. Wait, though. But you said on, on like, this platform, right? And Troy Ave told you, yo, Tax Stone is a rat because his lawyer wrote a letter to to the judge and, and, and like gave an alternative theory. If well, little Dirk, that's 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 that's, that's we, selling. We don't have a letter from from Dirk that says that. Sure, but I do believe the DA looked at it and said because one of the people who we thought was a primary suspect died. Yeah, they're all gonna kind of blame this person, and we don't have any full proof. Of hell not act. Well, that, that's act, what I believe. Act, listen, act. If you think that Fanny Willis, who is the nigga hunter, the rapper hunter? She's fucking. She's fucking special attorneys. If you think that she, Fonny Williams, you know, Fanny Williams got a big fat ass up under that course, dress, look, right? You know, Fanny Williams man. allegedly was fucking Donovan Thomas, who's of in the. Of course, you, 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 not? No, no. You, you know, Fanny Williams used to be busting it wide open, allegedly for Atlanta gang niggas. You think uh, Fanny Williams is the nigga hunter, but is she the nigga hunter on just pure facts, or is she over here also basically grinding her own personal beast of vendetta, sure. vendettas? You know, how a nigga be like, yo, they gonna get get back well if you're fucking the gang members you know what your get, get back is i'm gonna lock these motherfuckers i'm gonna pin a case on these niggas man sure. you ever see the nigga in the belly when he eating the banana so i'm gonna pin a whole case on <laughs> yeah no that's true what on. no true but though again I, i've been told the world my nigga she is thick and light skin i will fuck the shit out that bitch come on now i've been told the world this right so mm. so nigga trust me you like I black know. girls huh you like black girls so yeah, strikes me like you like white girls i did only black girls yeah, but somebody said you got a white girlfriend. Fuck no, listen. What? But the, wait, wait though, Dirk. Now listen. Now oh, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. No, we got a little what? side step. Like we're gonna get back to Dirk. Wait, you got a black girlfriend. Yes. So you're on that Dr. Umar shit. No, 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 no snow bunnies. You're not bunny hopping, are you? You're in LA. Mm -hmm. I know Adam done brought through a lot of them girls to say. I'm surprised he doesn't say, "Yo, Flacco, yo, I'll pay you twice the amount of money, but you gotta get on plug talk and really plug this bitch up." Listen. No. I don't date white girls, right? It's Would not you my thing. be mad if you fuck some girl on Plug Talk? Man, you come on. You LA. Man, let's know. But get up. Back to Dirk, though, act for me. Right? Again, again oh, okay, though. Okay, girl, go again, See, eye. hey, listen, no, no. though. See, see, hey, listen, though. Oh, shit. Academics is the king of sidetracking. Hell not, act. Again, <laughs> Finney Willis... Her, her... Again, like, Would we know... Girl, let you fuck Fanny, Fanny Willis. Fanny Willis, we know okay. for a fact, act, has a lust... To, to get them rapidly rapping nappy niggas in jail. So you telling me. I think me, she wanted to fuck Young Thug, but Young Thug, like, um, no, right. I'm around the science. You, you saw that jail call? Ah, do you think that Dirk told, man? Come on, man. Do I think Dirk told? Nah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, are you skeptical? No, no, no. I'm going to tell you what. No, I'm not. Why not? I sat with, were you with me when I went to LA, uh, uh, YK? We were sitting with Dirk. I mm -hmm. promise you, there was tears in his eyes when we talked about rats. And, 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 and again, the reason why I really believe that is that. It was so personal to him. He wasn't on, like, most of these guys who are street guys, like, the street shit these days is so weird. Because, like, really, like, yeah, 6 9 is a snitch. Well, gonna depend on who you ask is a snitch. But then the other guy who told, but blah, blah, they, they, it's, it's picking and choosing. When Dirk is, so most of these guys, when they say they don't fuck with snitches, like, yeah, they don't fuck with snitches as long as the snitches ain't one of their homies, right? Absolutely. When I talk to Dirk, mm -hmm. That there was tears in his eyes, but it was it felt it was deeper, and it was from him literally saying, "Yo, check this out. I grew up without my father mm -hmm. because a fucking snitch took my father away." And, and, and if you've no, ever, if, wait, 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 wait. Yes, L listen. That, that, that's what that's what his disposition was. He was wrong and, though, but yeah. He, Sorry. He, he said because someone ratted and took away my dad. Yeah, you could tell. He still had that hatred as a little boy. Sure. There's so many people, like, for example, my brother still has certain pent-up aggression and hatred towards my father who passed mm. because of certain things that happened as a kid. Mm -hmm. So w w when things happen and, and, and you see a young man have to grow up without his father, sure. or maybe his father did certain things that may have rubbed him wrong, mm. they grow up with that hatred. It's, it spurs a father. I saw in his eyes, like, yeah. it, it, it's the most emotionally he ever got. And it was it was it was about him not having a father because it, everything and again who knows maybe I was just a bad judge of, uh, of a person mm -hmm. everything he said to me was man I wouldn't be living this life if my dad was here 
Okay. I wouldn't have went through what I went through. My father was here. Sure. I went through what I went through because he wasn't here, and I felt led to certain shit. But the I looked same to daddy, and who went down for 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 a, a, a body, right? I don't know. So Low Dirk sat on your platform and shed tears and said he wouldn't he have lived a life. Tears, but I see and tears, said he but wouldn't I... have lived hey, a boss, life. What's going on, man? And said, wait, 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 though. <laughs> so Dirk sat on sat on this platform, Terry out and said, "I wouldn't he have was... been in the streets if my daddy was here." The very same daddy and who was in the street killing niggas. Okay, but also two, right? Act, look, <laughs> this guy. Right? But also two, act. Listen, act. <laughs> Yo, Flago. Act, act, listen, act. <laughs> I've seen, right? Listen. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the vein, like the fucking veins, yeah, popping out of six nine head when he says, "They asked me, I don't know what happened." I'm talking about veins, yeah, yeah, red yeah. in his face, screaming yeah. with aggression. Six nine. If a real you nigga. look at that, you say, "Yo, this nigga right here ain't never gonna tell." Now, Dirk said on this platform, "Listen, I don't give a fuck if Young Thug told Gunner to tell you. Go in that courtroom and you don't tell them folks nothing. Don't even give a fucking interrogation, nigga. Ask for your lawyer and leave." So, so now I'm telling you this. You think six nine is a real nigga? Listen, I think the six nine and Gunner are the realest nigga ever, and I, you feel me? And and I think that Dirk is a hoe. Free from the bigger republic. And here's why I think that six nine and Gunner are real niggas, and Dirk is a hoe. Really? I respect honesty act right. So if okay. so so if I know you told, and you know you told, because again act, the facts have to make sense, right? If they had enough to charge y'all with attempted murder, and they said, "Hey, nigga, y'all both getting charged, charged right with this shit, right?" And then one person died, and then they dropped all your charges, even though they could say, "Cool, the shots were fired from within that vehicle. That person was hit, and you ain't make a report, and you left with that person. That's a charge as well." So they just dropped every charge on Lord Dirk for no reason other than you know what? Hey, my damn, that's how they could go. I obviously it, act this nigga told. I, I, I'll give you an alternative theory. Sure, okay. They've dropped all these charges mm -hmm. because there might be a federal inquiry into all these other things that they're lumping in. Dirt? If, if if you remember when he initially got, got arrested, they actually flew out to Atlanta. Chicago police detectives who are gang detectives who testified saying, hey, listen, these guys are identified... Um, black disciples, mm -hmm. and this is how they've reigned terror in Chicago. Sure. They're doing what they did in Chicago, in Atlanta, and it's probably more likely that they did try to shoot somebody. Okay, keep in mind, the inquiry at that point, even though it was in Atlanta, they're bringing out people from Chicago. Sure. Keep in mind what happened with the old block five or six or however many mm -hmm. who just got convicted of FBG Ducks murder. They're now, which by the way, even heard Mama Doug said, Hey, Dirk, they're coming soon. Mm -hmm. I do believe there's a federal inquiry into. Hopefully. Well, I, you know, I'm not gonna hold. Man, it. like that he nigga said, up, man. Said, oh, that nigga is demonic. I, who listen, you, who I, you think Dirk's demonic? Listen, right. So why, I, why, why would you say that? Uh, Dirk has a okay. For example, right? Give me an example. Um, and FBG Cash died, and Lil Dirk is in a rap song talking about we left that bitch ass nigga under a tree, talking about cash. Right? Did he say that? Yes. This nigga is demonic. Was, was he left under a tree? Yes. What tree? Cash was found and under a tree dead act. Like what type of tree though? Hey, hey listen, man. I don't know. It, right? It's important what type of tree but, because we like nigga. This mad. I'm trees. gonna say this though, right? Listen, I have one beef with butter and trenches news. Yeah. And my they only cooperated, right? And my only Yo, beef. Yo, they got like twenty bands to cooperate. Like, listen. if somebody offered you twenty bands to like. Get up on that stand. I would say, sir, my morals and integrity says I have to do it for free. Oh, for shit. Me? And tell me which rapidly rap Damn. nigga I can get locked up, right? But I, wait, though. So look. You got an interview with Charles Wayne. You fuck with Charles Wayne? Listen. Charles um, Wayne, he on a mission to get no, locked up. Act, act, I listen. folks don't fuck with him. No, no. Listen. <laughs> no, act, look. no, act, listen. No, act, listen. What so here's why I don't fuck with, with like Charleston, right? And then we can go back to, to like, right, to um, Dirk and Vaughn, right? Is I feel like Charleston White is playing a character, and here's what I mean, right? Act? You think so? Listen, break it down. So look, so I'm really a rat, right? Like I'm wait, really wait, a snitch. Wait, wait, wait hold on. <laughs> I've gotten a rapper locked up already, act. You have? Punch me, dad. That's facts. You got him locked up? Yes. No, you didn't. That was act. like a skit. Act. I have the call logs and the text from an FBI. Listen, Russell, look, Russell, look. So you got a rapper locked up. 
Yes, Punch Made Dev. That's guaranteed facts, right? So listen. So Punch Made Dev. I, I'm like waiting for the punchline. I'm like, yo, I don't. I'm all pun intended. No, look, no, look. You got him locked up. Look, Punch Made Dev, right? Was upset. I made a video saying. This nigga ain't no high time scamming, bro. Like, he's no bad man, Kevil, bro. Like, he's like a local nigga who's scamming his fans, right? He's a bum. So this nigga DM me in vanish mode as if as if that's going to stop me from, from like, screen recording, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> and he's, <laughs> right? And he said, oh, listen. Oh, aren't these your family members? He, oh, he sent you your family members? Listen, Ak. Half them niggas, I ain't even know who they were, right? Oh, shit. But guess what, though? You I, said some people from Liberia or some shit. Listen, <laughs> I have a peculiar last name. Matumbo? No, it's Jala, right? Oh, okay. Oh, that no mad Jalos. Yeah, right? Or Jalos. Okay. Yeah, right? So, and he thinks that because they have a last name, Jalos, who they related to me, right? So, he sent me about like 30 to 40 niggas. They're like, that's a Zender, everything. I screw recorded, and he said, hey, listen, I'm finna dox you too, nigga, right? And he posted um, uh, my studio address in his Discord, right? So I said, "Oh, okay, this is clearly Doctor Right? Why? Because you again, because you fished and published my information a a as well as forty other people SSN with malicious intent. That's doxing. Mm. So look, right? So you documented this, right? So I call them, folks, right? Like who you call? Uh, it was like Lexington police, right? Right. So, so you call the local police department? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So look, I thought you just called FBI. No, no, wait, wait, look, right. So okay, look, here we go. So, so like, they said, oh, he's like being investigated, right? Because last year, his homie had had like passed away, and they were looking at him as a possible suspect, right? So they said, listen, wait, why Lexington police? Is that where he lives? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, right, right. So then they said, "Listen, uh, like there's already like just again, there's already like a huge amount of shit going on, right? I'm gonna have this FBI agent contact you, right? You feel me, right? And then I showed a text, I showed a call log, and we had a extensive conversation that I, I can't share, but." From so, so you spoke to the detectives. Yes, and I gave all Fine. the information I can give, and a few months later he was booked for a slew of charges. Perfect. Yeah, man, you feel me? But though, listen, right. It's, so look, so Charleston White, right? Is he's a character meaning this, right? No, he locked up a couple of things. Wait, 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 wait though, but. He's really a street nigga who's cosplaying as a rat. I take offense to you know why? Ooh, because I really hate rappers, right? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, right? Like I'm really a rat. Like I really tell, I really snitch. So yeah, if you yeah. out here cosplaying as one of us for a fucking profit, why? Because you're too pussy to go to war with them street niggas. And so look, okay, oh, now nah, nah, Flacco nah, might be on to something. Hold on, hold nah, on, look, let it cook. Let look, it cook. Look, so Charleston White, right? Yeah, he's a street nigga. Yeah, but he's so smart that, and he knows these three niggas is pussy, and they all are terrified of the white man and the police. These niggas will kill you, but as soon as they see a white man and a black suit, bro, they out there sweating, hyperventilating, bro. These niggas is terrified, so he knows. Oh, I can still be a street nigga, break the law, get booked for gun charges, all type of animal cruelty shit. But if I tell my officer street niggas I'm beefing with, oh, I'm a civilian, I'm a rat. They are too terrified to give me consequences, right? And that's his play. He's not a right. You know why? Because so you're saying he's a fake snitch. Listen, because when he got in a room with some real street niggas, and the first thing he said, man, bruh, and I ain't no rat nigga. And who I tell on, that's a character, nigga. So I'm saying, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. When you say that, was it with Six Hundred Breezy or no? Uh, it, it was that. No, no, like, uh, and he did like some like obscure interview. You feel me, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. So when, he denied being a cooperator. Yes, really? Right. So if you cosplaying as a rat, as one of us, just cause for like why? Like, cause you're too pussy to beef with them street niggas on a fair tear? Oh, you're doing it for Nah, but come on now, bro. Whoa. You feel me, man? I don't respect it, bro. You feel me? It's whole shit. You feel me? But I gotta get you with him to have a debate. Let's bro act, listen. He is terrified to debate me. Why did he say he was about to sue you? And here's why, right, Ack? Right? So look. So I seen a headline that says, Charleston White was arrested for animal cruelty. He fuck animals. And I he fuck animals? Listen, right? So look. 
I, I found out now that that wasn't true, right? But the yeah. headline said he did and showed a charge. Again, I never heard of no nigga getting booked for animal cruelty, right? Yeah. That's some white folks shit, right? Like, this nigga is- And Michael Vick, and Michael Vick. Listen, <laughs> and Michael Vick. This, like, listen man, like, this nigga <laughs> is clearly in territory <laughs> with, with, with them terrorist white boys, right? So when I seen that, I believed the headline and came and repeated it. But hey, as soon as, as I found out that it's not true, I said, hey, nigga, I retracted. Listen, listen, right? Listen, bro, because the last thing that I would do is let a, a rat face, wide nose, pink lip nigga take money from me. I said, listen, man, I retracted at, right? He fucked no dogs. I retracted, right? You thought he fucked dogs? Like, listen. You, you don't think you would do that shit like that, right? I ain't never seen no nigga get booked for no animal cruelty, my nigga. <laughs> that's some different shit, right? Like, that's, a, listen, like, that's a little boom shit. Like, 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 like bro, that's some different shit, nigga, right? A little boom shit fucked me up till today. Till nigga, today, listen, man. bro. Listen, bro. Animal cruelty, it? man. Listen, bro. Animal cruelty. That was his man. Not playing. <laughs> animal cruelty, and go in in the store to record asses, man. I don't know, right? <laughs> don't seem seem like in the same ballpark. What did you think about that? So, so when you saw that last video, boom. Yeah. I haven't had a conversation with him since. Yo, I'm gonna be I felt deceived, bro. I felt anger, bro. Not only that, yo, I, yeah. I felt so hurt. Like, bro, I'm saying he he slept in my house. Yeah, damn, bro. He slept up, like I, I've, I, I, he had a he had a deal with um, 10K. Bro. I sat in the meeting with him, like bro. Like I felt like like you ever looked at somebody or or thought about someone, be like damn, I thought I knew you, and like yo, I didn't know you at all. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't even have a conversation. Like I remember he saying, yo, why didn't you hit me up for you when all that? I couldn't even have a conversation because it was just like you were stunned, right? I, like I'm looking at him like yo. Bro, you really did this? Hey, hey, but listen, man. I don't listen, bro. I don't put nothing past no Negro. I Meaning this, right? Listen, bro. Listen. There's very few things that a Negro can do to where I say, "Oh my, oh, what? <laughs> uh, what? A nigga did this? <laughs> man, come on, act. Listen. There's almost nothing a Negro can do to where I'm shot. But when I seen that video, bro, I, I said, bro, like this is some like white folk shit, my nigga. The whole time I'm watching like, the video. Do this? I'm listening. I'm, I keep hearing his excuse in my head playing over and over again. A uh, prank, a skit? No, no. He say he was he was looking for the tilapia, and I'm <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> a ten year old tilapia is crazy. <laughs> I just, like, nah, nah, that's nuts. <laughs> it, it was kind of like it was preposterous. Like I was looking at him, like no, like and, and then he didn't mess with me. He said, yo, um, he said, yo, act. Like I guess he was apologizing for it, embarrassing me. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, you know, I'll be fine. I was just like. Bro, how, how, how is this even true? Yo, put like this. Bro, I'm stuck too. Yo, bro, yo, I fuck I'm gonna with keep Boom. it up being with you. I'm going to keep it up being with you. I love Boom. Listen. I, well, sorry, I love Yo, yo, yo. It, this is so crazy. This, like, of anything that I would want him to say, yo, we expose your friend. I'd rather be like, yeah, we expose your friend to be a five time murderer. Mm -hmm. We expose your friend. He's a serial kleptomaniac. Okay. We expose your friend. Yo, he like Hush Puppy 2.0. He scammed all these people. The last thing I would want them to expose my friend as, yo, he was in Walmart trying to kids. Like, wait, hold on, not my friend. Like, what are you talking about? The facts. Like, no, listen, no, listen, act. Especially cause, like, for example, man, like. Folks know, know like my stance on rappers, right? Yeah. I think most of these niggas are the biggest pieces of shits, yeah. right? So when Low Boom is a rapper and he's, you know, like, right, like, and he's of the ilk of rappers that I'll usually say, fuck you, right? So when I embraced him and then this happened, so now I really don't fuck with rappers, right? Right? Would you now it's fuck all them niggas. Hey, would, you leave your, would you leave your little sister around him? No. Hell no. Nah. Listen, listen, bro. I'll be 100%, bro. After seeing that video, bro, I wouldn't leave my, my dog with Lil Boom, <laughs> right? Listen, bro, that shit was dubious. Act, be real, man. Act, that shit was diabolically dubious, right? Bro, I, I ain't never seen no shit before in my life. The craziest thing about it, like, I, I, I didn't get to really watch it, but, like, a couple people came back to me and be like, yo, you know he reacted to what you said, like, mm -hmm. like you don't really fuck with him, you can't really fuck with him like that. And he basically was just like, damn, yo, you snaked him out. I'm like, Wait, he wanted me to be like, oh yeah, that, yeah that's my man's right there on aisle five. Like, mm, yeah, he just copping a feel. Like, it's all that's my man. What could you say? Not hey, hey. that was crazy. Hey, now 
I was in a worse position than you because I took his word for it. Nigga, don't it's you worry, sad. nigga, nigga. They're thinking, yeah. they're thinking, hey, this your man from the sandbox. Mm. If he doing this, they're like, if that nigga's on aisle eight, act on aisle seven. Like, I'm mm. like, no. We're not going to Walmart on Friday no, for kids. No, listen, bro, like, and I truly, bro, like, and I was just stunned bro, because, like, I talked to Boom so a lot, bro. Me, bro, like, yeah. Like I wanted to have And I don't know if this is a problem with me Right I wanted to have a real conversation with him But I don't know if like for example Let's say you catch If you caught Jeffrey Dahmer You could have a conversation with him it, mm. it, it, Meaning that I think right now like Like he's still not even admitting Like he's still saying I ain't touch him Like I was just kind of like In the vicinity of them Like you know what mm. I mean So like I really wanted to talk to him Like yo How, uh, how does he like, how does someone who I thought was normal even get there? Like, what what went on with you? And, and it's just because, like, here's the thing. He's not going to go to jail for it. Sure. Right? So just to let everybody know, like, yeah, he, yeah, this is someone who is going to be walking free. He's not on the registry. Oh, yeah, of course And not. we don't know if these type of behaviors or his predispositions he's still going to act upon. I think he needs help, and I want him to get some help. Sure. But I don't think he's at the place of um, honesty of saying, Hey, I did try to do this. I this was wrong. Mm -hmm. He's like, like he told me, like, hey, I'm sorry that you have to deal with it. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's a portion of it, right? Because people keep calling yeah. me my friend. You should but, be sorry that you, you know, like went through with this. Yeah, like I mean, yeah. like, like, bro, don't apologize to me, yo. Them little kids, like. But I question though. So why do you feel though now? So for example, if I ask you, if I ask No Jumper, if I ask. Mm -hmm. Anybody, yo, would you interview Big Sean? You would say, hell yeah, duh. Yeah. But we say, yo, like, well, again, I believe what Lil Boom did is unforgivable. But I also believe what Big Sean did is unforgivable. But Ooh. some, uh, Big Sean, when he was 23 years old, I think, right, um, was arrested for kidnapping and raping a 17 year old girl with his homie. Big Sean pled guilty to the kidnapping charge. And we all sit here and we all bypass. I've never the heard this a day in my life. No, I'm, I'm not saying it. Look at it real quick. I've never heard this a day in my life. And this is like. Put on the screen real quick. Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'm not saying. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you're not no, right. No, 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 no. Wait, though. Wait, though, right? How'd you wait, find wait, out this? So. I want us to pull it up, right? Why? Because I want for Act to make a decision right now on if you fucking with Big Sean too. So, type in Big Sean oh, rape case, please. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't make a decision because I would have to look into the case. He pled guilty to like the like kidnapping. Okay, so <laughs> the, oh, yeah. So this is usually how my demeanor, and even with the yeah. boom situation, right? And boom, like pled down too to something lesser. Okay, so yeah. so even with the boom situation, yeah. I looked at that to say. I know sometimes people look at people around me and they think they're rich and they have all this money in the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, say something happened to me, I would get 55 lawyers and they're going to handle it, just like with Diddy, right? Mm -hmm. no, obviously, he's way richer than me, clearly. Mm -hmm. But still, you know, there's a time in everybody's life that, you know, when I even took a trespassing charge when they threatened me with burglary, mm -hmm. it was because I was broke and I didn't have a lawyer. And I literally said, clearly, I didn't, I wasn't trying to rob nobody. And they're like, well, you know, the prosecutors want to win. They said, well, we're going to give you trespassing. And I was like, well, uh, like, is it going to be on my record? I'm like, nah, not really. It like, you know, don't get in trouble for a year. It goes away. And I'm like, all right, give me it. But in reality, mm -hmm. I shouldn't have been guilty at all. Mm -hmm. I was never guilty, right? So when, when I hear about people young, um, like f getting found guilty or something, mm -hmm. bro, man, we've seen OJ beat a whole murder case, we, which niggas kind of knew what was up. I, I, I kind of have a little bit of grace for people, and I look at the, the details of the case. 23. Oh, wait. No, okay, okay. Hey, you. Here, let me pull it. Pull it I've never seen this before. So Yo, you're, you're the Hannibal Burrs for this. You know what Hannibal Burrs did to Bill Cosby? Like, everybody was forgetting about all them Quaaludes. Hannibal Burrs did one stand-up special, made some jokes about it. The next week, there was a whole investigation. A month later, Bill Cosby's in jail. Now, <laughs> listen, so look, right? Look. You got to get this nigga Big Sean fucked up again. That nigga was chilling with Janae. I now, called. listen. Now look, so oh, some twenty eighty eight shit. Now look, so Anderson twenty three and a friend Willie Hansborough had each been charged with forcibly touching, second degree 
unlawful imprisonment, and third-degree sexual abuse after a 17-year-old girl told police she was sexually assaulted during a concert where Anderson was performing with rapper Wiz Khalifa, right? Now, listen, right? Who's Anderson? Uh, it's Big Sean, right? Oh. Look, so Anderson and Hansborough... Can I ask you a question, though? Each, wait. Anderson and Hansborough each pled guilty to a single count of second-degree unlawful imprisonment. So he pled down to a lesser charge. Let me see. Yeah. Do, 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 you, do you believe that if Big Sean was as popular enough to be doing concerts with Will, Wiz Khalifa? Again, I'm just asking sure. an opinion piece. I'm not, yeah. I'm not going on the... the, sure. the, the, the and after the, the concert, they took her back to the hotel room. Again, according to the charges, right? They, they gang... Again, according to the charges, according to the charges, they gang raped her. They stopped her from leaving... He got arrested for it, and he pled guilty. Oh, yes, I plead guilty to stopping her from leaving. Again, a 17-year-old girl, bro, right? But guess what, though? Big Sean gets off easy. Big Sean is still going to Grammys, award shows, and right? But we sit here and say, yo, Lil Boom is unredeemable, which I agree. He's, he's unforgivable. But what Big Sean did too was unforgivable. But nobody here is saying, "Bro, I ain't fucking with Sean, bro." Why? Why? I you make a very compelling point. <clears throat> you make a very compelling point that we're prisoners at the moment, mm -hmm. and we're also picking. Everybody picks and chooses, sure. right? Um, you know, with all due respect, yeah. Like it, Drake settled a sexual mm -hmm. uh, allegation charge. He settled it. It wasn't. It wasn't a criminal. It was. Uh, lawsuit, but he settled. We seen Drake on stage, bro, kissing a seventeen-year-old girl, and not to try to throw Drake into <laughs> yeah, this. Come on now. What, what we obviously think about with Drake, mm -hmm. we don't think about these things, okay. right? Sure. Um, I, I think the the big thing for Boom is that this is the biggest thing he's been popular for. Sure. Like if he had fifteen hit songs, sure, this might go away. But he it's past that. Wait though, songs. But it's past that though, right? Yes, Boom is fucked up. But I'm saying is. Our approach to these things is different, meaning this, right? Right. The media is never fair. Like, I, yeah. I, I've seen this time and time again, right? Um, I'll point out some objective fact. They're mm -hmm. like, yo, you only go at women. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I can name it a bunch of dudes. Like, no, fact, of course. Like, there's people who have, who have literally, like, called me and be like, yo, listen, yo, yo, you know, we, we live here, like, trying to send people to do things. Like, nobody cares about that. I'd be like, no, you're just arguing with the city girls. Mm -hmm. I get that. The media isn't fair. And, I, and it goes back to this one line. I remember, and you know, when me, like 6 9 used to complain to me, mm -hmm. and I was the media guy, and I was supposed to be guiding him along this journey of him being an artist. Mm -hmm. He's like, yo, this is not fair. He's like, they claim I'm so pussy, but like, bro, I don't care. Like, if all these niggas so tough, how the fuck could they let me go to the mural or whatever, or go to Nipsey's, whatever. And I remember saying to him, I said, yo, listen. And he was like, if another rapper did that, they would be like, yo, that nigga's gangster. Mm -hmm. And I said, bro, let me tell you this. Mm -hmm. You see, when it comes to the media, mm -hmm. it's better to be liked than to be right. Facts. You see, when you're liked, mm -hmm. and th that, that's what I've learned over time too. Mm -hmm. Not only Facts. it's important to be liked, you get to realize, like, I, I won't name some of these people, but they have a conglomerate of people who they helped who shield them from bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, they'll have allegations or they'll have people saying bad things about them. But because they have like a circle that kind of is there, like, put it like this. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'll give you a, um, okay, Cat Williams calls out a bunch of people. Look at the people yeah. who defends the people who, who he called out. Mm -hmm. He called out, he, he called out um, Kevin Hart. Look at the people who defended Ke um, Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. Charlamagne is one of them. Why? Yeah. They got business together. Of course. They're, 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 they're looped into a lot of things. Again, yeah. this is why when you're, quote, unquote, in the industry, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times, which I think this is what we as independent media members, we got to get better at. That's mm -hmm. why I was very happy when I stopped beefing with, like, Adam over petty shit and, and, mm -hmm. and I embraced Vlad. Because in the regular industry, all these motherfuckers... Mm -hmm. They basically hold each other down and Facts. hold their, each other's secrets. Not saying that is it, that's what we should be in, like protecting each other type of shit and like holding down predators if that's the case. Mm -hmm. But what I've realized with them is that they they are you can't penetrate that circle. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? While with us is like, yo, tell me the latest thing about Flacco that I could try to tear him to the ground. Sure, and tell me if, like it, it, even it, us though, right? Act right. So look, mm -hmm. so. It, it, if we say, yo, we are pure 
from the agenda and we are speaking for the people. But Big Sean allegedly is 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 like out here taking pussy. Six nine, his again six nine. Sarah Molina said that she went to Dubai and he took pussy, <laughs> beat her, and took pussy again in, in that order. <laughs> and six nine was forced it's to not plead. Funny. Wait though, and six nine was forced to confess to those things in his Rico case. Right? He said, "Yeah, feel me. I assaulted her. I, I yeah. abused her. Blah blah." So six nine confessed to taking pussy. Big Sean allegedly took pussy, but somehow we can sit on here and say, yo, listen, man, shit, bro. <laughs> hey, listen, man, if Big Sean and 6 9 is trying to fuck with me and do anything for me, bro, shit, I'll take it. But we have to be the objective, unbiased pen, right? So if we say, hey, bro, boom, you the fucking sicko, yo. nigga. You fucking out here while the 6 9 and Big Sean yo. is, is like out of here too, yo, right? Yo, yo, here, yo, here's the thing. It, it's, it's very easy for everybody to comment on boom, right? Again, sure. First of all, like I'm not shooting them no type of bail, but let's yeah. be honest, right? Like you know, at least what we saw, very creepy. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's, it's sickening. It's, it, it's, it's a very sick behavior. He's a menace, right? 100. <laughs> percent And um, however, you know, maybe there is a path of like, hey, listen, he could go through therapy to send therapy. Because again, you know, he's not going to die, right? Here's the thing. Yeah. Nobody has a problem when. That situation comes up, be like, he's a fucking creep. Hope mm -hmm. he gets beat up. Somebody should do yeah. something to him. When it comes to Diddy, everybody's like, yo, what are y'all talking about, man? Yo, yo, let's skip the subject, bro. Yo, let's talk about Meg Thee Stallion and Nicki, yo. You see, mm -hmm. it's easy to comment on people Facts. who you know will have never an impact on you. Yeah. This is this, this is the thing, even with the Diddy thing. Everybody who doesn't speak on Diddy, they all told me behind the scenes, mm -hmm. he will reign again. This is a billionaire. We're not talking about some peon. Fact. He will reign again. He yeah. takes names. Mm -hmm. You know what they've told me? Listen, you're going to get yours from him. I'm mm -hmm. Like, what does that mean? There's going to be a situation mm -hmm. where he's going to have the opportunity to or power you. to teach you a lesson that you fucked up and that you do in media. There is those you can't talk about and those you can't. Of and course. that's the power. Listen, and, and, yeah, and, 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 you know, I, I've thought about that in a million ways. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I guess it's probably going to be an expensive lesson for me to pay. Of course. But I try to be honest with the people. And I tell them, I say, listen, I'm down to pay it mm -hmm. as long as you think I'm keep giving it up a hundred. And this is why I even spoke about the boom thing. Sure. Like I did. Mm -hmm. I said, listen. If, if 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 the people want me to always be honest and be open with it, mm -hmm. cool. But I but you also have to remember they they'll try to hang me with that same rope. Of course. But as long as y'all are with me, it won't be a hanging of because y'all will always keep me there. But y'all have to support. And act, listen, right? And act, this is why, right, bro? Is I go so hard for you, right? And these niggas, even like for example, right, like me going like like uh, as hard as I go for you. It's not really about you, right? Is I understand that you represent the escape route from going through that gatekeeper door. And I know- You're, you're, you're so smart for that. Like, yeah. I, I've always knew that. Like, yeah. I don't think you're like, you know, I think sometimes people look at it and they're like, yo, yo, Flacco just be on Axe Dick. And I'm like, no, no, no. They're like, <laughs> y'all are stupid and not realizing that. Mm -hmm. Flacco is realizing that hey, listen. If you fall, we fall. Yeah, like, <laughs> hey, because I'm ahead of the pack. Yeah, they're not dying for the guy ahead of the pack. Yeah. they're just saying, hey, listen, he's forging the path. We're gonna support him because with his success or with him existing, yeah. we exist. They've been waiting for the moment when they're like, yo, you remember the little losers that thought they could do media without, there's exactly a time that the, the quote unquote journalists were trying to pop back up, mm -hmm. where they were trying to call people like me and you, they were trying to say, oh, all we report is fake shit. Were, their thing was, hey, remember all them losers? Mm -hmm. Now everybody needs to come to us because it's, it's a constant fight of a market share. Yeah, and act, listen, listen, we're also too, it's like, let's not get it like fucked up though, right? Like. I'm popping my shit and I'm being like like this like defiant nigga because Ak is like to bury it, right? Again, Ak is the only one, again, again don't get it fucked up. Ak is the only nigga out of, out, like, out of all of us who has the resources to withstand with that, right? Once Ak gets, with, again, once Ak gets out the picture, Ak represents everything right now about the internet nigga who's trying to be defiant. Once Ak gets out the picture, 
None of us have the resources like to withstand a ditty, a revolt. The fuck? So, so we, we have here. Yeah, so we have Carisha who <laughs> yeah. she she's trying to get fresh with me recently and, yeah. and she did the most sucker thing ever, which you never think somebody mm-hmm. in hip hop would do, especially someone who's talking that street shit. Mm-hmm. Cause she keeps saying, Come outside, come outside. Mm-hmm. You know what she did? What? She tagged everybody who she thinks I'm in business with. She As, also mm-hmm. tagged Rumble. Mm-hmm. Now here's the thing. Rumble is a place in the Sebastian of free speech, and mm-hmm. Rumble is like, yo, listen. We're fucking with you. Of course. We're not going to let some, like, a couple little daisies come in and be like, hey, cancel Accor. Hey, terminate his contract. No, we're fucking with him. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're not going to, we don't have to agree with every word that he says, but we do know he's here for a greater good, Mm -hmm. and we fuck with that. That is one of the, like, you know, and and, and everybody that's in this independent struggle you're going to get there where the alliances you're going to have is the ones that are going to be like, yeah, I get that y'all don't like certain shit that Flacco says, but we like we fuck with Flacco and what he represents. Mm-hmm. So you're not gonna get us. A, but you see, the cancel culture, cancel culture is like uh, is the whip that they get people in line with, right? Uh, absolutely. Yo, hey, he ain't acting right. Get him in line. You know what I mean? I remember when I had to apologize to Chrissy Teigen. Mm-hmm. I remember it, it. It felt like it was it was D Day at motherfucking Arm Complex. They were basically mm-hmm. like, hey, you got to apologize to her. You know, uh, and, and it was just saying all these things. And I was just like, mm-hmm. well, why can't I be genuine in this? And they were like, no. It was it was almost like, yo, you need to do what the status quo says you should do. Buck dance, boy. And I remember I was so unwilling to do it. And I remember talking to Nadeska and I was just like, yo. And, and, and I said, Nadeska, I'll apologize, but I'll apologize for how I spoke about a woman for you. I can't <laughs> apologize for her. You because- don't, listen, act. You spoke to the wrong person in, in regards to that conversation. Because <laughs> that person works for, listen, that person is an agent for the infrastructure, <laughs> right? Listen, no, listen, I, bro. I, I, I love the desk. I love the desk. I ain't yeah. never heard a controversial opinion from Jinx, Nadeska, Speedy Mormon, Nala Simone, or nobody else up there. You like Nala Simone? No, I love all those people, but, <laughs> right? No, but. I, That's Charlamagne's prot- protege. Bro, I love Nyla. But I'm saying, right, is if we all are recognizing what the issue is, and me and Ak is screaming, hey, yo, this shit is fucked up, yeah, yeah. and you niggas are being exalted up, well, y'all have a duty as well to say, yo, this is fucked up, we not rocking with this. And if they are silent, then we have to treat them as the enemy as well. Hey, hey by the way, you know, you know what's so interesting about that? Uh, Cal Williams said something so funny. He mm-hmm. said, yo, he says, yo, there's, there's 100 gates, but we keep seeing the same gatekeepers. Facts. And I was like, that's actually a really great point. <laughs> listen, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, come on, buy a car. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. Listen, bro. The iHeart Media channel, bro, dominates this culture. And here's what I mean, right? Man, listen, bro. We see these niggas go from Apple Music, Complex, Spotify, and Amazon, and they get, get shows every year that flops. They, 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 listen, to get a show in May, that show flop by fucking August, and get a new show, right? And that shit flop by January, get a new show again, by March that shit flop, get a, I'm like, hey, yo! These niggas get opportunities. About, I'm being real, listen. Flock, who you talking about? Talk hey, about. we see the iHeartMedia bots. The iHeartMedia, like, no, hold on, we, again. We, we, got, we got to name, name, name some names, Flock. Listen, man. <laughs> I ain't calling names. I'm just saying, right? Is we see the same bots who y'all like you like how you uh, for example, Jinx and Nadeska didn't have like like probably like two three shows that flopped right in the last like three four years. But yeah, but they get opportunities <laughs> after opportunities. But I love them, right? I'm just saying this, right? I'm just of course. Let's all right, listen, yeah, bro. Right, yeah, bro. All right. I'm keeping nah, talented. Nah, right? talented though. She's talented, brother. She's talented, yes, but <laughs> she has an obligation to use that talent, right? To say, "Hey, yo, uh, I mean, you Carisha, think please don't deserve that award, bro." She's out to say, "Hey, yo, Speed Mormon, hey, yo, Carisha, please." Nah, that's a abomination. Hey, yo, hold up now. Like, why are y'all doing this, right? For example, right. So look, so we see right time after time, right. And it's the castration of Charlemagne the God has sent a powerful message to Speedy, to Jinx, 
to Nyla to Nadeska, right? It should be the castration. Sure. Look. <laughs> look. 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 So, so look. Charlamagne so came in. Know. No, listen. Charlamagne came in as a nigga who ain't know how to act, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. As somebody who was defiant, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> now, hey, guess what, though? Yeah, yeah. Now, and it was cool when he was saying the wild shit and it was for views, right? But the minute that he thought that he could get out of line and out of bounds and go against one of those people, yeah, he got fired. <laughs> like, like, like this. Nice with the Breakfast Club. No, no, no. What, 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 what wait, before that? Yeah, right. And he got fired for speaking up against Jay Z. Right, fired instantly. So that was the moment we realized, oh shit, <laughs> I'm not above this program, my nigga. Right, I have to fall in line. And since then, Charlemagne had fell in line. Right, and, and again, and. If you are a speedy Mormon and you see, bruh, like they can get rid of Charlamagne when he had the hottest show on that network. I, I think Charlamagne thing is like self-induced though. Like it, it's odd with this. All right, so, so all right, I, I, I'll, I'll give a breakdown of yeah. the Charlamagne thing I've, I've never really said before. And I, and I love him as someone who, you know, definitely helped me um, early on and also somebody I still look up to. Him but I think ah, he's your back in every chance he gets. Okay, <laughs> that might be true. But, yeah. but, but I, I, I definitely say this. You know, he was great at one thing mm -hmm. and he was great at being this cultural conversationist that would give these hot takes that just was not PC. OK. And, you know, what I fear is that whatever allegations against him that was surfacing, it is corporate conglomerate partners mm -hmm. forced him to get in line because they were saying, hey, with these allegations mm -hmm. and the times are changing where you gotta call, you gotta call a tranny her or whatever she wanna be called, sure. or he like, you know, it, it was basically saying you need to act accordingly. Mm. Here's the problem with what, what I think about his transition. He's pivoted to to, to um politics, but the optics ain't matching. Mm -hmm. Because Charlemagne, while he was on the radio, he acted like the ignorant mm -hmm. dummy mm -hmm. who was funny. Mm -hmm. The thing with political analysis is that we don't want political analysis from someone we don't think is smarter than us. Mm -hmm. No one thinks Charlemagne is smarter than us. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. When you go to, when you go to uh, uh, what do you call it again, a John Stewart, John Stewart seems like someone who could even be president. He seems super smart. Sure. And that's that's my only thing. I think Charlamagne, by the way, I don't think Charlamagne's dumb. I think no. he played the dummy to get jokes. Yeah. And that's why now people are having a hard time taking him serious when he's in a in a serious role. Not saying he was being a, a caricature. Uh, um, Wait till right. So then, okay. So now if you know, right, Yeah. that at some point there was a message from the higher up that came down and says, hey nigga, you gotta relax right here. And he complied. That's his best friend, by the way. Right. Hey. You know, you know that's his best friend. Listen, yo. Yo, yo, he, he, yo, he, hey, paid, listen, he, paid, listen. he paid his bill. Hey, listen, Trav, listen bro, listen bro, after this we doing a podcast, my nigga. Come on, I bet. Now, now listen though, right? So look though. No, so if you know, right, that there was a word that came down yeah. and, and he complied and laid down how do you respect them now, right? Cause I'll be real. The minute I hear niggas that there's a motherfucker and who came down and told DJ Academics, hey nigga, you better not speak on them folks. Hey bro, you better not speak on them folks. And Academics come on his platform and mince his words and don't say shit and comply. I don't respect you no more, right? Cause now we're not fighting the same fight. I, 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 I agree to a certain extent, but, but I can't tell what his fight was. His fight has changed a bit. Like, like he's, it feels like he's ashamed of his actions and even with my actions, even going back to the war in Chirac, I'm not ashamed even though I would do certain things differently. It, it, like if you if you look at what, what Charlemagne talks about now, he talks a lot about mental health. Wait, and, who's and, the person? Wait, sorry, talk. And, and it's a pivot to what he normally talks about. You have to imagine, think about this. The guy who some people would have said was the biggest bully mm -hmm. is now talking about the effects of bullying, which would be mental health. So now that he's on that, he, you know, this is... This is somehow, this is a little bit of guilt that he's feeling as well, which, you know, hey, you know, uh, again, everybody's personal journey is different. Look, so, no, right? So look, um, and there was, oh my God, right? So, and there was an interview 
The Breakfast Club did, right? Um, and I did a full breakdown of this, man. It was with a black Republican like candidate, bro. His name is just not popping up to me. Larry Elder. Yes. Now, when I watched that interview, that's the very moment that I, I said, oh, I, I know what's going on, and here's why. What do you think was going on? Because because I, I, sure. I clearly, let me tell you this, mm-hmm. and, and and this is why I'm, I'm just trying to say, mm-hmm. Charlemagne's just an, he's an amazing commentator. He's he's a great broadcaster. Sure, but you see, like I wouldn't box with a John Stewart in a political debate because I'm just not savvy enough. No. But uh, listen, that, right? guy, that guy, yeah. well, that guy ran circles around him. No, you know right? what I mean? Like, you, yeah, you couldn't save the, yourself with jokes. Yeah. You couldn't save yourself with, like, talking points. And he made them look foolish. That's a fact. I can respect, though, being made foolish off of your own opinions. But. Mm. You don't think it was his bench? So, sure, look. So, when dude, right, like, says something about, yo, you feel me? Yo, bro, like, you know, I don't think that Trump was trying to hijack the election, right? Yo, Charlamagne pulled out his laptop. And read a script, like like, <laughs> no no, I'm dead ass. I and read like he pulled it out and said, "Well, Larry Elder, what about Trump doing this and this?" <laughs> Reading a script mid interview, and that tells me, oh okay, they already gave you the playbook, nigga, right? That you came into this interview, right? Like it don't matter what this nigga said, you are clear opposition, and they told you what to say. Meaning this. If you truly felt that way, well then, well then, like just say it, nigga. But you pulling out a script and reading it word for word, I don't respect you, bro. I, I don't think you necessarily are, he's. Not, you are puppet now. He's been told what to think. Uh, again, I'm gonna just be honest. Ah, with he you. pulled out a script. No, no, I, I guess interview you, yeah. and the read the counterpoint. The, the only thing I'm gonna tell you yeah. is like, listen. You see hip hop commentary sure. and what we do here on a low level, let's joke on each other, let's blah blah, blah mm-hmm. is very different than well, when people people like hearing political conversation from people who they think is smarter than them. Sure. When people talk about politics, they want to hear people who have suggestions and ideas and solutions for the running of the country that mm-hmm. they believe is above their level. Like the average person mm-hmm. don't feel that they could be president because they, they they're not armed with all the information. Mm-hmm. To hear your local radio guy who's giving out donkey today yeah. tell you all about politics sure. and if if he's not sounding extremely savvy and yeah. really educated and buttoned up, you're going to be like, bro, you're out of your league. And I think that's the, that's the only, of course, he's going to pull out some notes. Yeah, bro. Like, nah, it wasn't. No, 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 let's act, right? pull out a script. It wasn't <laughs> notes, act. It was a script. I know it's crazy, right? Right? It's in a no, no, right? <laughs> it, it's that, like, for example, right? So him and Van Lathan. Share similar opinions, right? Van Lathan knows how to. Van destroyed the nigga with the same opinions, but guess what though? Van is smarter. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 dog. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. And Van is real. No, 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 it's come back to my point. Yeah. With all due respect, mm-hmm. again, this is what happens when you've ed- you've been entertaining people for years. Mm-hmm. With the idea, like Charlamagne used to be on the radio mm-hmm. acting like he didn't know the meaning of words, yeah. whether he did or not. He used to act like he couldn't spell. Sure. That was funny. Okay. Yeah, sure. If that guy turns into the political pundit that's yeah. telling us how to deal with Russia, Ukraine, yeah. Gaza, sure. Israel, no. We don't want to hear it. Bro, that's just obvious. Mm-hmm. Van Lathan has been talking about the plight of uh, 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 of black people and, and, and the African diaspora yeah. for years. Of course. He was always well-educated, well-spoken. Mm-hmm. He always had great ideas. So when he speaks, we're down to hear it. Sure. With Charlamagne, we want to hear a clever punchline, man. No, right. You know what but I mean? He's a funny dude. No, right. We don't want to, like, like, just like Biden at this point, we looking at it like, bro, just go die somewhere. Trump, I ain't gonna lie, when I'm listening to Trump, I just want to hear him just say some flagrant shit and crack a joke. Right. We we look to, like, pull like this. If I start, like, pull like this, with all the recent shit I've been through, if I was the person to tell you not to have a happy relationship, no matter if I was speaking the truth, you would be like, nigga, we not believe in you. Look what we just seen about you. Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here. I'm telling you, the radio guy mm-hmm. that was talking about and, and sniffing seats, that's great. Yeah. It was funny. Mm-hmm. But they don't want to hear how to deal with fucking windmills in motherfucking Idaho or how to deal with like motherfucking like overseas issues. They just want you to be the funny guy. Sure. But the audience can also spot a phony, right? Saying this is, it's no coincidence that he made the. No, no I don't think it's because he don't mean it. I think it's just because he's, no, 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 no. he's not that educated about no, no, it. No, 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 no. Listen. I, I'm telling you, he don't mean it. And, <laughs> and listen, no, look. Why you be for Charlemagne? 
I, I love Charlemagne, right? <laughs> and here's why, right? <laughs> Somehow <laughs> that political switch happens, <laughs> and he became an agent for a Democratic Party right when they accused him of taking pussy. I don't think that's a coincidence that you make that political switch as soon as that chick comes on and accuses you of taking. Now again, I, now again, listen. So look, I don't even think that he took pussy. I don't oh. think he's guilty. I'm saying the no, political no. switch happened as soon as you are accused of taking pussy. By the way, by the way, I don't respect it. What I don't respect about media in general yeah. is that people only attribute these. Oh, he's been controlled or paid or he's selling out when it's something they don't believe in, right? I'll sure. give it for, for uh, I'll give you an example. Sure. So uh, I, I I I do a deal with Rumble, mm -hmm. and Rumble has a bunch of people who happen to be right wing leaning. Yeah. I'm not political. I'm yeah. just you know again I might have my personal political belief, mm -hmm. but like I'm not preaching politics to my fans. Yeah. Right. I'm, we're talking about hip hop. We're talking about beefs. We're about to talk about Megan Nikki. Who cares? Yeah. Everybody ran and saying Ak is now a right wing leaning person, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah. I looked at that and I said, it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. You know the only time I've ever been offered money in politics? Mm -hmm. Democrats offered me. It wasn't Republicans. Mm -hmm. Democrats. They mm -hmm. offered me money to put stuff on my platform mm -hmm. to support certain candidates. You know what none of these people would say? Like, look, I, I said this for like the third time. Mm -hmm. Nobody would clip this and be like, yo, why the fuck is the Democrats trying to pay ACT to yeah. push forward their agenda? On of the course. Platform? They won't care. It's fucked right? up. It's only, they only care if I say, now if I said, I ain't gonna lie, man, Trump did give me 20,000 to Headlines. If I say now, and, and I could name the actual politicians, sure. I could name the, I could name, well, well, there was one time I was offered money, but it was very vague because they wouldn't tell the entity that was behind it. Mm. But clearly it was something, it was it, it was to push forward a democratic sure. um, agenda. Of course. Which, which goes to tell me they only care to make it a headline when you're going against something they do don't like. But act, now listen, now act, I fuck with you, right? Mm -hmm. But even like, right, like Troy can tell you, right? Mm -hmm. The optics of a black man who, who stands for so much, cheesing from cheek to cheek like this while in a picture with Trump, it's kind of like, that's, Don't again, me, right? again, I love Trump, right? I call him Daddy Trump. I, I love that good white man, right? <laughs> I love that good well, white man. man. That's Daddy Trump. But the optics act of you standing up like this and cheesing from ear to ear next to Trump. Listen, nobody should be smiling that hard next to no white man. <laughs> I, I don't care if it's Jesus, right? Again, Jesus not white. Hey, listen, I don't care if it's the Pope. I don't care if it's Adam 22 <laughs> who has fed more starving niggas than any white man in the history of the world. I don't care uh, if it's that's Elon Musk. It's Elon I'm Musk. saying this, that no black man should be smiling that hard next to no white man, right? Okay. Yeah. It's a bad look, act. And, and by the way, and, 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 and you know, to kind of like put a button on the, the Charlemagne point. Yeah. Um, I do think... Uh, again, I, I think he's sincere, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you this. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people have so much criticism about him because he's leaned a little bit political. Mm -hmm. What I've just realized is way more money in politics. Like, mm -hmm. if you've seen, like, the, the nigga who got not even 1% or not even 10% of the vote mm -hmm. in the primary going against Trump is in Vivek, whatever. Raise what? 100 million. Yeah, he <laughs> wait, raised 100 million dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? Mm-hmm. These motherfucking rappers, <laughs> it, like you could get their whole label, they didn't do a hundred million dollars. So you, so, so you could tell, like just being a influential voice in the political space probably yes. has more of an upside. Now with Charlamagne getting paid, I wouldn't accuse him of that. Um, but are there agendas? You got to think about think about the circle he hangs with too, right? Sure. He fucks with um, Angela Rye. She seems to be a very loud mouthpiece for the Democratic um, Party. You never know. Like some of these things get certain psyoped into our, you know, like communities where they know they need the pop in radio station to mm -hmm. put forward the agenda of the Democratic Party mm -hmm. to make sure Biden looks cool. Yeah. There's a reason why Biden gets on there and says, Ooh, look. You, you, you ain't black if you don't vote for me. You know what? Nigga, we done paid you all this goddamn money <laughs> to make sure y'all was promoting us. Like, goddamn, by the time I get on here, nigga, I gotta first. let you know the facts. You know what first? You can't be black. Nah, listen, though. So, I'll be a hypocrite if I'm tough on Charlemagne mm -hmm. and not tough and, and like, and on the rappers. Now, guess what? I can now pop my shit. You know why? Because my big dog is right there. You mm -hmm. feel me, right? Troy fucking half. Big folks is right there. Mm -hmm. Creep the Guafin is right there, right? And I know you whole ass rappers ain't gonna play with me. Mm. Troy Ave next to me, 
and creep next to me. Folks, I'm now, surprised look. some LA rappers they wrote down here, bro. Now look, I, let's pop our shit though, right? What's up? So we sit here and I criticize Charlamagne the God for pushing the leftist agenda. Who pushed the leftist agenda more than these whole ass rappers? Like, for example, I, I say time after time that I wish nothing but death and jail on 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 on, on your thug. No, <laughs> no, I wish nothing but death and jail. <laughs> this guy on future, future and a nigga like future. And why? here's why. Because he got bad kids. No, here's why. Act right. Oh, because he like that. He like that pro methodism. No, listen. There was a young it's boy. He stick his thumb in the butt. There was a young nigga from the South Side of Chicago, the most brilliant nigga ever. Ooh. He was in band. Kaya. He was in chess. Kaya. He was one of the greatest, just the minds, black minds we've ever seen, right? Now, this nigga mom did everything she could to put him in productive things, but she had to work a lot. And while she was working, this Are young you mind. The death of Juice, Juice Row? This young mind was bumping future. Now, somehow, Bumpin' Future took this young mind from chess, from sports, from band, to, yo, I want to pop pills, and I want to sip lean, because Future has told me to do it. There's a reason why, Ak, right? Future's not the parent. Wait, though. You gotta be honest. Wait, though. But if we are in a position, right, to where, for example, right, it's confirmed that music is a form of hypnosis, which is why music is a little different than movies. Okay. Music will hypnotize you, right? For example, if I hear boopity boop boop, right? I'll say, bro, this shit is trash. Around the fifth time, I'm bumping it. The, the like 10th time, I'm trying to figure out who, who boopity boop is and buy that merch. So hence, if his mama had to go to work, but put him in everything productive and did her job because he was being babysat by Future's music, he turned into a pill-popping junkie that led to him dying. And I'm saying, nigga, nigga, I can't forgive you. You are a devil. You took away one of the most talented black men that ever lived from us, nigga, is fuck you and I wish death for you. And here's why I don't think that's harsh, right? If Lil Durk, if Future, if Boosie, if their music is leading millions of black men to jail and death, then I'm saying- Let me ask you a question now. I'm wishing upon you what your music is given to us. Let me ask you a question though. It's one thing if, if, if that brilliant, um, beautiful black mind that was doing piano and doing all these amazing things died at 16. Orchestra. Juice World died as a grown man. Sure. You know, um, his, his, his choices led to him dying. Sure, okay. And and when you're an adult, mm -hmm. right? If if, mm -hmm. if I brainwash everybody in here and I yeah. say, hey, we're finna jump off of this bridge. Yeah, you could kind of blame me like, yo, you shouldn't have brainwashed them. But you know what I'm mm -hmm. say? These are all grown ass men. Sure. And that's where I think, you know, if it's like, I think drill music is a little bit, is a little bit harsher because that's targeted to kids and their dysfunctions. They don't know how to handle problems with each other. And maybe one person has access to a gun or maybe one of their friends died. And they're dealing with this in in a in an environment absent of parents. Mm -hmm. Juice World is a goddamn millionaire flying around on a private jet. They got two million dollars worth of weed underneath this. Sure. And he got 15 pills. If he's that green, like with all due respect, mm -hmm. the Juice World fans will get mad at sure. him. With all due respect, if you don't realize that you about to get a slap on the wrist and you got act, 55 million dollars in the bank act, and but, you take the pills, with all due respect, sure. we can't blame Future. But act, listen. If anybody should be blamed, it's the people around him. Well, How do you let the star get in that position? Oh, listen. If y'all are all benefit of the star. Hey, hey. Trust me, I have some words for Ali Lati righty ass as well. But listen, if I made she you, was a, I don't know if you remember what was on that plane. No, wait, wait, wait. That plane had a lot of contraband. Sure, that's why the feds came in. The feds didn't come in because this thing just had a bunch of Xanax. Oh yeah, 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 yeah of course. They, Weed, they, guns, all type of shit. They, they came in because it was tipped off by the goddamn pilot who said this shit sm uh, smelled smell like, like it weed. was so plain. Of course, the nigga thought it was so plain, <laughs> listen, and he called the feds and said, "By the time." We get on the tarmac, make mm -hmm. sure y'all niggas there with a bunch of dogs. <laughs> so now, Ali Lottie, the girl who's selling pussy on mm. Insta, on, on, she ain't the one who put a motherfucking bunch of pounds of weeds under that plane. No. Who did that? With the right. So, exactly. look, so look, if I made you an addict at 14 years old and you died at 21, Am I not to blame now for for like making you a fucking addict at 14 years old? So look, wait, wait the rest. So look. Okay, you're making a good point. Go ahead. Wait, cool. right? So look, 
And that's why that man right there, and I respect. Why? Cause, cause at some point, Troy F said, "Hey, dog, it's time to tell these little kids, my nigga, this street shit is a myth. Fuck the street shit, right?" He did that. Why? Cause he realized, "Hey, yo, bro, like, there's kids coming up who see me and, and say, yo, like, I'm trying to be like Troy F." And they see the image of Troy Ave, but but like don't see yo. I'm taking care of my kids. My mama bills pay, right? I'm doing the right thing. I'm owning businesses. Well, but guess what happened though, right? But guess what though? And he said, "Yo, no, don't do that." Future brainwashed that kid at 14 years old, turned him into a fucking junkie, and he died at 21. It's Future's fault. Well, 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 and I want to speak for Troy. I know you and him probably have your own conversation. Sure. I, I, I think what Troy did was unique was. Because Troy pushed some street shit. Like, I listen to the nigga music. He pushed street shit. Of course. What, what he did was just kind of showcase the other side. Yeah. And he basically it's let people know. Fake. He basically let people know that if you come in this shit and you're indoctrinated to what these rappers are saying, man, fuck all these snitches. We, we, like, everybody's acting like they stand about some yes. iron class street coat. No, no. And he the was the first two. Who, the guy over there who claimed that he was going to raise the murder rate if anything happened to you, he's mm -hmm. fucking your baby mom the moment you go to jail. Okay. Sure. That guy over there who claimed that, yo, he would never tell on you, they give him half a McChicken, he's putting you in the penitentiary, okay? That's what what we realized, which, by the way, at that point was such a, a, a very brand new thing, which I think a lot of people got mad at him, like, yo, what are you talking about? N no nigga, like, everybody's standing by the code. Come mm -hmm. to find out, we can't find one person standing by the code in hip-hop these days. There was a time where niggas really thought that it was like, no, there is a street code. These yeah. days, every we just keep hearing... And this is why they probably even hate 10 J even more, too, because it's like, we just keep hearing about people be like, oh, yeah, nah, he was about to stand tall, but mm -hmm. he got a deal and he had to. Come on. Okay, so everybody's on for self-survival. They're hypocrites. So you shouldn't tell people that there is a code that you should go get locked up, shut the fuck up, because your homie's going to hold you down. No, they're going to fuck your girl. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to take care of your mama. They might even try to fuck your mama. Sure. Um, they probably put you in jail because mm -hmm. to keep it real, when they got caught too, they know mm -hmm. you're going to jail already. They helped give some information. They got their shit sealed. You won't find out. Mm -hmm. They're just laughing to the bed. Basically, the streets is as grimy as it suggests itself. Hey, There's no the, code. Look the rest you know of I mean? the no, and I, hold on, yeah, yeah. I've always said this too. I used to say, you know what I could never understand about the streets? What? That if, it's like, 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 obviously, being in the streets is a survival mentality. Mm -hmm. But if these are motherfuckers who are in the streets trying to survive, yeah. and they're down to break laws, do all type of things that maybe they don't want to do, but they have to do. Like, they might have yeah. to go shoot a nigga, rob a nigga in the center. If they got to break all societal codes and norms, why do you, the hell do you think when they get caught, they said, all right, fuck it. I robbed 55 old ladies. Yeah. I shot 10 niggas. But me... Tell it on somebody? Oh, yeah. hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, hell. This is where right. I draw the line. I draw the line. It's stupid. I, I always said that was crazy. It was brain. <laughs> I always said no, that was no, crazy. I, no, 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 no. Because me, once I'm on that type of yeah, path, of course. nigga, everybody got to go. Nigga, I'm on a selfish path. I need to stay free, get money, fuck bitches, and I might have to stitch on you just to stay free to keep doing that. Because it was brainwashed, right? And here's how, right? So look. So the cops have this thing called the blue wall of silence, right? Why? And that's so the good cops don't hold the bad cops accountable, right? So if a good cop see this racist piece of shit beating the head off a nigga, that good cop have to be quiet not to hold the bad cop accountable, right? So so uh, so uh, the uh, bad cops create this thing called the blue wall of silence, aka no snitching, so they can avoid accountability. The streets says nah, nah, nah. says, hey, listen, Yo, it's even worse than what you're describing. Let me yeah. say, I'm gonna tell you why it's so worse sure. than you're describing. Let me tell you this. There's like zero accountability. Like, 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 Absolutely. They, they, they make it sound like, put like this. You see, at least in the cartel, mm -hmm. they try to have a little bit of a code. All right, Absolutely. listen, cut your tongue out, your head's on a stake, or send your fingers in the mail. Listen, man, I know niggas, like, there's a nigga that told in the 6 9 case he's mm -hmm. living on the same block. Like, like listen, come on. there's nothing happening to you. <laughs> I'm so telling you. Honest, like, the only dummies are the ones in jail. I'm so telling like, you. Like, all of this shit, like, I'm telling you, I guarantee... It's retarded. Right now, Vaughn is either, whatever you want to think, he had heaven or hell. He mm -hmm. like, nigga, I said that y'all was going to raise the murder rate. He probably hitting up Dolph, like, Dolph, what'd you, what'd you do to your niggas? Because they Man, are bro. doing... My niggas is chilling. <laughs> Cops taking PTOs, bro. Listen. That's what I'm saying. Yo, listen. Yo, yo listen. I, Everybody yo, before they die, like, Vaughn before he died was really like, now, nah, if a nigga really do something to me, 
Yo, the murder rate gonna be crazy. In Chicago. When the cops taking PTO because it's not enough it's like work to peace. That's listen. Yo, <laughs> hey, listen now, bro. Von said raise the murder rate, and these cops is taking PTO because, bro, it's like, bro, like this shit is boring, right? But also too is this, right? Troy Ave told us six years ago the streets is a myth. Six years later, QCP bit the cheese, came back and asked for mozzarella. Right? <laughs> this guy. And everybody else is quiet. <laughs> Lil Baby is dissing Gunner. <laughs> but when we ask QCP, damn nigga, you <laughs> ate cheddar and it wasn't enough and you asked mozzarella too? You told, listen, 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 listen. Me coming and killing your man, right? Right? And you telling the cop, yo, he, yo, he shot my mans. That's the epitome of what telling is. Yeah, and yeah. baby and said, what about QCP? Yeah, you know why? Because the streets are fucking yeah, mad. Yeah. Yo, hip hop, yo, yo, I, I, I've said, yo, I love Atlanta. Yeah. I think Atlanta, you know, no, 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 you know they, they gave, they gave, they whole York, ass niggas though, act. No, no, they gave New they York, they whole ass niggas. They gave New York the home of the rats, but I said, no, 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 we got to give it to Atlanta. Like, they've worked hard for it. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. In Atlanta, all of them rappers, when 6ix9ine was cooperating, man, all of them had the best bars. Yo, Young Thug had the best bars about snitching. Mm -hmm. Ask any of them if, if, if Gunna told they'd be stuttering more than you. They yeah. don't know what to say. Like, it's like, yeah, come on. because here's the thing. Speak on it. The, the, the problem, and, and I love this about street dudes, mm -hmm. because there is no code. Of course see, not. There was a code. There's scumbags. You know, I play this. In, in any type of rule book, it needs to be black and white. Absolutely. Okay, so if you, if you walk across the line, mm -hmm. you get punished with A. Absolutely. If I, get walk across, if I walk across the line and I don't get punished, mm -hmm. is that a rule? Or is that like, now nah, we ain't fucking Flacco anyway, so when he walk across the line, that's what... Nobody, like, these days, everybody's like, you know, they're, they're kind of picking and choosing. 6 ix 9 was the only person in hip-hop mm -hmm. that I feel like the entire hip-hop said, oh, he told. Of course. Everybody else said, like, ah. Hey, hey. Well, he ain't really tell, like, him, yeah. like, low-key, like, that dude right there, like, Gunna ain't tell on Thug. He just said that it wasn't his shit in the car. And, like, low-key, he ain't tell on them. He said he was a gang member. And why sells a gang, but who know what why sells? They make up all the time excuses, bro. I, I listen, Act Russell. Look, but they got this. They got this nigga on the stand right now. Mm -hmm. Who this? Uh, um, I think his name is Slug or whatever his name. Oh yeah, yeah. Who, who this is why I love right? the streets. So I love the yeah. streets, brother. You know that you don't sign the whole plea. <laughs> yeah, you don't sign that these things are true. Uh -huh. There ain't you can't want to stand and try to lie, <laughs> no, <laughs> try to pretend. But here's the thing: yeah. this is how global people mm -hmm. are. Show him he's smart. He's up there. <laughs> he's telling them young. He, the dog stands for truly humbled up. Mm -hmm. You think that they're behind that? Man, come on, now, bro. If you weren't telling, you wouldn't be on the stand. Sorry. You're on the stand. You're telling them, yeah, we're all in the gang. We throw up the signs like yeah. this. Oh, who? Oh no, a gunner, he a crip. Oh, him over there? Nah, yeah, yeah nah, we was in Rock Crew. Man, remember when we was Rock Crew? Thug, you remember that? Nigga, that's how he's talking in the court. In fact, listen. But then he throw a couple lies in of it, course. and this is how stupid people are. And they believe nah, it. Nah, yo, 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 he's spinning them. Yeah. Nah, he's spinning them right Islam now. Islam stands for yo, survivor. He's, nah, he's spinning them right <laughs> now. Yo, why you be wiping your nose? Because the weed loud. Okay, brother. You don't wrote a whole statement that you wiped your nose because it was stand for the gang. Sure. So, like, it, it's the most hilarious thing, but I, I get to realize people pick and choose, right? Oh, like, like, for example, we see Offset either taking a shot or whatever with mm -hmm. Gunner. Would Offset have taken a shot with 6 9 No. no. He's like, oh, it's 6 9 I don't want to fuck with him. Of course not. People pick and choose, right? And yeah, then, you know, the new, the new frontier is going to be like, they're going to be like, oh, nah, every stitch is not the same. Facts. If you want to stand and you point a nigga out, that's mm -hmm. a one, that's mm -hmm. one level of stitching. But, like, you know what I mean? If you took a plea yeah. and you said everybody else's name, but you yeah. ain't taking a stand, because that's what they're going to do with Gunner, of right? Course. Like, Gunner's whole lawyer is trying to prevent him from taking a stand to answer redundant questions mm -hmm. because those questions have already been put on record by of the co-founder and other people. Mm. Only thing they would ask Gunner is, is why is it a gang? He would have to answer yes, but that question been answered by two other people. Right? Uh, of course. So he might not take a stand, and you know what they're going to say? Well, he can't really tell. Yo, Ag, listen, man. Like, you know when... I, I like Gunner, by the way. Listen, of course. Gunner carrying that land on his back. That's man, the craziest man, part about it. Listen, like, you know when I realized, bro, that like 99.9% .9 of these Atlanta niggas were hoes, right? Again. I ain't gonna say all that now. You gonna lay Atlanta? I can say 99 Again, nigga, Troy Ave is right next to me, nigga. Uh, don't bring Troy into your beast, nigga. Keep the graphene <laughs> is right there, nigga. Folks right there, nigga, right? I can say... Troy got, like, properties in Atlanta. <laughs> I, I can say... It's, it's a, it's I a can real estate say, mogul. <laughs> I, listen, 
I found out yeah. that ninety nine point nine percent of these niggas is hoes, and here's why, right? Why? So low baby, right? So they say, bro, low baby is the toughest nigga ever. Then, I, then like I found out that baby drill killed his right hand man, Lil Marlo. Really? But he <laughs> oh wait, walk one hundred trick, right? Oh really? <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> man, wait. man, man, no, 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 no. you know what I'm talking about? No, wait, no, 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 no. Whoa, baby whoa, drill, whoa, whoa, whoa. break that down. Cool. So Baby Drill was the only person who was brought in, right, um, and uh, interrogated for Low Marlo's murder. I interviewed Baby Drill right here. He a murderer? Man, come on now, bro. I'm serious. Act, act two. Listen, two. Two, right? Baby Drill? And Baby Drill has done everything. He got a but- song I like. He was like, yo, he was talking about, yo, don't let me catch you with the BP. Like, yo, I hope you got the car. It better be BP. I'm like, oh, shit, that's fire. Baby Drill. Had- bulletproof. Baby Drill has done everything but just outright say, yeah, I killed Lil Marlo. He I, said that? No, oh, he didn't say yet. Okay. After Lil Marlo death, right, he posted a GTA gunplay of a nigga running down another man, right, with the title of Who Ran with Lil Marlo's song playing and in the background, legit just taunting Lil Baby and them niggas. But Lil Baby somehow is still hanging out with 21 Savage at them parties, knowing that 21 Savage man's killed his right-hand man. These niggas is hoes. These niggas- Is this true? I say true. I'm gonna ask my land niggas. What? Really? What? Listen, academics, right? I don't know what y'all talking Listen, about. Listen, right, so look. <laughs> academics gave us the blueprint on his last live stream Hey, listen. Man, I don't know what y'all talking about. When I do these interviews, I act like Rock 100, right? And say, oh, really? Oh, my God. Oh, really? What? He knows everything I'm saying right now is the truth. I knew they were hoes when Lil Baby was still chilling with the niggas who killed his homie. Once I seen that. What? I, 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 nah, Baby I wouldn't do no shit like that. No, no, listen. Listen, listen. And Baby missed me a couple times. Like, baby wouldn't do no shit like that. He would never <laughs> hang with nobody who, huh? who, who did nothing to him. Baby's a whole gangster. It, it's past Lil Baby, nigga. Have these, again, bro, I have a video that's dropping on Baby Drill being the youngest serial killer in, in rap, right? Serial killer? Yes. Yes. Oh, shit. Yes. I just seen a video of him uh, getting arrested. Yo. And he has a documented lie, three bodies yo, under his belt. Yo, niggas, niggas said to him, like, yo, bro. You, you. Hard, wait, sorry. Hard Body Daffy, Grady Scott, and Lil Marlo are the three confirmed bodies and he also said that he's responsible. Nigga, how the hell you know that? These are real people? And he was on t- on trial for Grady Scott murder. You know what happened, right? What happened? So this nigga said, hey, yo, listen, bruh, bruh. I got the, hey, right, so look, right, so look. So him and Grady Scott was in the car, right? Feel me, right? Him, Grady Scott, and like two other people, right? Don't tell me it's on some YNW right? Riley shit. Yes. Oh, sh- Really? He shot to kill Grady Scott. In the car. Yes, right? Now, guess what happened though, right? There's like, there's like, there's like two other people there, right? Now, and he get booked, and this nigga, the first thing that he did is hop on the jail phone and say, hey, bruh, y'all better make sure, show, show, them niggas don't tell on me, right? No, he didn't. Yes. <laughs> jail house phone, y'all better make sure them boys don't tell on me, right? <laughs> You're lying. Now, hey, guess what though? For some reason, all the witnesses <laughs> oh, they showed the said, bro, hey, bro, we not saying nothing. After this nigga's on the job, we saying, yo, better make sure the niggas don't, don't uh, like, tell on me. And somehow the witnesses say, hey, yeah, we're not going to tell on him, right? So he got off the Grady Scott murder. Hardbody Daffy, this nigga done confessed to killing Hardbody Daffy in at least like four songs, right? But somehow, yeah, yo, 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 I, I, I really real. think I know everything. Bro, yeah. I interviewed Man, him and N- Young Nudie here. And anytime I would ask about beef or nothing, nigga, it was, it was almost like, nigga, they, I th- they thought I was Vlad. I kept showing them, like, I'm black. I'm not Vlad. Yo, act, no, act, act, listen. Yo, act, listen. So you say he was really killing niggas? Act, right. So listen. Right, no so look. way. No, act, look. I know a killer when I see me. Ain't no, no, I listen, listen right? Guy. Listen, no, He's look. shy. Act, listen. I got a bunch of flack, right? Yeah. Because when I watched that interview, act, I was so irate. And here's why, right? Yo, they sitting down with academics. Like, like, like this is like the trailblazer, the pioneer yeah, yeah, yeah. for independent black media, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And these two wide nose, pink lips, super <laughs> big niggas <laughs> is talking to academics and acting like they don't want to talk. But somehow, dumb wide nose, pink lip niggas go to bootleg calf, and this nigga is cheesing from here to here, talkative as hell, interrupted bootleg calf. 
and having conversation. I said, hold up now, bro. You disrespect the black man who's one of us, who's the trailblazer, but go to Bull Lake Cafe and you're the most talkative nigga ever. You niggas is coons. I don't respect you bitch ass niggas. I, I it's that, that simple. You know, I, I think that they maybe thought that I was like trying to like. Nah, really bro. They coon. Act, 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 act to say, it, bro. Them niggas is coons, my nigga. You sat in front of a black man who's the pioneer of this shit. And you gave this nigga two sentences, but sit in front of the white man who's asking you the same questions. Oh, and you cheesy from fucking ear to ear, having a good old time slapping. Ah, oh, my, oh, oh, sir. Right? Damn. I said, damn, my nigga, you coon butter biscuit eating niggas is up here, <laughs> right? Y'all up here eating butter biscuits. Y'all sign the white man, but was acting like you don't want to talk to DJ academics, nigga. Yo, but I can't fuck them bitch ass niggas, bro. Hey. It, 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 listen, that is the, the thoughts of Flacco. You're not going to tell me a nigga got three bodies and have been bragging about it last week. And me, you can say that. Troy F is, listen, my nigga. <laughs> Troy F walked in, so I'm popping my shit. Right. You know what? Troy F walked in, and Troy F said, hey, little bro, say whatever the fuck you want. Big folks said, hey, nigga, I got three bodies under my belt, nigga. <laughs> Document it. Big folks really killed two niggas, nigga. Documented. Wait, hold on. We don't know anymore. No, it's on record. He was exonerated. He really killed two niggas. Act. So I got big folks. I don't think he was to say like that. Wait, 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 wait. He really killed two niggas wait. on paperwork. Act. Yes, it's documented. I, big folks really killed two niggas. Man, come on, act. Man, come on. Listen up, bro. Wait, this is true. Yeah, big folks killed two niggas. Will got in his hell? No, he killed. Act. He killed two niggas, man. Double murder. A death penalty case, I beat it in trial. Come on now, bro. He really killed two niggas. Act. Listen, bro. I seen Creep the Guafi, nigga, pull out his pistols on three Mexicans, nigga. Wait. I'm telling you. <laughs> yes. So again, Please. if I got Creep the Guafi who pulled out the pistol on three Mexicans, folks who killed two niggas and Troy out the realest rapper ever, who's telling me, nigga, bro, pop your shit. These niggas won't fucking touch you, I nigga. I, I believe it, nigga. I, I will say, though. Remember I was telling you about it's better to be liked um, um, than than right? If, if, I don't if, be just like, fuck if, these if, niggas, if, man. If what Troy Ave did, mm -hmm. if if a nigga seen, let, let, let's make up a name. Hmm. Or it could be anybody. If a nigga seen 21 Savage mm -hmm. walking somewhere and a nigga tried to shot him and he took the gun from the nigga and chased him out mm -hmm. and shoot at him, bruh. That nigga next album is selling three million first week. I, like yo, nigga, that man, shit going crazy. Yo, yo I, wait, wait, wait Trey yeah. is a, like this. How do niggas hate him? Cause yeah. niggas like, damn, why he just die? Like I'm like, yo, yo niggas was hating, bro. Act, listen, act, bro. no, act, listen, act. I only have one beef with Big Bro, what? right? Bro, is he sat down for three months and kept it solid and ain't telling that bitch ass nigga day one? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, is you out of your mind? Listen, I only have listen, no. bro. No, I, wait, 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 you don't like Stones? Listen, I only have one beef, Tax right? Like, he's an OG podcaster. I only have one beef, right? It's nigga. It's Troy Ave went to court and tried to keep it. Listen, he tried to keep it solid. And he said, hey, listen up, man. I'm here, bro, but I'm not in the right. I can't tell. Bro, he should have went in that court, my nigga, and said, bro, that nigga... Was a lifelong hater. He pulled out the <laughs> pistol and shot a kill banger. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Troy Ash got to get life. Troy Ash should went in the no, court and tell <laughs> and got him life. But Troy Ash kept the solid so the bitch ass nigga still got a chance of life, nigga. Feel me? Listen. Listen. And that's my only beef with Big Bro. Is that he kept it too solid. Bro, nigga, if I'm Troy Ash, nigga, bro, I'm taking that stand, nigga, and making sure them white folks give that nigga life. No chance. Listen, bro. There's no chance. Tax will get in 35 years if I'm on that stand, nigga. I guarantee you. Damn. What you say? What you say? What you about to give like a King Von Crazy Story Man. Part Four? Nigga, what? Listen, I'm saying, Yo, Anna, here is here is a 10 year receipt of him stalking us online on Twitter, right? Over a thousand tweets of him stalking us, Yo, what Anna. Was a thousand? Yo, Anna, a thousand tweets with my name in it. Premeditation, telling me I'm a bitch, telling me he gonna kill me. I seen a nigga, I took his gun from him cause he a hoe. <laughs> hey, listen, right? Listen, I seen a nigga, he ain't wanna tussle hey, cause hey, he a hey, hoe. Hey, 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 hold on. I gotta tell you to tread lightly. Look. Apparently Joe talked about Tax Stone and he got somebody to punch Joe. 
I would, like we on the East Coast. I'm not Joe Budden. And if a nigga come online and confess to punch me at a strip club, nigga, I'm giving an MLA formatted statement and he gonna be in jail, my nigga. Joe Budden, listen, bro. Joe Budden came on this podcast and talked about it and ain't follow up with no statements. Why? Wow. No, I think he was getting back into the streets. Man, listen up, bro. Listen, bro. Joe is street dude. Hey, listen. I'm not Joe Budden. Troy Ave fucks with me. Creep fuck with me. Big folks fuck with me. I can tell and still fuck with my big bros. You know why? Why? Because they respect me for that, right? Because they know, hey, bro, well, 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 you been yeah. honest with us. You told us from the jump you was a rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so pretty much just saying you're not pretending. Well, you know, you know, here's the thing. I don't believe that a civilian could rat. So I don't even think that, I don't think that, that is even an acceptable terminology. Duh. I think just telling the truth. Duh. But though, guess what, right? But though, like, if these niggas, right, will say, say your flaco, right? You are on these podcasts and on Clubhouse and on your channel saying, yo, Boosie and Lil Dirk ain't tough. Now, if they show you they tough, now what? And I said, nigga, I'm going to tell. And they say, hold up, bro. How you going to instigate the beef and drama, but then tell? And I'm going to say this. The truth can never be seen as disrespect. If I'm telling you that y'all told me that Boosie is tough because he paid a 15-year-old to, to kill seven niggas. And, oh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, and I, I'm I, saying, I, I was always told that you no, ain't tough hold on. for paying niggas to kill niggas. I'm saying, I know Troy Ave. He really picked up his pistol and really fed his family, nigga. I know Troy Ave really picked up his pistol and fed his family, nigga. Dolo, nigga. Grind, nigga. Grinding, right? So again, if Troy Ave picked up his pistol and fed his family on his own, nigga, I don't respect your gangster for paying niggas to do work. Lord Dirk, I don't respect this gangster for paying niggas to do work. And if Lord Dirk ain't picked up his pistol and hunted them niggas down and killed his brother himself, no, he, I, I don't respect on. for paying niggas to do Yo, it. He slid for Vaughn. How? It's one of the this in the streets. No, oh no, let's speak on. So no, you gotta wait, keep no. it. You gotta no. keep the G wait, solid no. like lasagna. Let's speak on it real quick, though, right? Let's speak on it real quick. Lord Dirk sat up here, right, and did that shit that rappers do, right? Which is like, well, shit. Hey, listen, man. I, I heard he dissed me, and now he's dead. Oh, listen, bro. I don't know what happened, man. But hold up, bro. And if you know anything about it, nigga, Lil Durk sat up here and said, oh, I don't hear them saying Slap of Vine no more. I wonder why. He was alluding to Lil Pop getting killed in L.A. If you know anything about the situation, you know that Lil Durk ain't have shit to do with it. What happened? Listen, apparently Lil Pop was out here borrowing bricks and not paying for it. <laughs> what? Right? Allegedly. Lord Dirk ho ass ain't have shit to do with it, right? But somehow, Lord Dirk is on this platform <laughs> trying to insinuate he <laughs> killed Lil Pop to come off as gangster, and that's what I don't respect with these whole ass rappers act. Maybe, maybe he slid in like this. Act, Lord on. Dirk ain't have shit to do with Lil Pop. Again, so, again, I'm not, listen, bro, again, my nigga, if the Wolves is watching this nigga, I'm not snitching, I'm not telling act nothing off camera or on camera about who killed Lil Pop. I'm just saying, nigga, we know why Lil Pop was killed. And Lil Durk My nigga ass, said they threw up an OTF sign at the end. Hey, listen, man. Nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. That was a joke, that was a joke. That's like some camera <laughs> shit. That was a camera hey, listen, shit, man. And <laughs> hey, 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 wait, wait, right, look, right, wait, yeah. though, right? So the question, if Lil Durk got Lil Pop killed, well, them folks ran up and seen Quando and aim at his homie and killed him and left. Wouldn't Quando be the aim if Lil Durk got, got them killed? I heard they were trying to kill Quando Rondo. No. You sure? No. They had a gun on Quando. Left and killed his homies and left. Quando was there for them to kill. You're lying. Yes! He was there for you them to the kill. You see the surveillance? Man, come on, act, bro. Oh, shit. Act. Quando was, listen, again this, again, this is not me telling, this is all in the paperwork, right? Quando was there for them to kill. They shot the homie and ain't shoot Quando and left. If Lil Durk called that hit on Lil Pop, why wouldn't Lil Durk want the trophy, which is Quando? Come on. Right? But these bitch ass rappers will sit on this platform and try to cap and lie like they really out here like that. Listen, you like listen, that though. Huh? Wabi is like that. Wabi one of the few. Um he like that. Hey, listen. So there, and again, and he did get a 10-year suspension, 
uh, sorry, a 10 year suspended sentence for pulling out, out, out like in his pistol and doing a drive by and on an empty car. So, was it empty car? This autistic nigga wait, pulled wait, out wait. his pistol <laughs> and did a drive by and on an empty car with, with, with a nobody in it. No victims, nobody got hit. And then they went to court. And the judge looked in the set, oh man, you lucky you got bad aim. The car was empty, nobody was there, right? So again, if young boy is tough for doing a drive by on an empty car, then shit nigga, he, listen, then shit, I don't know. But I'm just saying, all the bodies that young boy is claiming in any songs. Nah, he never claimed songs, nobody. I, 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 young boy claimed bodies? When? Bruh, listen, and he said word for word, Seven bodies in my hometown. Tell them boys I did that. He said it in them songs. Seven bodies in my hometown. Tell them boys I did that. But which nah, bodies the young boy do? Wait, wait. Yes. Which bodies the young boy do? He talking about fucking bitches. No, seven bodies. Listen, he's talking about pulling out his pistol and feeding his family. I'm telling you, which bodies the young boy catch? Because as far as far as I'm concerned. Oh, he was the bag man. He was paying for them hits. But again, I still think you a bitch and a pussy if you don't have the gall to pull out that pistol, look that man in his eyes and take his life from him. If you pay other niggas to do it because you pussy, you not gangster to me. Dirk ain't gangster, Boosie ain't gangster, young boy ain't gangster, them niggas is hoes to me. Well, what do you think about Wack 100 claims that, that that big you had homie do a hit for him on Nipsey? What do you think about that? And, and, and okay, now, this is how we get it now. He could talk what? about young boy to everybody. Yeah, we sure. talk about things in LA now. You no, got to go back there. No, 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 look, no, no, look, no, look. Listen, you don't want bring baby running down on you. No, look, listen, look, look, listen, bring baby look. Get, clapped anybody before? Look, listen. I, I got like ten calls, and they all say, "Yo, bro, loose cannon is lying. He's capping, and we have a hundred thousand if he can produce the footage." I don't know what happened. I'm saying. I'm going to wait until Loose Cannon said on February 14th on a Valentine's Day, he's going to post the footage. So as soon as he pushed the foot, because again, he said he got Big U on FaceTime telling him this. And he got the call with Nipsey on, on camera as well. So when February 14th come, when he drops the footage, or if he don't drop the footage, and then we can say who's lying and who's telling the truth. But for now, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just being real. Right? Now, also too, though, now, Luz Why Cannon, do pop smoke, man? This is what we want to know, man. We in New York City, man. Everybody love, everybody love pop smoke out here, man. He went to New York, and I'm, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people like are skeptical of 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 LA because we saw pop smoke lose his life out there. Like, sure. what the hell happened with that? You know? Hey, listen. So when I look at like the pop smoke shit, right? Yeah. So first off, um, and he died while about. While again, while about to hop in the shower to get clean to fuck on a white woman, right? Come on now. It was a white girl who was in his bedroom, butt naked, getting ready to get her fucking cheeks obliterated by pot smoke. So he got killed while about to take a shower to fuck a white woman. So again, this was optics itself is bad. But I'ma say this, right? If you were in a situation where they got you, they got you. So if Posmo tried to fight back and thought he was tougher, I don't know, right? Now, they've all been convicted. They've all have gotten their times, and they'll all be out in about four years, right? That was crazy. Yeah, you feel me? That <laughs> was crazy. Hey, listen, and that's why I have a rule, bro. Right? Again, I think as you and Charlamagne the God Kind of like start this rule, which is I don't hang out with niggas after 5 p.m. I'm telling you, I, I don't hang wanna... out with niggas, period. Listen, bro. <laughs> Forget the time. Listen, bro. <laughs> Listen, bro. I don't want to smell niggas <laughs> and in my vicinity after 5 p.m. Meaning this, right? Listen, Pop Smoke had a bunch of niggas around him. They was like at the crib, fucking on white women, chilling. Yeah, that was a little odd. Like, And now one of them bust back. You mean to tell me you a rapidly rap nigga in this crib with about eight other dusty niggas, and you mean to tell me you feeding them dirty niggas, you got them dirty niggas in L.A., right, in, in a fucking mansion, right, 
stinking up the white sheets for no reason. And you mean to tell me you got dumb, dirty niggas stinking up the white sheets and they don't got a pistol? The least, nigga, if I'm flying you out to L.A. and got your dirty Bronx ass in this bitch or Brooklyn ass in this bitch stinking up my white sheets, you don't got a pistol at least to defend me when I'm ambushed by a full 15-year-old? Act. These niggas get act. These niggas are now on IG Live, right, after Possimo passed away again. These are the Brooklyn niggas he brought with him, right? They're, they're, they're on IG Live, popping it, right? Still throwing up woo, right? So y'all the woo, 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 popping it. But y'all got ambushed and spanked on by three 15-year-olds. So you mean to tell me hmm. that you still popping it like you gangster, but you got ambushed and spanked by three 15 year olds? Man, come on, act. How do we respect niggas? Again, bro, again. If I find out that CEO Big Folks in Crete was in the crib and got ambushed by three 15 year olds and, and, and like, they ain't make it out alive, I, I'm gonna say, hold up, Crete. Like, how, like, how you let folks get murdered by three 15 year olds? Like, like, I thought you was gangster. Again, in Crete, I know it's gangster. We've seen footage of Crete. Pulling out that pistol and running niggas off the block at, at, at a uh, wax studio, right? Wax studio. We seen Creep pull out the pistol on camera and, you, you know and run nigga off the block at wax studio. Hey, 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 hey. So if Creep allows Big Force to get murdered by three fifteen year olds, I don't want to see Creep on IG Live popping it no more. Yeah. Car revolt. Yeah. I, I wonder how Wack like. I feel like Wack has so many enemies in LA. How does he like? How does he maneuver? Listen, bro. Why gives me like, anxiety? I'm surprised right Wack now. still comes to no jumper. Why gives me anxiety, nigga? Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Wack knows, right? That if Wack texts me, I have to breathe. Yo, 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 yo. Does I have to comprehend exactly what Wack was hitting about? And then when I call Wack, is like, hello? Listen, Wack gives me anxiety, wow. bro. Wack is the most calculated nigga I done ever met. Listen, bro. I am, listen. If you just a big, bad, Ugly black nigga who's tough, I don't fear you. But if you a dude who, you always have 20 chest steps ahead, I fear you. Why I fear you? Because I don't know, know like, where, like, where, like, like, where I'm being left, right? Like, 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 for example, right? So look, so like, uh, so I think it was like three days ago, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Wack hit me. But again, I'm so terrified of Wack, bro, that when he hit me, bro, it takes me like three days to really process. Okay, I'm about to talk to Wack. I'm about to talk to Wack. I'm about to talk to Wack. <laughs> oh shit. Oh okay. Hey Wack. So when I said, uh, again, I hit Wack back like two days later, right? I, I said, and hey Wack. And the first thing I heard was, "You bitch ass nigga. I'm a fucking millionaire. You bitch ass nigga. How damn it do?" I, I said, big homie, I'm sorry, man. Wait, right? wait, 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 I have manager? anxiety. Wait, why was he manager? Sure, look. So look. So Wack is big bro, right? Mm -hmm. And he tried to, again, right? So, and he tried to put money in, in my pockets, right? And he, you know, and and he had business for me, right? But because I'm so scared of Wack that when he texts me, it takes, it takes him about two to three days to build up the courage to, to call him back. So he had money for me. Like, I'm talking about like, on the line, thousands, like, bro, like, pick up the phone, nigga. But I took too long hitting back, right, which I understand, right? Like, if you looking out for me and trying to give me some money and I'm taking too long, right? Like, that's disrespect, right? So I, I said, big bro, I'm sorry. I don't want no smoke. I love you, Who man. Who's scared of more, Wacker or Brick Baby? Damn. Uh, Brick is my friend, though, right? No, but who you think is, like, like more of a, like, a... Because I, I, I heard Brick Baby shoot things. Listen, right. So look, I heard. Listen, I, I heard a wild story. Right, it was a top three rapper. Again, a top three rapper. Meek Mill. No, I'm talking about a top three rapper. Let's talk, at that let's talk time. about Meek Mill. Loose cannon said they almost kidnapped him. Meek Mill ain't never been a top three rapper in his life. But but look, <laughs> right. So look, right. So look. So Brick at that time was just a, sh you know, was just like a street nigga who had like famous rapper, right? Um, and entourage friends. So they was at the club and a top three rapper walked in. Now Brick Baby was with somebody who had issues with that top three rapper. 
And the first thing out of brick mouth is, bro, you lucky I don't want to get my shoes dirty or else I would have killed you and put the blood and on my shoes. And, and this. Brick would be seen seeing the top three rapper who everybody said was the biggest, baddest nigga in, on the planet. And he says, the only reason why I'm not killing you in this club right now, nigga, is because I don't want your blood to get on my shoes. Again, again, that sounds tough, but it's like if you're friends with another rapper, your little hundred dollar tennis hey, shoes, you can get another pair. Listen, kill him. Why you kill hey. <laughs> that's how that's like a movie call. Like, no, 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 no. So he didn't do nothing to him. He, he just allowed him to walk away. No, wait though, right? Right, look though, right? So look, like, 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 um, what's crazier, right? Is I heard this story from like four other niggas and Brick never confirmed, right? Like, yo, like, Brick Baby went, he was like a street nigga who was really, yo, he was terrorizing LA. Mm. Listen, right, so look, right, so look, there's another. Who was more in the street, like Brick or like, um, um, like 80? What happened? 80, or a brick, who was more in the streets? Oh, I don't know. Right? Nigga, you should know. How? Nigga, you know them niggas. What'd you I, think about Wiz Khalifa blowing some smoke in 80's mouth, though? Listen. You, would you let Wiz do that to you? I thought we got a blunt in here. I think Wiz might be even around hey. the corner. You, you down? If I was there, I would have told AD, bro, a big bro. <laughs> Just because I'm here, big bro? Yeah. I have to crash out and violate that long dick sissy nigga who's trying to blow smoke in your mouth. <laughs> as simple as that, nigga. A again, Compton AD yeah. is a gangster. He's a crip. He's well respected. He's I heard that's what they do in LA, though. And he's a goon. They blow smoke in your mouth. And Compton AD was asleep while that long dick sissy nigga came and told us- Why you got long dick? He has a long dick. It's no, wait, wait, no, hold on. No. <laughs> Come on, <man. laughs> no, 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 go ahead. All right, all right, okay, okay, we get it. Man, come on, act. This nigga look like he got like a Rolodex. <laughs> it's like you see the picture, it's like, nah, this ain't long enough. Hold on, let me find another app. Right, come on now, Yo, bro. Man, man, right, come on now, right, come Yo, on now. That's wild right there, bro. <laughs> right, come on now, right. Right, come Yo, why on. Why don't you, well, why don't you like let Adam pay you some money? To, to, number, I'm good, bro. I'm good. You sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Yo, why you let Adam no, 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 pay you some money for some plug? I go ahead though. Ito, back to AD. So what would you have done? Listen, you know, you know, that nigga take jujitsu. Again, if I was there, I'm taking off on that long dick nigga meeting. Why, bro? Because listen, now listen. If AD was up. And awake, and he allowed it. Now I'm like, hey, AD, now like you complying with that sissy shit. But if my nigga asleep, and your sissy ass pull out a camera, and damn near kissed the nigga and blow a smoke in his fucking mouth that came out his ears. So you think Wiz kind of gay for that? Bro, this nigga is a deviant, bro. This nigga <laughs> blew, wait, act. He blew smoke in AD's mouth and had a technique to where the smoke came out of AD's nose and ears. This nigga sexually assaulted my nigga. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm being real. I mean, I, I mean, I, listen. I, he blew smoke in AD's mouth. Damn near kissed him. And the technique he used, the smoke came out of AD's nose <laughs> and ears. That's like, listen, what bro. What technique so look, is that? Listen, at, huh? What technique? <laughs> Yo, act, yo, act, bro. Listen, yo, act, bro. Yo, act, listen, act, bro. Act, listen, act, listen, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, act, listen, bro. And it's the same technique. <laughs> <laughs> the same technique that every rapper in the industry has been using, right? <laughs> to put semen in Asian doll's mouth and have it come out of her nose and ears. It's the same technique, bro. Wiz Khalifa learned from Asian doll. Hey, that hey, shit is crazy. Yo. Bro, he tried to Asian doll, Compton AD. Yo, yo did, did you hear Asian doll say she, like her body count she, she is still on one hand? Listen, right, so look. This the same funky <laughs> bitch and who said... That King Von is the only dick I ever suck. Ho, go ahead and die. All right? Listen, like, like, listen, listen, listen up, Russell. Look, like, folks who lie like that, bro. Like, I just hate you. <laughs> like, right? Like, listen, it's unnecessary lie, right? Like, <laughs> bro, just, listen, like nobody even nigga. thought that was true anyway. Right? Listen, and to kind of find out, like, according to Jada Kingdom, she had a little train got ran on her. Little that, train. that. And she was getting paid ten thousand to get donkey fucked by Dusty Brock's rappers. Mean, listen, mean this, right? These rappers act right. 
got 600 SoundCloud followers, got 236 YouTube followers. That might be a thing. Ain't no way they, they got 10,000, man. Maybe like 1,000. Listen, hell no. Nah. These niggas average about 300 views per YouTube view, right? Again, they're music videos, right? They go ahead and film and film and on the block, pay that little hood videographer $200, right? These niggas invest in their music videos and did 300 views per, per video. But somehow those same rappers, according to Jada Kingdom, not me, said that Asian Doll was getting donkey fuck right and left by dumb niggas. And I'm saying, hey, listen, bitch. If you don't got enough respect for your vagina that you getting fucked by struggling rappers, you mean to tell me that King Von is the only dick you suck? Wait, 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 pause. So, wait, hold up now, bro. So, like, you getting trained? And you telling me, again, now, I again, I was always told that a train, that a signature move in a train is a pig roast. Right, Troy a pig roast, it, it, again. What's a pig roast? Again, again. If you're not doing a pig roast in a train, you are homosexual. Here's what I mean, right? Mm. If you right next to your nigga like this, <laughs> weighing, like, weighing your turn. They supposed to be outside the Behind room, your right? nigga booty, weighing your turn. Behind your nigga booty as he butt naked, cheeks open, don't keep fucking a bitch. And you oh, there like shit. this, bro. You you a homosexual. The, the only respectable way to do a train is if you pick roast the bitch to where her dick. I'm sorry. Whoa. <laughs> Pause. Why, why, why? Pause. Why, why? Pause. Okay. Your dick yeah, is yeah. in her mouth while your homie is beating up from the back. So if Asian Doll has been in trains, according to Jada Kingdom, by Dusty Bronx rappers, you mean to tell me she ain't have a dick in her mouth since Vaughn? Man, shout out to my boy Shy EK, man. Feel me? Huh? Wait, oh, oh, oh no. Hold up now, bruh. What? Hold up now, bruh. And it's, it's oh, no, it's, no, it's, no, I don't I'm like hop game now, man. You mean to tell me that Shy EK fucked Dougie B's bitch while he was with her? Oh, I don't know. I was just sort of shot about. Hold on. Nah, I, I, hold on, nah, I, hold on, hold on. The Nazi BK nigga did, and this is where I realized her pussy was doomed. Mm hmm. You fucked one nigga, he got killed immediately, and then you fucked another nigga, he went to jail immediately. Something wrong with that pussy. Listen, bro. Nas EBK is you the. You remember that Young Thug song? Something wrong with that pussy. Listen, yeah. man. Listen, man. Like, <laughs> something wrong with it. Bro. Nas nobody EBK. living mm -hmm. that's done fucked her that's come out on the other side and say, yo, I fucked her and I'm living a prosperous life. They got Rico charges in jail or in hell. Well, listen, they said Quavo fucked her. Quavo? According to Jada Kingdom, Quavo fucked her. Must be like Takeoff or something like you're not Quavo. Nah, nah. Quavo too prosperous right now. But bro, recipe used to take. But bro, listen up, right? But bro, Nas, listen, bro. Like think about this, right? Nas EBK, his generational fumble needs to be studied, right? No, it's because he fucked her, bro. This nigga had Jada Kingdom, right? He had her too, nigga. What, bro? She was his sugar mama. She was buying this nigga Rolexes. You're lying. Posting it, taking him on trip. This nigga was the first sugar baby in hip hop by another chick that's hot, right? And this nigga somehow fumbled a bag. Somehow, listen, somehow got number, convinced the, the, that his no clout having, no music career having ass was the star. He listened to Big Ass say, I'm the prize, and he thought he was the prize, and he fumbled a bitch, and now guess what she's doing? She's taking dick on a private plane by Burner Boy, left Shot Burner burn Boy, him. and that's just getting tricked on by Partisan Fontaine. Hey, hey. Nazi BK, use a dickhead. The my number nigga. one sugar baby dude in the game right now. Mm -hmm. Cool. Bad babies, nigga, bro. That nigga was a weed roller. Damn. And all of a sudden, all he's doing is just like counting her money, buying Rolls Royces. Hey, whoa, 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 I wish I could live the experience of buying a bitch a gift with her own money. Mm. <laughs> You know I don't give somebody that, gifts with nah, my own money. Nah, 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 like you give them some and they come back with a gift. You're like, bitch, I gave you five bands. You just got me a gift for three hundred. Nah, Whatever, I, man. No, wait, wait till but act right for listen. But well, I don't respect that, right? Too. Yeah, DBG getting that Blue Mermaid money now. That I respect, right? Yo, when listen. you find when you find mm -hmm. a girl that got it, you got another expedition. Of course, man. Listen, hey, right? But look though. But I don't respect bad babies, folks. And here's why, right? Wow. So, man, listen. If you get a stingy black bitch to trick on you, that, like, that's an accomplishment, right? These black hoes don't spend a dollar. But if you get, like, a little burnt out, like, white bitch, bro, like, who just loves to, like, swallow black cock and trick on you, bro, <laughs> listen up. Like, that's common, my nigga, right? Like, that's common. No, no, usually, it's usually common. a fat white girl. It's never like nah, a... Hell no! Nah. <laughs> nigga! Oh, you're from L.A. You probably nigga. see shit. Listen, yo, act, listen, act, listen, bro. I've been into these, hey, so look, so look, so like back in the day, right? 
there was these parties called dollar parties, right? Where, really? where, where so look. You pay a dollar and get all the pussy you want? No, listen. Oh. Oh. You pay a dollar, like, you feel me? To enter, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, every dollar party, bro, it is an ain't shit nigga with dirty drawers on, a, 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 a beat up white tee with the baddest bitch from a Catholic school, right? Oh, shit. So I'm saying these white hoes been fetishizing this, right? So if you convince a white bitch to trick on you, I'd know respect. You know the white girl face? No. No, man. You never fucked a white girl? I, I have. You feel me? But. Dr. Umar wouldn't be, would be so happy with you hearing you admit that. I, I, I wasn't saved, man. You feel me? <laughs> I wasn't saved back then. You feel me? Like, now I'm saved, though. So no bunny hopping for you now? None at all. None. So how much money would it take for, for Adam to pay you to fuck one of them white girls on Plug Talk? <laughs> Nigga, listen, bro. Listen. There, listen, like, there's not you an amount. You fuck Lena, that shit would been dumb viral. But Never. Why? Yeah, it's just your boss. Yeah, you can't do that. That's why. Yo, yo, why? But, but you can catch one of them other white girls on there. Nah, listen. listen. Kazumi. Oh, oh no. Did oh. she fuck for 50 niggas for her birthday? I, I, act, listen, act, listen. Act, listen. Now, listen. Yo, 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 keep it a beat. No, no, wait, 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 look. Yo, do they be catching STDs over there, bro? No, like, no, it's no way you're doing all that fucking and no, no STDs. No, no, no look, right, right. Act, 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 right. So look at this, right? So look. So the same month I went viral, right? Yeah, yeah. And 1090 Jake was sent to do a hit piece on me. And then I said, wait, hold on. Okay, like that's odd, right? And then Kazumi got sent at me. And here's what I mean, right? This bitch invited me to an orgy party, right? Now, during this orgy party, it's not just some heterosexual shit, right? This is gay niggas fucking, everybody fucking, right? So I was gonna go. And then once I got the 410 on, wait, wait. on what the orgy party was, wait, hold on. I said, oh, they're trying to get me out of here. Wait, wait, wait. 1090J couldn't find nothing on wait, me. Wait, hold on. So now they want me to go to an orgy party wait. where I'm standing in a room and a scumbag nigga took a picture of Faco standing in a room of three, three like, Pickle stuffers getting fucked. Wait, hold on. And I'm standing in the room. Wait, oh, no, how? I no, said, no. nah. It's a setup, nigga. No, hold on. We, we got to get this straight. So, Flocka, you're she telling me. She invited me to an orgy party. So, you're telling me that House Phone invited you to a, to a, to a party? No, Kazumi. It was Kazumi? Yes. But House Phone was there? No. So, you went there and then you realized. No, I, wait, 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 wait. I, I, wait, no, wait, I never niggas. went at. I'm saying. Oh. I'm saying. Oh. I got the 410. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what that party was about. The and I, you mean the 411? Yeah, sorry. I got how did you know niggas was fucking each other in there? There, there, there was folks that we know who went. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you know? <laughs> oh. You feel me? <laughs> right? Was Adam there? No. Uh, no, right? Lush was up in there, though. He was fucked. Listen, I'm not confirming nobody, right? But I'm saying it's this, right? Know that. Right, 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 nobody, right, 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 right. No, so listen. Lush was in there fucking a nigga? Nah. And once I got the 411 and said, oh, okay, the plan was the 1090J shit ain't work. So now they want to, again, like, have me in the room of some such shit going on and take a picture of me there, again, watching two pickle fighters fucking. Now you ain't gonna lie, Flacco, you feel me? if they had and a now, video. Man, my career's yo, over with. Flacco, if they had a video of you watching two niggas fucking and you just stuttering all along, nigga, like a soundtrack, nigga, you're done. I ain't gonna bruh, lie to you, bro. I've been over you're it, nigga. a stuttering orgasm. That shit would be crazy. Bruh, I would have act, act. My career would have been over with. But guess what, though? Is that now? Name one person you seen at this goddamn or that, that you know went to this orgy party? Hey, because, act. like, how they send out these invites? Kazumi, listen, hey, hey, yo, listen, I'm having a party for me coming through. I'm having a party where gay niggas fuck each other. She, listen, she threw again. Right, she painted it as an orgy party. I found out later. So you, that thought, this you, was thought, so you, you thought, thought if you had went, you didn't go though. Yeah. But if you had went, you're thinking you're bad sl- bitches. You're slanking. You're slanking some cock on her attention. Man. No, listen, listen. Flacco, you don't strike no. this guy who's using no, condoms. No, listen, Flacco, you use hey. condoms. Flacco, listen, do you use condoms? If I would have went, I Flacco. had no intentions. No, you don't use condoms. All right, I mean, no, 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 no. wait, sorry, I do use condoms. But if I would have went, I had no intentions on fucking nobody. Right? What's the last time we got tested? Huh? General men's health. Oh, uh, since I got saved. Oh, you got saved? Yeah, bro. I stopped fucking. Yeah. 
I'm well, a bad girl anyway, so you can't be like fucking like that anyway. Since since well, I got well, saved, I stopped fucking. Well, the, your girl don't live with you, right? No. Yeah. So mm-hmm. You're supposed to practice some celibacy. Wait, wait, though, but act though. All right, look, right? So look. So yeah, this party must have been wild. Act, listen. Did they give out KY jelly in the door? Nigga, I wasn't there with you. See, hey, yo. See, look. See, bro. No, hey, no. Listen, though. And he good, right? And he, like, he's asking questions, trying to paint me at the. I, 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 listen, I, I was not there. Hold that cock funky Asian no. bitch invited me to an orgy party. I'm only asking. Trying to set me up and I said, fuck no. I'm only asking. If you were going to go, yeah. would you have popped the honey pack before you got in the Uber or once you got there? Yeah, pop the honey pack? Man, the honey pack be working, man. I know yeah. Kevin be on that bitch. Act, listen, Russell. Look, act, look, Russell. Act, look. Yo, Kevin, Kevin be on, on, on Instagram pouring that shit in fifteen girls' mouths, man. Yo, listen, yo, bro. Listen, when I found Columbia. out. Listen, no, listen. When I found out, right? Yeah. That Kevin popped two hundred packs to fuck Kayla Nicole. I said, bro, like, listen up, bro. You have to pop two? At that point, my nigga, that right there is attempted murder, my nigga. Like the bitch is like ninety five pounds, bro. Like Batman Kevin is like who? Did you fuck her? Shit, Black Queen. Listen, man, the bitch got the bag. I, she got the bag? She got the bag. Like, what do you mean they got the bag? Like, for real? She, listen, she, she had like four million subs on YouTube, like brand deals, bro. Like, she hosting fucking a, a workshop. Would you shit. slang some dick just for like, you know, like these days I'm realizing mm-hmm. you gotta stop fucking broke bitches. Like, mm-hmm. so you gotta start slanging some dick on some women who got something to lose. Mm-hmm. So, like, if she got four million subs, four million reasons to fuck. Absolutely. Hey, listen, listen, hey, listen, bro. If I was a single man, bro, listen, yeah. bro, I'm trying to fuck on Fannie Willis. Listen, I- I'm trying to fuck on Fannie Willis, um, um, Malia Obama, right? Listen, bro, I can't for the likes of me, right? Even like comprehend, right? How a big black stupid nigga like Zion Williamson, right? Will sign a two hundred million dollar contract and then say, "Yo, I want a baby." You know who? who like, you know who I'm about to wife up? Yeah, a bitch who was in the streets of the Bronx, butt naked, fighting another raggedy bitch. Hey, by the way, yo, I have a girl for you, and, and she be my Discord. She she got she got three kids by three NFL niggas. Destiny. Well, hold up now, and ain't Destiny like the girl that boom that like boom beefing with? I don't know if they beat me, but, but, but she had a baby with um, um, Eli Apple, uh, Geno Smith, and Josh Jacobs. Act, act, act right. So look, listen, right. So act, listen, be real, right? Was Wale intern? Yeah. Was Wale intern and Low Boom the two niggas that fucked that girl, man? Um, me and them have never been around around like. No. That. Nah, nah, I've only seen Wale intern here. Listen, right? Listen, right? Because listen, because listen. If I would, you like Wale intern? I love Wale intern. But if I would have found out, bro, that Wale intern fuck any one of academics bitches, bro, I would would have said, hey, bro, act like that's a sad life, my nigga. Listen, if Wale intern took your bitch, Wale intern get a lot of white women though. White women nah, is flavor. Nah, hell nah. No, no, you know he doesn't like black women at all. Nah. No, no literally, like he doesn't like black women. Like he said this, yes. Like actually, like you know, they do a podcast here sometimes. We're trying to get uh, Doctor Umar to sit with them because act. he needs to be delivered. He he he, he despises black women. Act. Listen, he act. said back in the day he dated a black woman. She cheated on him, and now he only dates white women. Act. Ah, right, listen, right. So listen. Um. So you have a Troy F podcast mm-hmm. in the comment section, right? Yeah. And now listen. Now I heard. That there was something in the works with Boom at some point, but that's done, right? Yes, that's done. So who's next? Um, well, first of all, I'm, I, I got to start doing background checks because I can't have nobody else like fond of background checks. <laughs> of course, I got to. Like, I, like I'm gonna be honest with you, that shit, that shit came from left have field. Have you done a background? Listen, listen, I so listen. Like so, you so, have another you know, killer you know, here. I, I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. So you know there was a, an idea that I was having where just like how you guys do it, no jumper, mm-hmm. where like you guys you guys kind of go live daily mm-hmm. and comment on topics. And yeah, yeah. I might still talk about it on the podcast. There was a there's a thing where I was gonna have Boom kind of anchor like maybe a show that was more like a daily show, not necessarily a podcast, mm. but something that was repetitively filmed here. And a um, new stream. Yeah, kind of like that. Mm-hmm. And um, 
you know, I, I don't know if it's God. Are, are those notes? No, no, there, there's no. Lucy? No, there's yo, nothing in Hey, yo, listen up, bro. I can call nigga, right? No, I don't have no notes on it. I can hear like acting like, like he about to. You feel me? No. Right? <laughs> Not me this is playing, man. Yeah, come on. Wait, 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 wait. I never write down notes like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, don't write down, I don't write down notes when I'm interviewing somebody who I really know. Like I feel like I've known I know a lot about you. That if I have a bunch of notes written down, yeah. it's because I'm not that familiar with you, and I want to make sure I get to certain points with you, me and you. I, just, I always just want to have a conversation. So you grab this note though, like in like in like like in in like every interview, but they be empty. It ain't got nothing. Well, hey, well, hey man, listen, man. So shout out to you know. But uh, yo, listen, man. So uh, listen, man. Hey, listen. So when are we doing a part two, man? Do part two, whatever. How long are you out here for? Uh, t- till the twenty eighth. So you're out here till the twenty eighth. So you're out here for like like two more days. Yeah. Oh, okay. We can do something tomorrow too. But hey, you should you should film up with what you're after tonight. Yo, yo, duh. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. Uh, listen. Trust me. Me and him conversation. If you thought this was flagrant, oh, oh listen. Wait till you see. But but I, 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 I like how you're giving it up. Yeah. This is this is how you this is how you put that imprint on the world. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, it, this is Flaco basically. I am here, niggas. Like, hey, listen, yes. you you gonna either appreciate my pain, appreciate it, but ignore it, or you're yeah. just gonna be offended by it and fuck you if you're offended yeah. by it. I like that. Yeah, and Ak has now stamped me as the voice of the streets. So, yeah, so you other bitch ass niggas who got a face tattoo and came on YouTube and start cosplaying as real niggas. It's over with for y'all, oh, right? Oh, you and him really going at? No, 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 no. Has he been going in on you type shit or no? Listen, right? right so listen, I'm gonna call, call him real quick. Sure, listen, right? Sure. Nah, nah, no, yo, no, yo. no, no, no. Listen, no. Look. So I've always like. Took Suppose the, he says he wants to do a boxing match with you. I feel like yo niggas told me you really got the squabbles. Listen, right? So look, and here's where our like issues came in, right? I was always yo. We have to be a team, right? We have to be pro this, right? Cool. But then, like, when I look up and seen, oh, shit, like, and he's consistently attacking Sadie Nash and then saying, oh, no, that's my nigga, right? Cool. Again, if, again, and if that's what he does and Sadie accepts it, cool. But don't think that you finna do the same grimy shit to me, right? Say, oh, my God, I fuck with Flacco. And then take your ugly ass and on fucking Instagram and try to tag me, right? Right, like, and, right, like, and, and fuck shit. Nah, nigga. We not going back to being cool and friendly, right? And say, oh, you know what? That's just that nigga, right? He's just a, hell nah, nigga. You diss me once as fuck you, nigga. So again, so I was cool. I, I was like, you feel me saying, yo, listen, man, I fuck with him, bro. Hey, bro, listen, man, like, whatever I can do to assist you, let me know. And then that hating ass nigga came on his fucking Instagram and tried to diss me. And then 20 minutes later, took down the post. Again, first off, I don't respect you. You a bitch, right? If you diss me, then stand you delete it like, the fuck? Stand on the type shit, yeah. Stand on your shit, right? Again, mm. if it's fuck Flacco, it's fuck Flacco, right? Don't say fuck Flacco, then take it down and think that we about to be cool. Hell, listen, if Sadie Nash is tolerating your backbiting scummy activities, that's big bro and I respect Sadie Nash. But you not finna backbite me and think I'm finna be quiet and silent and try to keep peace. Again, let me real here, right? Can none of them niggas go to war with me? Again, can none of them niggas hey, I, go to war with Flacco? I, I, I love the confidence, Flacco. And, 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 and you know, uh, what I will say about, like, you know, the space that you guys operate is that um, you guys are definitely carrying on the flag for independent new media, people with strong voices, strong personalities. Sure. And, you know, obviously you guys are going to get a little dust ups and shit like that, but I, I, I'm happy for it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, like, I, I like where this is going. And I really only see us just getting more and more market share. Like, sure. I, I know, like, just habitually wise, like, people keep watching content produced by people like us more. Listen, and we're, we're all mm-hmm. in a fight together. And, and again, l- l- let me tell you when, when we when we realize we're winning. Yeah. Right? We'll know we're winning when all them motherfuckers who have those pretty titles and those pretty, like, even, th- that's why even, like, you know, like me and Spotify, we parted ways and I, I love them and they love mm-hmm. me. And, um, you know, like my agent was like, yo, we could get another deal. And, I, and like, I'm ignoring them. I'm like, yo, I could tell, like, mm-hmm. I used to get with these companies 
to be like, yo, I need a stamp. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think I need that no more. No, and, 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 and these days it's more like, you know, whatever that came with those companies, whatever those, uh, you know, advertisement deals or whatever else, they're coming now. So it's like, I, I feel like almost a rapper, like in a really unique position where I just don't even feel like I need to be on another company. Mm-hmm. If anything, I feel like I should invest my own money and build my own company. And what you guys are doing, you guys are building a platform mm-hmm. that you're going to then build your own companies. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be the important part, man. So like, <laughs> you, know, you know, I love what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I want you to keep doing it. You know what I mean? Um, I think you stand for the, despite if you, if you, if I agree with anything you've ever said, particularly about any other people, like yeah. Sarah Charlotte or whatever, like, I agree with the mentality that you have to have to succeed because mm-hmm. trust and believe this. They want us to be weak. They want us to be mm-hmm. trying to beg to be with them. And at some point, you got to have the confidence to say, fuck you. Before. I know what I'm doing is making more of an impact. And I know that the people sit and they ride for me. And Before. that's what it is. Yeah, man. Bro, like, man, bro, like, and like, bro, like, and I would love to at least just talk to Joe, right? Because when I hear Joe saying, saying, saying like, shit like, bro, he has the worst taste and he's the worst personality. And on the internet, I can get y'all on the phone. Like, I, I, yeah, right? I like, don't think it's that deep, bro. Bro, bro, listen, bro, like, I love the nigga, right? I just blame Ian for a lot of the things that has gone wrong. You feel me, right? <laughs> Ian! <laughs> but then, too, though, listen, also, too, though, listen, act, listen, act, you need to partner up with the independent niggas like myself and Seti Nash. And we need to do an award show at the end of every year, right? We, sh- we should absolutely do something. And, and right? I, and I, I'm definitely down for it. And, um, you, you know, again, you know, a couple of years ago, I keep saying, and I think a lot of this was aimed at Adam, but it's, it's like even with you or anybody else, it's like, honestly, mm-hmm. you know, everybody knows me. Like, I, I've been, like, notorious, like, yo, this is this fearless dude. He'll go at anybody that's mm-hmm. entered. But I don't want to go at people that's in my same lane. Like, I, I don't want to tear down my lane to keep us stagnant and keep us running in the same place. Fact. Like, you know, I don't have to necessarily agree with everybody, but I do know that this lane is getting bigger. And by this lane getting bigger in two years, four years, ten years, I hope that, like, fuck Viacom. Mm-hmm. Viacom, iHeart, Media, and all of them. Mm-hmm. Man, they're not doing a motherfucking thing. I, walk, I remember walking in the complex, and I thought they were giving me a stamp, and, and I remember they fired a whole floor of people. Mm-hmm. And I remember they, they said, yo, we had five people study your YouTube channel for the last eight months. You want to know why people listen to you? Mm-hmm. And I remember thinking in my head, I said, you motherfuckers sit here and read cue cards. You motherfuckers sit and read a teleprompter. You don't have a fucking opinion. When I'm mm. doing my video, I'm mm-hmm. giving my uh, opinion. I'm trying to be humorous. Mm. I'm giving personality. You're a corporate company that's an entity. Mm. Y'all, y- y- y'all kill personality. Yeah. Y'all kill individuality. Mm. Y'all make it where it's like, hey, let's put some pretty girl. That's what they used to do at Complex. Put a pretty girl in front of a screen to read the news and read cue cards. That's no soul in it. When you're talking to your people, they that's know good. that's Flacco. Yeah, that's Flacco. Yeah. They know me. Like, mm-hmm. when they like, act part of PNA, the Pussy Nigga Association. Sure. They know me for me. And that's why I've always said, like, even people that, you know, like, I like that it's becoming so big now that you have vloggers who are more street oriented. Like, mm-hmm. I like when nigga DJ Ghost always told people there was a time I felt so much pressure. I was like, they want me to be everybody. I can't mm. be the street dude, the smart guy, the news guy, the guy who 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 knows who been locked up ten times and would have fell in. So he knows. I don't know that. So I'm gonna give you my opinion. Might come off across a little green at times, but it also might come off well educated because I definitely am that. Wait, but if if y'all want, oh, how niggas would deal with this in the streets in the hood? Mm-hmm. Maybe you should just go just go watch DJ Ghost so or watch somebody else who's more in tune with that. And mm-hmm. it's all about. Let's keep eyes on what we got doing here, mm-hmm. because with all due respect, I, when I see content these days, mm-hmm. I love The Breakfast Club, mm-hmm. but w- w- what's the difference between watching The Breakfast Club and watching Flacco? What's sure. the difference between watching any of these platforms and watching some of these creators that are you know, kind of making their way and also they're kind of getting their ground on, underneath them. So, mm-hmm. man, I love all this shit, man. And, and I'm glad you were in town for a couple more days. We got to do some more shit. Yeah, man. Hey, bro, listen, man, bro. Listen, man, bro. Like... I appreciate, man, listen, like when I I tell you, bro, that like a year and a half ago, no, probably like two years ago, right? I was in my fucking like one bedroom, like a fucking apartment, like working at a document processing, right? From 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Having to make five videos a day before three or after 11, right? I love the work ethic. And one thing I will say about Adam, Mm -hmm. um... 
I wish you I would have signed you. Huh? Yeah, I, I wish I would have signed you. Like, 100%. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Hey, listen, if, man. If, if, if it wasn't for Adam, you'd have definitely had a job here. 100%. And, you know, and, and, and you know, obviously, that's no knock to him, you know, mm-hmm. because obviously he was great at finding you at yeah, the right time. Course. But th- that's what makes this even a greater experience because yeah. as you, you know, continue to grow, you also have options as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Um, but, uh, bro, do you understand, the, like, 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 for example, right? Like, watching you, like, go from, bro, hey, listen, man, I'm just a broke nigga in my mom's basement, right? To now coming here and seeing act in a hundred thousand dollar watch, a hundred k from on the wrist, right? And me even like saying, "Yo, bro, like, bro, like," about like eighteen months ago, I was like making five videos a day, seeing each video do about thirty views, and just having a mindset of, "Yo, bro, like, oh, bro, like," and Act was in his mom basement. Act just signed a deal with fucking Spotify, nigga, bro, like. If he, bro, like, if I just ground, ground on him, right? And, bro, like, listen, bro, like, we have to be mentally Hard work, he's tired. Hey, let me tell you, yeah. there's a bunch of people that are going to say a lot about you. Yo, okay. small, I stutter. He stutters. At the, let me tell you, hard yeah. work beats talent when talent don't work fact. hard. You can never complain about where somebody is in life if you don't work harder than them. Fact, fact. If, if, if you hear this man's story, even hear my story, you really yeah. put in half the work, one-tenth the work. Fact. I say that even about people that want to be rappers. Yeah. You get mad about that guy because he can't rap as well, but you can rap better, mm-hmm. but you ain't get on. You put in the amount of work he did. You put in the sacrifices he did. If you ain't do that, you should be quiet. Of course. Be quiet until you get to that point that you did that. And a lot of people don't do that. You know what I mean? But those crazy too, right? Act, right? So look, like, they don't do it, but, like, for example, bro, like, you have to be mentally ill, right? To upload two, three, four, five videos, like, per day, right? And you watch no progress happen. Meaning, like, you watching, it's 15 views, 10 views, 30 views for three months straight. Right, you have to be mentally ill to, to to think, yo, I'm gonna keep pushing, right? And then two, right? Listen, bro, like if you again, I'm not just speaking about people and who create. I, I'm speaking about if you are truly a creator, right? Act right. You think about that million dollar idea at least once a day, right? Now, if you think about a million dollar idea, right? You like, bruh. This idea right here is, bro, it's like, it's just too fantastic not to work on. Now you are now saying, okay, I'm about to work on this. And then tomorrow you have another million dollar idea and you have to work on that. By day 30, act, you have $30 million ideas in, in your mind. And now your mind is racing like a motherfucker trying to figure out how you're going to like, like, and execute each idea by year one, you now have a thousand million dollar ideas that, again, that, that you believe, right? Because you bring much of the thing, yo, this idea is going to take me out. The- Bro, do you understand the anxiety, the depression, just like the, like, like the complete mental chaos that comes with you genuinely thinking of a million dollar idea each and every day and you have to execute it because you think if you don't work on it, it's going to get stolen? Bro, listen, bro, like, if you're just somebody and who creates, that's cool. But if you are a creator, bro, I would not like, wish this plague on anybody, right? It's and, mental and, agony. And, and let me tell you this. Uh, d- 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 delusion and success um, have a very weird relationship. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, if you're too delusional, they'll put you in a mental institution. But if you're not delusional enough, um, you'll never see what the ordinary people would normally see, which is yeah. success. You got to be delusional enough to, to to know that doing the same thing, even though sometimes they say doing the, doing the same thing and getting the same result is, is, is what people would say is insanity. Mm-hmm. But the majority of people in life give up before they get to it. There's a very infamous meme or like, uh, like a little picture where like somebody's digging to the gold and the majority of people, right when they're really close, they stop, they, I'm mm-hmm. tired. I'm, the gold is, the, the, it was diamonds actually. The, the diamonds are probably way to, uh, fuck it. But they gave up. Mm-hmm. The majority of people gave up. Yeah. And that's just the reality of it. Let me tell you this. I, I've never seen someone who tried for 10 years every day. And I'm yeah. not talking about lackadaisically, really put an effort in. And I've always said, when I was getting on, I had a 10 year plan of trying every day, working every day mm-hmm. towards this goal. And I said, after 10 years, I would go year by year. I would reevaluate. I said, yo, you done wasted 10 years of your time. Yeah. You could, you have these skills. You could go have these regular job right here. Mm-hmm. But 
you know, I never thought I was the most talented. Mm-hmm. I definitely thought I was going to be the, mo- the hardest worker. Of course. And these niggas lazy. And, 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 you know, what people call talent these days when it comes to me mm-hmm. uh, c- c- came from a lot of working hard, a lot of like what people don't realize. The I just wish I could, That came from me saying my intro a million times. Of course. I used to stutter a lot more. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you get to realize that the skill of being an orator is something that, Work, you have to work on just like when Kobe probably saw Michael uh, Michael Jordan like do the the fadeaway. I'm pretty sure when he was in his is is you know uh, driveway, he, that fadeaway probably looked nasty when he tried. Of course, it, you know, but he tried a couple more times, yeah, course, a couple man. more times, and when he got to practice, he probably probably did about 300 times every time. And shit, by the time he left Lower Marion High School and he got to the NBA, he got better over time. So again, I say that to tell people like you're never the finished product. Of course. You know, I'm te- like, it, go watch my my interview. The first time I got like a big break and I sat with Charlemagne. That nigga, that nigga taught me how to do an outro. I didn't know how to do interviews. Oh really? He yeah. taught me. He said, "Yo, this is how you wrap up an interview." Mm. And you know, shit. At that point, I'm just kind of I'm, I'm winging it. I don't really know what's going on, mm-hmm. but that happens. Of course. You know, so for for everybody who have a goal, um, you shouldn't give up on it. Don't be the person who gave up right. and watch your friends who never gave up get the same goal sure. or get their goal. But the actor, right? So I feel like the Charlotte May conversation is something that has to be discussed, right? Mm-hmm. Because a bunch of us like sit back and say, wait, hold up now, bro. Like, Ag has always like show respect, has done nothing but I guess like paid homage. But it seems there's some type of jealousy or bitterness there when it comes to like just how he treats you, right? So, one, like, why do you feel like there's some type of, like, just this, like, just underlying hostility that seems it happens to be there when it comes to Charlamagne behavior towards you, and then we can talk about the loan thing, because, you know. Yeah, it, it was, so I don't necessarily, um, I don't necessarily believe it's a, uh, a particular underlying hostility is, he went on Loon Podcast, my nigga, with right, no, 20,000 I mean, subscribers. Shit, I, I, and said, fuck your podcast, bro. Listen, I, I, I've, tried to, I've tried to get him on here yeah. a bunch of times. I asked my assistant, we were trying. But anyway, yeah. you know, whether it happens or not, you know, I, I had to internalize it as this. And in the most respectful way possible, I think we both are figuring out a situation that I remember going to the old Power 105 station when he told me to do an interview. Mm-hmm. And I got there. He said, be there like, I can't remember. It was like 8.30 or something mm-hmm. like that. And mm-hmm. I got there and I was at the wrong spot. And I remember running, me and my buddy Leaf, like, w- and we ran to hop on the subway to go to the other place because they had moved stations. I didn't know. I looked, I Googled something. Yeah. And I remember getting there and I was drenched in sweat. There's sweat on my underarms. I got to be on camera with the guy. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, shit. And... You know, from that perspective to where we are now, I'm not sure if he looked at me at that point to say, you're going to be a peer. And I'm not sure if I looked at that to be like, I would ever be mentioned in the same breath as you. You've and passed I, him, though. Like, like you well, surpassed him. I, I wouldn't even get into these conversations, those conversations, but, 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 but I do think that we're in the, the conversation these days of, like... To some people, we're competing. Mm-hmm. And I think for him, you know, there was a long time where it was like, hey, I meant, like, like, like I, I'm, I'm mentioning you in terms of giving you advice. Yeah. But it's like, it, it, whenever, like, it will never be ever comparable. And I think, I think maybe other people comparing us yeah. has maybe like, you know, you know, it's like idols become rivals type of thing. It's Ike. like, nah, you know what I mean? Ike, well, so one is definitely, is a hundred percent idols, idols become rivals, right? Cause look at this. So like, like it, even when I've seen like, seen like some things like, for example, right? Like and you would have him and DJ Envy like talking about like the complex list and like just throwing jabs at, well, like, and that's bold. It's like, look at who's one and two. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, wait, hold up now, bro. Again, if I'm ever blessed to be in a spot where like I'm named like the like the number one or or, or like number two, and Act is named number three, I don't expect Act to ever have a conversation of man, bro. Like, like that list is bogus because Flacco is number two. 
that's just pure hate, right? Yeah, yeah. Again, it's again like we can slice it. That's just pure hatred, right? No, no, well, 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 I, I, I'm gonna, I'm you know, I try, I try to, you know, and, and again, people have always said sometimes when you look up to somebody, like you're really yeah. blinded by actually of what, course. What, what what everybody is saying. And um, you, you know, I spoke to him about it, and he was just like, you know, me and him, we talked about that list one time. He yeah. said, he said, act, listen. He said his opinion on the list was that. He's told me, he said, I'm happy for you on mm -hmm, the list. Mm -hmm. But I want to I want to show you what real power is. And he showed me a few other lists. And mm -hmm. it was like, hey, listen, these people actually have power to affect companies and have put people on and have done like it, it was more about power. And he says, act. Good job on being number two on that list. He said mm -hmm. to me privately. Mm -hmm. He said, good job on being number two on that list. But the list you want to be on are the lists that include the executives of some of these companies that you want to compete with. But, and, but he cried about not being number one <laughs> on that particular list. No. Yes. <laughs> but also, too, too, right? Listen, right? So also, too, is this, right? Is he treats you like his helium balloon, right? And here's what I mean, right? So at the birthday parties, right? Like, we all have this balloon where, where like, we put it up and we want to see it, like, like, fly, but we don't want to see it fly beyond our reach. So when it starts to go too high, we pull it back down, right? He gave you an opportunity, right, and show love Cause it, it, you know he genuinely wanted to see you win, but he had no clue and no idea that your work ethic would have put you, in in a spot where like, I'm at a lunch table arguing with niggas about yo like who's the greatest hip hop personality of all time, Ak or Charlamagne. It, it, now it, now it, guess it, what though, he wanted to see you win, so he propelled you up, but now you're soaring a little bit too hard for flip nights pulling you back down. It, it, it's, it's interesting because. Like, you know, I, I look at stuff so different. I don't even really com think me and him, like, comparing. I still put him, like, way above. Just just on how I've grown up and looked at media. You know, remember, I even had the recent um, conversation about Wendy and stuff like that. Like, I really have studied the history of this shit. Like, I really think what all these people did before me are so amazing. What I will say about, you know, um, that in particular is that, like, I'm at, like, this really, and I feel so blessed, mm -hmm. but I'm at this really unique point in media where it's like, I think most people, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm never, trust me, I think you others, mm -hmm. y'all do give me my flowers 100%. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not, like, there was a time I wanted my flowers from the people who would never give me my flowers. Of course. But the people who are thriving in the lane, who are going to be taking the flag and the baton and bringing it to the next, you guys definitely give me my flowers. So anyway, I think because, like, Charlamagne is the last of the radio dudes. Like it's now all about the internet. And that's a good thing. And, and and but here's the thing though, I think when you look at it, people would. It's almost all right. Cool. You go back to the '60s in basketball. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing like these little layups and little <laughs> yeah. shots. Yeah, of course. And then all of a sudden, you get to the '70s and '80s, and niggas is slam dunking and shit like that. <laughs> the, first. The, the, the first thing who starts slam dunking and shit like that, mm -hmm. like people look at him a little differently. So like, mm -hmm. I, I do think that sometimes how people look at me in Charlemagne is, is that, you know. Charlamagne is not like an internet creator. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like the radio guy that we all respect. Sure. But he's not an internet creator. Sure. And I'm probably one of the first of those internet creators. No, you and, are the first though. Yeah, and, and, and I think that makes it a little bit different because those guys of that realm, sure. they haven't even, trust me, they're having a hard time even giving Kai Snap props. Of course. Right? Like, you know, even just, just on, hey, Kai Wilson. Yeah, like, Kai's affecting hip hop. Like, he's affecting it in whatever way he can. Of course. But um, those people, they're stuck in their ways. No, but hey, right, but act, right? So look, so, so there's two things to it, right? So when we look at, like, the Civil War, right, of there's Masa's, here, right? There's Masa's favorites. And there's Masa's non-favorites, right? And we're now in a position, right, where Charlemagne has the Speedies, the Nylas, everybody that's underneath him. Ak has the Flacos, the Setis, the, the like Tanani Jays, DJ Ghost, right? Um, um, uh, um, Sean C. Live, right? Anthony Fatano is under Ak. Hey, hey, by the way, yeah. not to cut you yeah. off, but l let me say that about this. And this is why, like, you know, these days I'm trying to build and keep building. Mm -hmm. Because let me, you're right. Mm. But let me tell you the difference. Yeah. You see, Charlemagne has iHeart back in him. As, as, yes. He has Viacom that really fucks with him. Mm -hmm. 
he could put these people on and whether they have an opinion, like some of these people with all due respect, I won't even call their name. We've never heard. I've never <laughs> heard an opinion of theirs I've ever thought it was interested. You ever you, you heard when Cat Williams says mm. Joe Rogan got the same five comedians as Sean yeah. May got some people like Tyson was it was You've was never different. heard but them give an opinion though. Act. We've never <laughs> like to be honest, I don't even know where they came from. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. He has infrastructure mm -hmm. that he has helped build or he has commanded because sure. of being at iHeart, they're going to have a podcast on black uh, on the Black Effect Network. Sure. They might have a show on Power 105. Of course. They might be on a Amazon. guest. Yeah, on Amazon. They yeah. might have a guest. They might be a guest on one of yeah. his late night shows sure. because he has such reach. With me, I, I'm realizing our lane, yeah. our lane becomes powerful yeah. when I could say, yo, yo, Flacco, mm-hmm, Come do this, come do this like short film documentary mm -hmm. with me. And it's the first time you've ever done it. Like yeah. that's what I'm trying to strive for at this point. Of course. Because you know, again, I, you can't knock Shaman because like he's created this shit, right? Of so course. again, whether you like the people or not, he gonna bring Miss Snowface with But whoa, 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 whoa. Wait though. But here's where I do knock him, and here's where like you don't see it as yo, this is some real sinister shit is he knows that okay that I'm the infrastructure right I like I rely and solely benefit off of their like they're being a gatekeeper right why because I have to put people on right that I feel like fit my agenda right academics is the direct threat which is why he, why he tries to undermine you every chance he gets because he knows if academics rise and soars then this infrastructure that he's been able to profit and capitalize off of, that infrastructure is at risk. So you thinking, nah, man, you know, like that's big bro, he just, and I'm telling you, it's sinister and it's deliberate, because he knows. Hey, 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 that Looney Tune nigga, I, I definitely believe yeah. that he, um, uh, th there was a little bit of a- Yo, he got exposed back, really? listen, I, listen. <coughs> there's some dudes coming up too, right? Mm -hmm. um, called Menace Material Entertainment, the Home Run Podcast, right? So right now... Hey, quit a kiss for her, please. Right? Listen. So right now, act like a, a, a bunch of us is just striving to be number two. Because once dumb niggas get on, it's going to look real scary for a lot of us, right? <coughs> but... Really? They exposed Loon in 4K for buying... Fake YouTube subscribers, right? Yeah, that was true. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, fake views, you know I mean? fake Instagram followers. I said, damn, bro. Like, and hey. this a nigga that he chose to go at you. No, no. Hey, put it like this. Um, we're gonna fall at different sides of the aisle. Mm -hmm. Um Charlemagne, for whatever reason, of course. I don't think he's accepting the new internet. Mm. He's building these weirdos. Facts. Cause bro, listen, bro, cause picking loom. These weirdos with no audience. Absolutely. Right? Because if you want to find a young creative with an audience, they're there. Of course. Right? So it's, it's like yes, these guys who are like, you know, probably more like, you're right, along the line of the agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. But, you know, uh, again, you know, he's a legend already and he doesn't need to do more. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess that's where the onus becomes on me. Like, hey, listen, all right. You got to carry that flag for the internet dudes and then... Hopefully the people after you will continue it and we just keep going like that. Act right. So look, so you have guys like me, right? Who's telling you, act yeah, we ready for war. So what would Charlemagne the God like have to do for you to say, I right, nigga? Like, I, 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 like, like I thought that you were just like a indifferent nigga, but but this right here, I right, nigga, fuck the infrastructure, like we riding. Charlemagne isn't someone who um, does war like that. Look at him and Joe Budden. Yeah. Joe Budden has mentioned him directly many times. He's more of ignored it. Yeah. Charlemagne is a is a shrewd operator, of someone course. who's been in the in the industry a, quite a while. Yeah. And if he didn't didn't like someone, in my opinion, mm -hmm. or if he was going to war with someone, he would use his he, he you would see his soldiers and pawns attack. He would speak still highly of you. Yeah. For example, you'll see less hilarious 
mention you consistently on the Breakfast Club mm -hmm. and possibly, you know, try to clown you in. Of course, he'll give a buffer to that. Mm -hmm. Or you might see like Looney Tune, like, you know what I mean? Try to undermine what you have going on. Uh -huh. But the guy has no type of skill yeah. and nobody really wants to listen to him. Listen, here's the thing. We're all working with this microphone, right? The microphone's connected to of usually course. a computer or some type of recorder. Of course. Listen, it, 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 it's, it's, I get it. We're not in sports. Mm hmm. I get it. We're not. We're not LeBron James. We're mm -hmm. not Tiger Woods, and we're not Tom Brady, and mm -hmm. we're not uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes. But mm -hmm. we do have some very tangible uh, numbers that we could see who's winning and who's leading. Mm -hmm. If you got a podcast and somehow you got on the Black Effect Network and mm -hmm. you can't get over a hundred people to consistently listen to you, nobody listens to you. That's crazy. You have to buy the listeners. <laughs> That's crazy. That just usually means you're probably in last place. That's the thing that nobody wants. To, like, again, think about these people. They're only interested when they're sitting with Charlemagne. Of course. Yeah, of course. Like, we don't even know what these guys do unless Charlemagne's next to them. Of course. Of Ooh. course. Like, what are they doing? So, hey, so again, listen, I'm real. not mad at them because, you know, you know, um, that would probably suggest that I maybe have some type of envy. Like, I, I couldn't be envious of people who wouldn't even be mentioned the same breath of with me. Course. And also, you, you know, would. with all due respect, like, you know, not that that list really is like the tell-all. It's like, hey, listen, you know, um, I, I, I couldn't go at a Charlemagne's lackey when I'm on the list with Charlemagne. Absolutely. You get what I mean? So so, so I, I seen that Looney Tune dude. Which is wild, act. You have to have the new niggas in this building. Listen, again. I fuck with. I don't even want you to mention them. You know why? Uh, you have an audience. They don't have an audience. <laughs> sure. Yeah, listen, listen. Play this. <laughs> yeah. Play this. Let's say the Looney Tune nigga. Mm -hmm. It's a grifter. Yeah. He's someone who doesn't have an audience, mm -hmm. who needs to engage you on a moral high ground, yeah. hoping your <laughs> audience stops fucking with you uh, yeah. and start fucking with him. Fact. Here's the thing. Whether you have faults or not, mm -hmm. your audience like you. Okay. This is what I told him dummies at a complex when I went up there. Hey, listen, you can't just read from a cue card mm -hmm. and just sound good. It's great. Yeah, I ask nice questions, but they like the person. They like Flacco Schumer. Oh, mm -hmm. you don't like him stuttering, but they like him when I'm stuttering. Uh, of course. They like... They know he's going to take this perspective. They like his perspective. Mm -hmm. You can't erase that. And that's the problem with when you get these random people with no audience and, mm -hmm. you know, they start like, oh, well, why do y'all like the first sign of I win every type of confrontation is when the person asks, why does he have an audience? Mm -hmm. The mere fact you're asking that is like saying, why does LeBron keep playing good? Mm -hmm. Why is LeBron like so amazing? Why is he the best player in the game? The mm -hmm. mere fact you're asking that, you haven't done the work. You Absolutely. did the work. You would realize why. Matter of fact, if you thought I was so horrible, but you were so good, mm -hmm. you'd have the audience that I have. And you that's know, my point. You have suckers like my son, he'll say some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Yo, why do y'all listen to him? Well, why do you keep talking about me? It's probably the same reason. Wait, you're in just, my son, son, son. You're out the taxi driver this nigga um, for like about $88.13. He got sent to jail for a couple of years. He came home as a hardened thug, acting like he- And he mean, supports BLM too, right? Yeah, he's he, he's a. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think he gets like a stipend to hold up like picket signs. You know what I mean, <laughs> it's also stipulated allegedly contractually. Every time yeah. he goes out, yeah, he, he gets to. an extra bonus if he gets locked up. Ooh. I never knew you knew. You knew that? No. Like some of these these protesters when they go out, oh, if they, they actually yeah, if if they quote unquote stand on business and mm -hmm. they get arrested, yeah, he get. Uh, get no, 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 right? But like, okay, but like, and how can a man who went to jail for victimizing an innocent human being again, like, again, this is not him, like, hey, busting at the ops? Hold on. He stole from an innocent man. I'll tell you a bigger point I have yeah. with somebody like uh, uh, my son. Uh, Lou? Oh, my, oh, my son. My son to me is a, he's a coward. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I realized in this hip hop game is that people pick and choose so badly. Yeah. My son will say, act your coverage of this or your opinion on this is dangerous to the community, but he's scared of rappers. He will never say that about Lil Durk. You know why? Mm -hmm. Lil Durk might have somebody slap him in the face. In fact. And what I realize about these guys, mm -hmm. you can't respect in hip hop a guy who thinks he's a bully, but scared to be a bully Fact. to the other people who are bullies. No facts. If they'll say that, Flacco, you a bitch because you said this, mm -hmm. then they see the same behavior from a rapper who they feel will gun butt him, mm -hmm. and they won't. They don't say a word. That's all you need to know. I'm telling you, man, they host. It happens all the time. Yeah. The first thing you can see, see with them is like when they start calling people out about snitching. Hey, you snitch. And they're like, well, what about this guy? The guy who's a killer. The guy who will kill you if you call him a snitch. Mm-hmm. What? I got to read more into that case. I don't really know what's going on. Man, come on. Matter of fact, you know, send me the paperwork. But anyway, yeah, oh, they you know, hoes, man. Stop, fuck, stop. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, okay. So, so you're not the, you're the 
let's go for the weak target. It's okay. That's like right. it's it, it's part of human civilization and history. We've always gone for the weakest of targets. Mm -hmm. We never go for people like listen. Humans, we're smart. Like you know, it's fight or flight. You're not gonna walk up in the club and see the most buff nigga who you think got five guns on him and two ARs, mm -hmm. and because when he, and he he accidentally sh uh, stepped on your shoes, you're gonna. Slap the fuck out of him, but mm -hmm. let it be the scrawny dude, the nigga who looked like you know what I mean. You could beat the fuck out of him. Mm -hmm. Your voice is ten times louder with that person. We're humans. That's how we work. Yeah. Watch these guys when they're operating with rappers because no, they're scared of the other tough guys. They love to be. That's why I like that you stand on like you're stand on your principles now mm -hmm. because they would love to bully you and me. Of course. Oh yeah, I seen Flacco. I ran him out of the building. Yeah, I, I gave him a wedgie. Well, I seen that. I beat him up. But what about that other rapper that told you that mm -hmm. um, he's smoking on your dads, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah, and you saw him at Rolling Loud? Of course. Oh, I see my Rolling Loud. What you talking about? I ain't see that nigga nowhere. What you talking Sorry. about? Nah, like, yo, you lucky uh -huh. I ain't see that. They or if you're pointing that out, you know, you know what they, they say? Yeah, you Man, why you instigate? <laughs> why you instigate, nigga? No facts. Listen, bro, listen, bro, 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 like, bro listen, bro. Bro, listen, bro, like, once, like, once I seen, bro, that you was out here violating me, and Meek said, oh, I, I can't touch him because I ain't trying to go to jail. Listen, as soon as I seen Meek stalk 6 9 and online for about two years, seen him in person, and 6 9 is violating him, calling him a pussy to his face, and he said, oh, you know, you trying to put me in jail? What you mean? Yeah. These niggas play tough and online, right? Again, once I realized, bro, that a rapper is a hoe, I hey, stopped being scared hey, of him. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I, the thing I love with rap is that I hear people rap about how they're felling, mm -hmm. they time, they slide in. Mm -hmm. They're doing all type of criminal activity. Yeah. But threaten them to call the police on them for a simple assault? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Don't even call the cop. <laughs> like, bro, like, like, nobody's calling the cop on you for a body. Like, yeah, yeah. If, if you hit somebody, you're a rapper who's worth millions, they might call the cop. You might get arrested for, like, two hours, of course. and yeah, you might get sued. But you're the gangster. You're the, like, the, like wait, you're, you're, you're afraid of an arrest? Yeah. You, yo, why do you think you the right? You might get a citation. Yo, why do you think the right? So, so like, so when Six Nine like did in his thing, right? The Six Nine is bad, man. Niggas, I listen, lie. Russell. Look, like the industry and the curators was all, oh yeah, we can't fuck with snitching, fuck snitching. But then now it's kind of like, oh, now the industry is saying, hey, bro, like we don't give a fuck about snitching no more. Feel me? Like, Yo, what changed from four years ago it, to it's, now? It's gonna get to a point where. The quicker, like, like you might have to snitch to go viral. No facts. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that might be the positive thing. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's, it's not, it's not, it's not really looking. I thought there was a point where the quote unquote streets was going to re restore order. Mm -hmm. I'm just realizing all the streets got holes in them. Like, facts. there's, there's no place that are like, no, we won't tolerate that. Like, everybody mm -hmm. have like a snitch cousin, a snitch friend. They're all scumbags. They big homie is snitch, but they don't really want to talk about that. They, like, they got all type of. Everybody got skeletons in their closet, so it's easy when they're pointing outwards. You know what I mean? Of course. Like, usually the most guilty people, they like pointing the finger that way. Oh, For that's sure. what y'all doing over there? But I, like, okay, well, shit. If, if that's all we know about, but once we do a little research on you, mm -hmm. which now, I, this this is what media was fucked up for everybody. The Freedom of Information Act, mm -hmm. people do one of those, get some body cam, get some get some motherfucking paperwork. Man, right like, hold on, shit, nigga, I'm reading through your discovery. <coughs> what the fuck is this? Nigga, mm -hmm. you're, you call 911. Nigga, I got a 911 tape. You call 911. What you mean it was an anonymous call? <laughs> nigga, you called it. What are you talking about? I'm Nobody, telling you, this shit has gotten people spooked so much. Mm -hmm. There was niggas telling freely and saying, whew, thank <laughs> God niggas is dumb. Cause yo, there was a time niggas couldn't even find like like a, a inmate booking report. Facts. These days niggas is getting your discovery, your yeah. your interrogation tape. Bruh. I'm telling you, most rappers nowadays, they're just scared straight. They're like, yo. Please don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Like, you don't even see nobody jacking that we don't mm. fuck with snitches no more. Shit too hard. Of like, they'll dumb. mention the song, but remember when Meek, like, a couple years back said, yo, we yo, get rid I'm, of rats. From, I'm from the trenches. I gotta make an example. <laughs> Out of nobody these say that no more. Oh, like, nobody wanna dumb. make no example. Everybody's just like, yo, listen, I don't know what's. You, you, you know the new thing? Kodak yeah. just coined it. That's y'all rap. Of course. <laughs> that's a new thing. That's y'all right. Of course. No, <laughs> yo, that's, no, that's, that's ill, right? No, I, listen, right? No, right? So listen, no, look, like, it's at a point where Shout people- Shout to Kodak too, though. But no, bro, like, people- I, I love how I was going. No, listen, right? No, no that's y'all right. No, bro, <laughs> hey, right? No, like, listen, right? So, like, 
I credit people like us, right? Because like my message has always been, bro, like 90% of the hood don't do crimes. It's the 10% that's terrorizing us. So if 90% of us like don't do crimes, then why the fuck are is this 10% and dictating what's cool, what's morally right? Because fuck pe- the 10%. Because people have turned black culture into crime culture, Facts. right? So it's like the word snitching, you have a civilian thing that applies to them, right? Like, mm-hmm. l- all right, l- 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 let's be clear. L- let's put something into the air, right? Okay, let's say they're, uh, let's say, I don't know, you throw a party. Mm-hmm. Okay, some weird shit happens. Um, the police or a girl goes to the cops and say, yo, there was a sexual assault that happened. Mm-hmm. You ain't do shit. Of course. Would you assist them or you'd be like, nah, I got to keep it a beam. I, 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 I can't assist them. Assist them for sure. Of course you got to assist them, right? Like, yeah. I think anybody who's not fucking weird would of, of course, them, right? Yeah, of course. But you know, this like, like, <laughs> They've turned this whole not cooperating with the police thing to the extreme. Mm-hmm. And, that's the, and that's the thing. So it's like, in reality, we start looking at black culture as just straight up crime culture, mm-hmm. right? So it's like, we celebrate when people... Beat the case. Of course. Not if they're innocent. Eh, of course, if you're innocent. I'm glad you, you, you're found innocent. Of course. We love when a guilty motherfucker beat the case. Like, of, yeah, of nigga, yeah, he got off on the system. Of course. Keep in mind, that person could have just killed your family member, did all type of stuff. To your, but but mm-hmm. we, we celebrate crime culture. And you. somehow, I don't know if it's because of the music or not, we we're indoctrinated to now believe that crime culture is the only prevalent culture that we should adhere to. Yeah, man. And hey, listen, it's dumb. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, all right, man. So you're here for uh, at least one more day so we can do some. Uh, we got to do part two. Yes, man. L- 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 listen, I think I'll leave like 5 p.m. In, on Sunday. So I got time. All right, man. Uh, listen, man. Uh, this has been part one. Me and Flacco seat. Yo, you thought that Drake sure, mentioned you on that shit? Yeah. Nigga? Yo. Guess what, right? So look, right? I, I, you like what Ruby Rose thought. It. Ruby Rose no, no, thought no. he got mentioned too. No, 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 no. no. Wait, though, right? So look, though. So... And I knew that he mentioned me, right? When Wait, you still think it? Listen, when he went and out of his way to lie about and who it was about, right? So look, here's what I mean, right? So oh, you made that up. Sure, look. So Drake made that album probably well, what probably like two years ago, right? Yeah. He met the girl like 18 months ago. But somehow it's about her? Nigga, like the song was already out. And made mm. prior to your trips visiting her. So when you go out Trick your whore. No, right, no, or listen, no, or and he heard me say, hey, bruh, if me, if act, if all the bloggers say, yo, like Drake is done, he's fucking out of here. Yeah. He heard that, and now he's being spiteful and saying, you know, like it's about some like some fucking like uh like like what a bartender chick from fucking Turks and Caicos. Like be for real, my nigga. Yo, what the fuck Drake got going on in Turks, man? Yo, listen, listen, bro, bro, listen. Like, it's a cold up there, bro. Listen, bro, listen. You think they have a free call in Turks? Listen, I knew that it, bro, that like, was a cold, right? When I seen- I'm just mad that he replaced YK Osiris with Yachty, man. Like, YK Osiris just, he, like, he, yo, you ever seen a girl like, get oh. a spot took? Oh, bro, he out of here. Bro, it's sad for that nigga, bro. Bro, fam, listen, bro, when I seen- That nigga used to have a crisp hairline. That nigga ain't get a haircut in weeks. <laughs> Dog, when I seen, bro, that this nigga, listen- when this nigga tried to give a kiss to Sukahana, who is openly rapping about eating butt, I'm saying this nigga is at a point, bro, like we're like- Did you fuck sexy, right? No, right? L- listen. And he's at a point, right, like we're like, for example, right? For us, like, they have to come and say, okay, listen, man, here is like a hundred, no, sorry, and here's like a hundred million, right? Yo, act. We have to put you through a humiliation ritual. His hundred million, right? Yeah. But they come to you. That nigga YK Osiris is, is so down bad. He's going fishing for the ritual, right? Like he said, oh, "Hey, bro." Oh, you say he's trying to get one of them. He say, "Hey, bro, I'm a free agent, bro. Somebody got me." I said, "Bro, what the fuck? You trying to like, kiss a bitch he, and get rejected?" That like, shit. He definitely looked like one of them side niggas trying to get picked up. Listen, bro. When I seen Drake had this nigga. Singing and tap dancing to pay off a debt as a right. I said, listen, bro. I give anything <laughs> in this world to have. I said, listen, back. bro. As an artist, bro, like, listen, like, like, bro, like, as an artist, bro, like, you gotta at least maintain like your frame, right? Like, you at least gotta maintain, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I'm rich. The last concert I seen him do was at Drake's house. I ain't seen that nigga perform nowhere. 
Bro, 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 like this is sad, bro. Like, I'm gonna lie to you, yo. It's sad, man. Yo, there's a list of rappers that I really think that like they gotta be selling drugs, but I ain't trying to put them on front street. It's no way they're making money. Oh, uh, who? Uh, like a uh, Boston Richie, right? No, Boston Richie's getting booked still. Mm. I'm saying, why kill Cyrus, bro? Like, how the fuck? I remember that nigga was like, yo, I lost my three hundred thousand dollar earring. Nigga, you better go find it. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Whoa. Nigga, you but better you think go. Boston Richie don't like. Not Boston. Not Boston Richie's like, booked in the streets, yeah. No, but he up, up, though. Like, look, I've been in this, right? Oh, he, he look like he too rich. Right, listen. Like, and he's moving oh, around. Like he, like, he mixing the drug money with the. Like, he's moving around like he Drake. Really? Nigga, what? Bro, he, he's on lava shit, like, with like two M's cash. Like, I'm like, I, right, bro, like, you not. Words? That I gotta up, ask that nigga for a loan. Right, like, he. But like he not that up, right? Like I ain't gonna lie, he, he definitely he gave me some props. He said, "Act, I, I appreciate you being objective." Because when everybody was trying to bury him over the snitching shit, he said, "Yo, Act, he did you. tell though." Yeah. But like we appreciate him for telling though. He told. We appreciate him for telling. Hell yeah, he told. But well, he said, "Owe me a favor," so I'm like, "I'm gonna have to ask him." You got two million, bro. He up up with drug money, which is cool, right? Yo, how, how Rallo get out of get out of jail after getting locked up for ten million under the plane, and that nigga come out and spend two million a day. Where the feds didn't seize that money? And because what though? And guess who pulled up and on him first? Who? The same nigga who's been making twenty songs about gunner snitching. Who? Little baby. Right? No way. Again, these bitch ass niggas, right? Will play with the niggas they know they can play with. Again, little baby whole ass know. Okay, like I can play with Gunna, right? I can play with Six Nine. But I can't play with Rallo. <laughs> I can't play with QCP, right? Yeah, yeah it's something about Rallo. Niggas don't play with it. The, the, the moment hey, I see that nigga on. type on Instagram, he say some awk. I don't even know what that means. It's just hey. niggas just start falling line, nigga. He posts a Muslim shit. I said, that nigga got it. Bro, listen, bro, listen, bro. Listen. Yo, you could be so tough that you don't tell, though. Like, like if you tough enough, it ain't even telling. Fim, listen. And that, listen, from what I seen, right, like, and he, like, listen, and he confessed Yo, I just told him for one of the total folks, man. Again, I love Rollo for telling, right? You, listen. Now, you, I don't think he told. You think he told? Listen. Yo, you know what I miss? I miss my nigga Black Youngster. I, oh, bro, listen. Oh, listen, bro. It's sad for that nigga, man. Listen. He's oh. so rich? Listen, bro. That nigga has been reduced to the circus monkey and who pops up and these... Listen, bro. And he pops up and on these... And on these, like, weird, like... Obscure, like for example, right? Like 42 Doug, like did like 42 Doug, like and, and French shit. And this nigga, like, came out for a 30 second cameo. Black Youngster? Was gyrating his hips on the floor and shit, like damn near twerking and shit. Bro, listen, bro, like, we only inherit from him when he, like, gets, like, <laughs> like dragged out as a circus monkey and they say, dance, nigga, dance. Yo, then he's back in the traces of Memphis. Yo, I, I got a theory on the whole Black Youngster thing. I think Black Youngster fell back. Because of all this young Dolph stuff, he's hiding from young Dolph and them goons, nigga. He's hi- listen, bro. I listen. don't know about hiding that, but, but, but what? I see. I see. His brother died. Song. Big Juke died. Cotz died. Listen, oh, listen. Who, who's Cotz? The head of Trula Mafia. Who? Hey, right. So look, boom. Right. So look. So boom. So what type of goons did the, the young Dolph have? Look, right. So look, right. The niggas is moving like John Wick. Not right. So look. There's this guy called J Money, right? Yeah. And he was like a upcoming dude who like Chief Keef was co-signing, right? Boom. So he got killed, right? Now, Dolph was like his right-hand man, feel me, right? And he died. But J Money and had a little brother called D Money, right? D Money got killed allegedly by Big Unk. Now, after D Money died. How the fuck do you know all this shit? It's documented, right? So look, after Right, so look, after D Money died, right? Now, Dolph signed D Money Killer, Big Unk. And D Money Mom is on Facebook, like, bro, Dolph a hoe for signing Big Unk when he knows that Big Unk killed D Money, but he so called loved J Money. So now, what happened was now, was that Stray Drop was True La Mafia. D Money is True La Mafia, right? So now, the Trula Mafia boys had all the incentive in the world to kill Dolph for signing Big Unk. So guess what happened? Nigga, are you like breaking news right here? Like, nigga, I've never heard this in my life. No, it's it's facts, right? So now, right? So right? So now, look. I thought niggas niggas put a hit on him. Look, look, right? So look, right? So look. 
So now the true mafia niggas had all the incentive to already kill Dolph. So now Yo Gotti and Big Jug said, okay, those little niggas live on the same block as my right hand man, Hernandez Govain. So then they gave Hernandez Govain a bag to give to the same little niggas who already lived on the same block as him his whole life. And say, yo, we got the bag on Dolph head. Go ahead Dude, and kill you watch, him. Like swamp stories or something. I gotta like, uh, why am I so out of touch? No, I broke that. Oh, you broke that shit. Yeah, listen, bro. Oh, listen, shit. listen, listen, right. So the D Money mom, yeah, is on Facebook to this day, telling, saying Dolph is a hoe for for signing Big Unk to this day. Yeah, listen, l- listen, listen, right. So also too is this, right? Now I can't believe they killed my nigga at the cookie store. God damn it, Makeda's never be the same. But look though, right, right. Look though, so. If we are forced to, to, again, if we are forced to break this down from like the lens of a street nigga, right? If you sign the killer of your dead homie's dead brother, <laughs> again, J Money was young Dolph, like right hand man, and he died. D Money was J Money, little brother. So young Dolph was cool with J Money before he passed. And when D Money got killed, J Money little brother, Dolph signed his killer. So they're saying, hold up now, bro. Like, Dolph, like, you was playing like a dangerous game, nigga. Like, you fuck with J Money, but then yeah. you signed his brother's killer? It, so I'm just saying, like, when I first heard, like, young Dolph pass away. Why they keep blaming on Gotti? Gotti don't got nothing to do that. Listen, bro. If you think the big jook had, had access to $100,000 without your Gotti, you are out of your mind, right? I already was, it was a trapper. Like, I already had, like, restaurants and shit. Breathe. You ever heard about that? So, according to Dolph, he's the one who front Big Jug and all them bricks to sell, right? What? <laughs> yo, 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 bro, hey, he good, my nigga. Hey, 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 what? Hey, yo, he good, bro. You feel me? Yeah, of course. Oh, shit. You, right. you feel me, man? But listen, though, but bro, listen here. But like, honestly, though, bro, like when, like when it comes to like the whole Dolph shit, bro, like we obviously so know. So, who's, who's killing, like, like, who's still alive on Dolph's team that's killing all these niggas? Because everybody's dying every time. Fam, listen. Dolph he has... Yeah, like, like Hitman as friends? Listen, Dolph has some real nigga, like some real deal steppers, right? But there also two is this, though, right? And it's sad, right? Because we all know how the story is going to end, right? How? We all know that at some point, Yo Gotti is going to die. What? Oh, hold on, man. I, no, I, <laughs> nigga, what? I, I, look, wait, wait. Nigga, what, nigga, what story is this? I, look, no, I, look. I, look, listen. Listen, no, act, look, look, <laughs> no, try out, right, look, right, so listen, listen, wait, hold on, listen, ask any street again, watch when niggas die, it's cause they don't know this one fact, if a nigga life mission is to kill you, he's gonna kill you, meaning this, if he's saying fuck jail, fuck all that, I'm gonna kill you in broad daylight in front of the, the uh, police princeton, like, I want to kill you so bad, bro, that if I see you with 20 cop cars outside, I'm going to kill you. You can't do nothing ain't about it. Ain't nobody hate, ain't nobody hate um, Gotti like that. Who? You think so? Bro, he's, bro, listen, he's the number one target right now. You're lying. You're and lying. again, if niggas want to kill you, you're going to die. Yo Gotti is going to die because niggas is motivated to <laughs> Wait, kill him. Hold on, hold on. I'm now, sorry. It's not bold. Again. Again. First of all, Gotti is rich. He's just gonna move. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Let me tell you. You know, I've realized. Big Duke was rich. Niggas, Young Dolph was rich. Yeah, but you're in Memphis. Listen, listen. I always say this, man. You go three miles to the east and one mile up, whoever you got beef with will never find you. It's like you in, in Scandinavia. Niggas is. Niggas, you, niggas be so mad at you, but, but, yeah. but won't drive and go out there way to go find you. Yo, act, right? Nigga, everybody that's telling, telling New York go to, go to Florida, it ain't like they in Florida hiding. No, nigga, them niggas is at the beach with their feet out, toes mm-hmm. out, and everything. Act, right, listen, Russell. Act, Russell. Look, why nobody from New York go down to uh, Florida and start killing? Fact, no, they're like, all right, man. Listen, man, the L train no bring us there. Fuck that. Act, listen, Russell. Act, look, listen, Russell. Look, bro. I knew. Listen, I knew that Yo Gotti was a cold nigga, right? What? I knew this nigga was the coldest nigga we did. But we never knew, right? right? But like, yeah. I also want to put into the air, yeah. Yo Gotti is dating Angela Simmons, and that's Rev Run's daughter, so he's protected by the blood of God. Just let you know. Her last fiance got killed. <laughs> the bitch is bad luck. <laughs> like nah, the fuck, on. the whole bad luck. Listen, <laughs> if he's trying to live, leave the bitch. You feel me, right? Because, 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 because. Listen, listen, right? Because look, because she claims she has some virgin pussy, Wait, and then on. she got pregnant. 
And then, uh, and then oh shit, she was lying about me having the burger pussy, right? Feel me? Right? Feel me? Right? Feel me? Right? <laughs> but look though, this nigga flat right? Cold look nigga, though, man. I knew your guy was a cold nigga, right? When you come to Memphis, right, with thirty security guards, twenty ex cops, and ten marines, right? And you couldn't even borrow your brother five of them. Meaning, this selfish nigga had 30 security guards whoa, 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 whoa. and left his brother with none and got his brother killed. Wait, wait, was his brother at the thing? Yes! Wait, wait, so, so Gotti was at that funeral? Yes. Yes. Like on camera with, with 30 security guards, 20 ex policemen, and 10 Marines. And it's damn. Like how I would like to roll. Bro, I like that. And, bro, bro wait, wait, you so cold, nigga, that you couldn't even give your brother five? Or even once per security guard. <laughs> bro, bro, nigga, you needed all 30? Like, like, come on, my nigga. Yeah. That's bro, you how it needed, works. listen up, man. Bro, you needed all, listen, bro, you came with 30 security guards and your brother had none. And you couldn't give him at least one to save his life? That's a cold nigga right there. I heard the mom got injured. I, I want to pray for them, though. You know, hopefully this violence will stop. Bro, pray for what? Listen, listen up, bro. We listen. We have to stop this fake shit. What happened? If if you pay to get Young Dolph killed out of pure jealousy and, and, and hatred, right? Again, which is why. No, 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 no. That's a crazy accusation. We don't know. Like that. That's specul pure speculation. We don't know that's true. Hey, hey. In about three months, Hernandez Golvain is about to, is about to tell us everything, right? What, what do you mean? Why, why three months? Holy shit! I got to huh? set my clock. What? Yeah, what? Well, Hold on, I got to shit backwards. Hey, huh. l listen. Allegedly, he already telling. Oh, you're already telling the story. So three months when that trial starts. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? We going to know Yo Gotti, right? right? But still, right? But look at this, though. And here's why I think it's an insult for us to Gotti even say. Gotti like a peaceful dude to me, though. Here's, I met him. I dapped him up. He's no, cool. Listen up, bro. That, that big, black, wide-nosed, ugly, peanut head nigga is a <laughs> demon, <laughs> right? <laughs> listen, bro. That nigga has so swollen, bro, just full of hatred, right? Just <laughs> hatred and envy and jealousy, right? Yo, what's up? And with that led to him killing Dolph. And here's my thing is this, though, right? <laughs> yeah. I think it's an insult to young Dolph for us to say, yo, we praying for CMG or Yo Gotti or his family. You know why? Because where was the prayers for young Dolph? When Yo Gotti, out of pure jealousy, got his brother to put the bag on Dolph and got Dolph killed. So now we're saying, hold up now, nigga. You was big, bad, and bold when you was trying to get a nigga killed. You got the nigga killed. And now I'm supposed to pray for you. And now I'm supposed to hop on my knees and say, yo, God, bruh. Cover yo, Gotti, in, in your blood, Jesus. What the fuck? Hell nah, nigga. But if that nigga die, he died, nigga. <laughs> yo, yeah, yeah. No, bro, if he dies, he dies. Hey, yo, yo, this guy. Listen, yo. though. Yo, Flacco, crash no, out, man. I'm not picking sides. I'm not wishing death on nobody. But if the nigga die, the nigga die, nigga. I'm not praying for no nigga who got blood on his hands. Mm. Not happening. Sorry. You praying for Young Thug? Fuck no. You heard a jail call, man. My man looked like he a little horny back there. Yo, he was horny for them chains. He wasn't horny for her, though. Yo, listen, though. Listen, bro. When I seen that video call, bro, the first thing that I thought was, bro, imagine being Maria, sorry, Mariah, the scientist's father, right? You had her in private school. There's pictures over there. She went to college off of your dom. You pay for her to, to like go to college. And she leaves college and still ends up dating a nigga who's facing life in prison. You pay for this bitch to go to private school, a private college. She leaves that off of your dom. Again, you done spent over $150,000 to put this bitch through school. And she still end up with a gang banging, a uh, 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 ugly gang banging nigga who's facing life in prison. Bro, that's embarrassing, bro. I'll put you through school. I make sure off of my dime that I'll put you through every opportunity she like there thugs, is. Though. Well, clearly she like thugs. It's embarrassing. Bitch, you went to private school. Why the fuck you out here on a recorded jail call calling a felon a gang leader daddy? Bitch, I'm your father. I'll put you through private school. That's and you on a jail call. Here. There you go. Call calling a gang leader who's facing life in prison daddy. Man, come on. Listen up, bro. These hoes are despicable, bro. Feel me? <laughs> bro, it's despicable behavior, man. Feel me? And then two, bro. And here's why, my nigga, I ain't praying for Thug, right? Again, I'm going to say this. If he innocent, free him. I think he guilty. But again, if he's innocent, mm. free him. But if he guilty. Why do you think he guilty? Again, if he guilty, give him life. And here's Thug Stanford why. truly humbled under God. Listen, my nigga. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. 
if you have a Hertz rental agreement where you rent it out the vehicle and you have the realest nigga alive called YSL Woody who told them folks, I was with Thug when we rented out the vehicle. I was with Thug when we gave the vehicle to Yagadi. And then you got a nigga who was with Yagadi in a vehicle who went ahead and did the drill saying, yeah, after the drill, we all linked back at Thug Crib and God bread. Right? So I'm just saying, based on those evidence, I think you guilty and I think you did it. You feel me, right? But hey, if he's innocent by some means, do it, right? But I'm gonna say this though, right? They say he's not a gang member. Right? Man, 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 hell not, right? But look at this though, right? Bro, my biggest fear, right? They said LeBron be wiping his nose and say slime too. Listen. For real. Act, right? So I, I listen. Like, my biggest fear, right, Act, is if Thug is found guilty. And they give that nigga the YFN Lucci deal. Listen, I, when I, bro, when I heard that YFN Lucci got 20 years, but only had to do 10 years in jail, but then he only does a third. So, so like, that means he has three and a half months he left. He figured out in four months. Bro, I hop my. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro, I said, crazy. God, why? Yo, I said, Lord, this nigga did something that I don't think even the street niggas can, like, co sign. You got a trust of your brother. You convince him to hop in the car with you to go ahead and on a drill. But these niggas apparently ain't know they was beefing with the Avengers. They was beefing with Thanos. Cause they went sliding and them niggas took them out one by one, right? Listen, listen, look, right, act, look, right, act, look, right, look, right. So look, they said, listen, right, so look, right? And they're driving through. They pulled down the window, and before these niggas could even do bot, they all got. They all got lit up, right? But, but, but they one homie died, and this scumbag kicked his homie out the vehicle while he's, he, he's, he's fighting for his life. He kicked him out the vehicle. That was tough. And as his homie died in the street like a dog, he drove off. And you mean, mean to tell me that, that that nigga who had that lack of respect for a life that he cared about, again, this is his homie, right? He actually loved his homie. So can you imagine the lack of respect he have for the niggas who he don't know, I don't feel comfortable <laughs> with that nigga. Again, I don't feel comfortable with that nigga like, like being out among us and living among us. If you are so despicable that you would kick out your homie while he's fighting for his life, I'm talking about trying to breathe, trying to fight for his life. You kick him out or die in the street like a dog. You have a lack of respect for human life that I don't even feel comfortable with you walking around us, mm. right? So when I seen that he got that, I just pray, bro, that Thug don't get a sweet deal like that. How much, how much years do you want him to get? Life. You want, <laughs> you want Thug to get life? I, I, wait, I, look. Right, so look. You don't like Thug's music? I, listen, right, so look. So Thug is being accused of killing, sorry, of ordering the hit on YFN Nut. He's also being accused, right, of funding, again, but, again, but the cold-blooded murder of a 17-year-old boy. Right, so if Thug is being accused of being the ringleader of multiple bodies that included a 17 year old boy, if you get found guilty on them Rico cases, then that means you got found guilty and you're being held accountable for two murders of a 17 year old boy and wife and nut. So if you got those two bodies on your hands, you mean to tell me that anything other than life, like, like. How is a 20 year sentence respectable? How is a 30 year sentence? Listen, how is Thug being able to get out of jail and walk free after playing a role in the death of a 17 year old boy and wife and nut who was a father? So, so you don't believe all that. You know, they say it's purely coincidence that he rapped lyrics like, I shot at his mommy so he no longer mentioned me. What do you think about lines like that? Just out of pure stupidity, nigga, you should do life. Right? <laughs> Yo, this nigga, listen, right? So one is documented, right? That wife and, again, that wife and Lucci mama and got shot at. Which, I'll be real, bro. It looks like wife and Lucci is a professional victim. You mean to tell me that you and your homies go out and on a drill, your homie die, you beefing with a fellow rapper, and, and like your mama got shot at twice? Like, this nigga is a victim, right? But, if Thug is dumb enough to rap about it and on a song, then why should not, you know, then why shouldn't, again, my baby Fanny Willis be able to, 
right? Like, again, if these nigga, niggas are dumb enough to describe actual crimes they did, then why shouldn't they be able to be held accountable, right? Again, I'm just saying, bro, that there's enough there that, that I believe the thug is guilty. But if by chance he beats it, I have to respect the system and say, okay, free him. I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I, I think the way he's shaping up, number one, they can't give him a, sweet, a sweetheart deal at this point because it, the whole criminal justice system is gonna look like a joke. It, yeah. If if you treat the person who takes a plea the same way you take you treat the person who goes to trial, mm -hmm. you, it's a dub. Like everybody's going to trial now. Of you course. know what I mean? Like you have to you of have course. to punish the nigga that goes to trial. Mm -hmm. And what I've realized is that I think the DA either has too much on her hands or she really just wants stuff because the deal they just gave wife and Lucy, Man, that on, nigga now. will be home by the summer, nigga. That's crazy. You feel me? So he'll be good. Not how, ooh, wait, ooh, wait, 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 don't say good now, bro, because one thing we know is he's a perpetual victim. No, well, he's got to move out of Atlanta. <laughs> so, listen, man. Because in Bleveland Ave, niggas is going huh? too crazy. Listen, bro, listen, that nigga has if, proven. If, if I'm wife and Lucy, if I see a nigga wipe his nose, nigga, I'm running. <laughs> Facts. I'm out of there. Facts, but listen, bro, listen, bro, listen. They want thug, though. It's mm -hmm. clear that because even they gave this deal, like they claim that there's been a gang war be between two gangs in, mm -hmm. in, in um, Atlanta, the YFN dudes and YSL. Yeah. And they claim they put these indictments down to stop it. Mm -hmm. Well, you just claim that YFN Lucci has been funding it on one side mm -hmm. and you just gave him three months. Perfect. Which means you have to give the other guy a long ass time. Mm hmm. If you're gonna claim you're gonna stop the war, because if they both get three months, man, it's gonna be a good winter. No, on Cleveland Ave. Hey, 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 right, hey, right. No, it's crazy though, right? So, like, the main difference between Thug and Lucci, right, is the, like they're saying, yo, like YFN, like been out here like since like since like 2010, but we only got stuff on, on Lucci from like 2018, right? But Thug is, oh no, he's the nigga who co-founded this shit, my nigga, right? So like, Thug is like the gang leader. He's the nigga who started this shit. Lucci is coming across as a rapper who was victimized, my filming, right? Who was shot at, who was, you know, spanked and beat up. And he just got involved in some fuck shit. You oh, feel me? Lucci sound like that, man. I heard Lucci a gangsta out there in the streets. Bro, act, listen, act. I was, listen, I tolerated in his music, right? But if you telling me, I, right, that you like you went to court and we got in documentation in black and white all the instances of you being again of you being victimized, you about to come out and rap about what, nigga, nigga? I don't want to hear nothing about how you got twenty choppers and drums in the car waiting for a nigga. To, no, because you had them 20 choppers and guns, nigga, and your homie got killed, right? Again, you had the 20 choppers and guns to go slide, but, you, but for some reason, they ain't work, right? For some reason, they victimized y'all. Your mama got shot at, and you ain't used them 20 choppers and guns, right? So if you come out of jail and start rapping about having them 20 choppers and guns, nigga, I don't want to hear you. I'm sorry, right? Mm. But Thug, there's no instances of Thug being victimized. Thug was the bully. Right? Like, for example, bro. The bully in a dress. Bro, God look, damn. bro, 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 look at this shit, bro. I knew that Thug was a menace, right? Once you started painting his fingernails and put on a dress, I knew that nigga had to be a demon. No, no, listen. I knew he was truly a demon, right? When Thug bullied a nigga so bad, bro, that this nigga requested to talk to officers, meaning this, right? That Thug bullied Rich Homie Kwan so much, right? Shot at Rich Homie Kwan's poppy. Smack them niggas, I spank them niggas. Rich homie choir requested till I talk to them folks. And there's like a, a 20 minute footage of Rich homie Quan telling them folks in detail about how Thug is a menace. Bro, listen, Ak, do you know how bad as a street nigga, as a rapper, you have to be terrorized and bullied that you say, bro, I have enough, man. And pick up them phone, bro, <laughs> and call them folks and request an interview with them folks, bro. <laughs> Nigga, they didn't even seek you out, right? <laughs> Listen up, bro, right? Like, them folks didn't say, yo, Luch, yo, right? They say, yo, Quan, we heard that Thug shot your father. Man, bro, Thug spanked and bullied this nigga for two summers, and he said, nah, bro, I've had enough, bro. Like, hey, yo, listen up, man. This nigga killed YF and Nut, man. But it's all recorded. I'm not lying. It's all recorded. He told them folks, yo, bro, he killed YF and Nut, man. 
So I'm just saying it's this, right? Like, like, right? Like, thug deserve life. Thug was a bully. <laughs> Dumb niggas was victims, right? Listen, like, like, if I had some sympathy for, like, rappers, right? And I will feel somewhat bad that Lucci got victimized and still did life. Because Lucci is a fuck nigga, right? And he's a heartless nigga. I think he should do life. Feel me, man? But yeah, but like, listen, bro. Fuck bully them niggas, man. God damn, man. Holy shit. Listen, we got to save the rest of part two, my dude. Yeah, man. Come yo, listen, man. Yo, yo, hey, Flaco, I'm, I'm glad you're in town. Woo, a five-hour interview, right? Yo, it's oh, it's 1 a.m.? Yeah. Oh, yeah, five. yeah, man. A five-hour hey, interview. Hey, come like on now. 10 a.m. Hey, listen, man. Come on now. Oh shit, nah, nah, it's all good. Hey, all right, we still doing part two. Yes, fuck. sir. Uh, me, listen. me, and, and Troy have next, man. Listen, uh, man, we finna violate niggas. Here. Hey, uh, listen, yeah, listen, we got Flacco in town, man. Flacco mm. looked like he came here on a different fucking type of time. Yeah, man, he's come on, giving now. it up. He's not, he's not holding no punches, which you know, I respect that about it. You yeah, know what man. I mean? Uh, listen, this has been off the record. This is part one. We gonna get part two in, yes, sir. And um, of course, y'all got to check out the Facto show. We gonna have. Uh, Flacco on the Facto show. Yeah, man, let's have. do it. It's going to be a good old conversation, man. Hey, sir, Big Folks too, right? Oh, Big Folks. Pop on as well, of yeah, course, yeah, man. man. Listen, it's been another episode of Off the Record Podcast. Me, Flacco. Come on, man. Peace Next up, generation, man. new media. Let's get it. Peace. Man.